Oh, I think we're live. Happy anniversary, everybody. <laughs> it's my two year anniversary, 10 hour live stream. Uh, we're going to start the game here in a couple of minutes because I want to give a couple of, you know, some people time to filter in as is pretty typical. You know, if they have that notification bell sent, then it rings and, and people have to get to their computers or turn their phones on or whatever. So yeah, we're going to get started here in a few minutes. We'll just hang out with the uh, new game screen. I want to make sure everybody knows that this is, I'm starting, this is a completely random game. I'm not going to be changing any of the settings. I can't even change the world settings at this stage. Um, so we'll get started in just a bit. Yes, this is going to be a 10 hour live stream. Uh, as, as long as I can go. We'll see how far we get with Wes. I want to do as much as we can. Uh, we'll have a couple of polls throughout the stream uh, to see if certain uh, items will be allowed, certain uses of items will be allowed or not. Uh, for the most part, though, I think the rules are pretty well fleshed out. Um, if I would read the chat, I'm trying to read the chat. Who needs to L? Wait, who needs to look? A takey? What does that mean, Lepus? <laughs> oh, I need to look at the wiki. All right, when you have my trusty chair. Yes, that's right. I do have I do have a couple of pages pulled up because I mean, there's really not a lot of good crockpot recipes that are that are like vegan recipes. Oh, and by the way, before I go any further, I do want to just say that doing this as a vegan pacifist challenge is in no way a commentary on any particular diet or lifestyle. I know this is sometimes a sensitive topic for some people. Some people have very strong feelings about, you know, eating vegetables versus eating meat and things like that. This is not a commentary on anything. This is just for fun to make an added challenge for the game. Certainly not a commentary on anyone who may be an actual pacifist. You know, props to you, however you want to live your life. All the support, all the love. This is just for fun. So just want to get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, as far as actual recipes, I mean, Dragon Pie is going to be definitely one that I'm going to want to beeline for as fast as possible. Although there's so much RNG and even getting the dragon fruit to begin with that that might take a while. But once I get dragon fruit, I think I'm actually going to be pretty solid as far as food goes. Prior to that, though, I mean, you've got trail mix, fistful of jam, fruit medley, ratatouille, stuffed eggplant, which also requires gardening. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of ice to actually get any real benefit out of those because making them with like full fruits and vegetables, generally not the best bet. Oh my goodness, Andrew Garcy, 2 a.m. Yeah, it's, it's like 8 a.m. for me. I'm just waking up here. Need to sip more coffee. Uh, I think I will start with an autumn start. I, I kind of debated that a little bit. In many ways, spring would be good. I'm... I'm thinking that a first winter as Vegan West is going to be pretty rough. But if I can stockpile enough berries and maybe somehow accidentally get my hands on a bundling wrap recipe, <laughs> then that would be very nice. We'll see if that actually happens. Man, chat is flying by. I'm going to apologize in advance if I'm not able to keep up with all the chat because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of it going through here. Uh, yeah, sip some coffee. reposition a few things over here. We'll have various cameos from various of my Don't Starve stuffies throughout the stream today. And of course, I'm wearing my crossover t-shirt because it's good stuff. Very comfy. Good for streaming in. All right. I think I am about ready to go. I've got green lights across the board. Again, I upped my bandwidth after the uh, Tuesday live stream that was all sorts of buggy. Hey there, Ori. We got all sorts of people. We got Crafty Chan. We got XTD, Lepis, Rui. Uh, a couple of names that I'm not going to try to pronounce. I apologize. I don't want to butcher them. We got Lepis Hysteria, Parade of Laughter. All right, you know what? Let's, let's get going. I want to get into this game. I've never really played much as West before, so this will be a fun experiment. It'll be a challenge. We'll see how it goes. So we are going to go. We're going to do Reign of Giants, and we're going to go ahead and enable all the DLCs. I don't know if I'm going to go to the other DLCs, the thought of going into Hamlet as a vegan pacifist, the vegan part, maybe not as bad because you've always got the deli and, and the grocer. But the pacifist side of things with those rabid beetles? No, no, I, I, mm, ooh, I, I don't think I want to be a pacifist in Hamlet. Shipwrecked? Maybe? 
I mean, I normally love the jungle trees and shipwrecked, but with the snakes coming out all the time, that... I don't know. I think I might stick with Reign of Giants. We'll see. I'll definitely be going to the Caves and Ruins, at least somewhat. Especially now that I've decided that Clockworks are not alive and that we can go ahead and fight the Clockworks. Um, Alright, character. Oh, oh, I almost passed it. There he is. There he is. There's Wes. My outfit, Paris, all that stuff. Practices balloonomancy. Although balloons aren't so good in uh, in Reign of Giants. Oh, awesome, Simon. Welcome to the stream. We got Ruka, Simon. I'm going to just call them Fok. I'm just Fokaj. Fok. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that name. Give me a phonetic for how I should be saying your name. I'll just call you AJ because you had an AJH. J D A J. I'm just AJ is what it's going to be for now. Um. So yeah, I can't hire pigs to fight things, not for the purpose of fighting things or with the intent of causing them to fight things. Incidental fighting of things, that's just kind of the nature of the pigs. If they wander off and get in a fight with frogs or whatever, then that's allowed. Um, sorry, we have Wes. World... Mm. I'm just, I'm gonna set it to Almond. I'm gonna try an Autumn. If we belly flop and fail, maybe we'll try a Spring Start. Um, I mean, even food in summer would be a bit dicey. You can still get the cactus in the desert. I'm really hoping I have a lot of cactus in the desert. Um, oh, Gar said, right. Did I say Garfield earlier? I might have said Garfield. Um, sometimes when I'm looking at the chat, it's just like I tried to just let my brain read it as fast as I can with a glance, which results in getting things wrong. I'm not changing anything else on the settings. You saw it right here. We changed the season. We're going to do a fall start. That's it. Nothing else has been been tweaked at all. And uh, here we go. Hey, Sejun Park. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> and I am going to click go. Here we go. <laughs> I've always loved the loading screen for this game. The little text things they say. Embiggening pathos. Insinuating game theory. That was a fast one. And we have to watch Maxwell's dialogue. There'll be no skipping through it. Here we go. <laughs> right? My mouse all the way. So dapper. Better find something to eat before night comes. Am I allowed to eat flowers? Since the butterflies are flying flowers, can I still eat flowers? I think I should be able to eat flowers. The butterflies know <gasps> my first food. All right, we're saved. We have seeds. Although I'm not going to want to eat many of the seeds because I'm going to need those for gardening. So we're going to need to find the berries as soon as possible. All right, I'm going to just kind of circle around a little bit. There we go. First coast, first green grassy area. First mole worm that will be allowed to live for the entirety of the game. There will be no killing of the mole worms. Uh, I'm going to leave carrots for now, I think. We'll see how long we can go without having to pull any of them up. More seeds. Yay. Thank you, Weo Flying. Yeah, I can't believe it's been two years. Yeah, so I initially started the channel as just kind of an experiment. I had always enjoyed... Wow, we got gold. We're not even like one minute into day one and we've already got mosaic gold. Look at that. We're set. This may prove to be a more fortuitous start than uh, Woodlegs' is starting island. Crazy. All right, I'm going to go up into this graveyard because graveyard usually several gold up in here. Not always, but usually several. <laughs> well, we might still hear their om nom nomming, just not their when they die. <laughs> Unless something else kills them. Imagine if Wes had an Abigail. That would be OP. All right, we got our mosaic sinkhole. Normally I wouldn't start grabbing stone so soon, but since I'm going to have a backpack real fast, I figure why not. Mushrooms. We're going to need all the mushrooms. If I get a blue mushroom circle, that would be just amazing. Eh, let's cut across this way. Mosaic is usually a big giant dead end in Reign of Giants, so... I sure which way I want to go at this point, because it's probably going to be a mini mosaic. Or a mini savanna. Let's go back up this way. I do want to super stock up on grass and twigs. Standard operating procedure. Get my critical survival materials. Move those around a little bit. It is really hard 
resisting the urge not to run over and punch butterfly. That's like like start of a game. You you punch butterflies. It's like free easy food. They're just there. It's got good healing. They tied you over for a good while. I oh yeah. I I'm kind of thinking that if there was a mod for this that would like instantly make you die if you broke a rule, then that would have been hilarious. All right, I gotta catch up on some chat. I'm gonna grab that carrot just for fun. Uh, what are we doing if that happens, if I actually forget and kill something? Uh, you guys just have to, like, start posting spam in all caps, and then make me feel really bad. And then maybe we'll do a poll at that point to decide what the consequences ought to be. <laughs> what are the consequences if you don't follow the rule? Yeah, I don't know, I didn't really think much about that. Um... I have to, like, go insane for an entire day as retribution or something, maybe? Sarah Thomas, welcome to the stream. I believe you're coming to us from Australia, if I remember correctly. 11 p.m. for you, not how, sure how long you'll last. Well, if you go to sleep and then wake up and come back, maybe I'll still be going. Um, let's see, I just got myself all sorts of turned around. Um, hmm, which way is the mosaic from here? You know, I'm just going to start outlining around this way. I know that I'm repeating a little bit of my terrain here, but... I've got some basic stuff, so we're going to keep going for a little bit. And, uh, see how it goes. Pacifist, not Pacific. <laughs> you want an honor suicide? I gotta go suicide myself somewhere? Maybe, we'll see. Look at all the gold! Wow! We are stocked up on the golds. Oh, hi, Tallbird. Tallbird, who shall live forever. All right, you know what? I've got a birch nut forest here. It's time to start making some things. Because birch nut seeds, normally I don't care for the birch nut trees because the crazy birch nutters are just no bueno. What will happen when deer clops comes around? I've got a couple of ideas of what I do of what I want to do with the deer clops, but we'll just see what happens when we cross that bridge. But yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure that I have ways to deal with those giants. I can't fight them myself. And, of course, giants have a tendency to do pretty well against most other things that they would be fighting. Yeah, birch nut seeds, those are going to be critical. Because trail mix is what? Uh, birch nut, two berries, and then I can use a twig? You can't do two twigs, can you? Can you do a birch nut, a berry, and two twigs? I don't remember. Yeah, the balloons are borderline useless. They do a whopping five damage, but they also, like, chain reaction blow themselves up, I think? I was thinking, and, and this might be another topic for a poll here at some point, could I use balloons to try to kill things like hounds? Make like an epic balloon trap with the gajillion balloons in it and then use that on the hounds? What do you think? Should we allow that? Um, hey mods, are you guys able to make polls? I don't recall if we've tried that before. But do you guys have the command to make a poll? For me, it's up on like the top corner or something like that. All right, we're gonna prototype some things. I'm a little bit low on some of the grass and twigs and stuff, but I wanna get a backpack. And I'm always sad in single player when you can't have like a fancy backpack. Look at that, we're so low on hunger already. I have barely anything to eat for it. All right, let's go ahead and get... I need a log suit. Gotta protect dear old Wes here. In case we get into combat early on. Um, let's make a shovel, because I can't leave stumps lying around. Shovel. I'm going to hang out here for the night. We're going to be prototyping a few things, chopping some trees. Go ahead and stoke that up a little bit. Start digging up some stumps. You don't see the option? Yeah, so for me, where is the option? Anyways, I think it's up in the top left where it has all the chat and oh, where is it actually? No, it's actually at the very, very bottom. I have buttons for custom emojis. There's the show support and then a create poll button right below where you enter chat in. So I don't know if uh, the mods can use that or not, but double check real quick. If not, then I'll just take quick little mini pause breaks to uh, do that. Nope, there's no Lunar Island in single player. That would be a DST exclusive sort of item. Um, I don't have flint. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I don't have any flint. 
Um, interesting. All right, well, we'll chop. No, I don't want to chop that tree. I like to chop the big trees. I don't like to chop the little trees, especially when I need the birch nut seeds. Damn. <laughs> All right, well, that's making up for my uh, otherwise good start. Hang on. I need more flint. Yeah, there's not going to be any stone fruit. And that was part of the reason that I was kind of interested in doing this in Reign of Giants, is that keeping a, a vegan West fed in um, in DST would have been, like, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. All right, let's... I don't want to make a torch just for a short little night. Look at all the dra the the fireflies. Oh, so here's okay. Hang on. All right, quick pause. First pull. Got to think about how I want to braid it. All right, there's the first pull. So. The first question is, is Wes allowed to use fireflies to make a miner hat? I would argue yes, because the fireflies are technically alive. Their purpose is to provide light. They are fulfilling their purpose. And I'm assuming I've never tried it, but if you deconstructed a miner hat, I'm guessing the fireflies would come back. So I'm going to argue yes. And then keeping them fed, you know, you're feeding them the light bulbs. That's how they continue to make light. So I would say yes on that. So, so don't don't say it in chat. Just post it up on the poll. So that'll be up there as an actual poll that you can vote on. So we'll do a couple of these throughout. But that was kind of, you know, a use of an animal in a way that I wasn't sure if that should be kosher or not. All right. Ooh, hey. Grabbing some cactus here. Oh, oh, Sarah, thank you so much. You're so kind. Oh, and the coffee reminder. I will follow that. I will eat the coffee. Drink the coffee. Go away from that. All right, I need to run around in some more of this uh, rocky land. See if I can get myself some more. All right, now is this mosaic again? I'm getting some really weird world gen vibes here because we're getting... Oh, no, do not engage in violence. Be friends. Oh, well, nothing we can do about that. You know, I'm going to go up and blow them a balloon. There, have a balloon. Be friends. Don't fight. That's a cool little moose balloon. Oh, they killed the pig. Uh, there's a pig skin on the ground. I'm going to grab the pig skin. I can use those. I can give meat and eggs and stuff to the pig king. I think that should be allowed. Um, my general West philosophy for this is going to be if he is making use of resources in a way that doesn't violate the consuming of meat, then that is should still be allowed. But like if stuff turns to raw, I can use that to fertilize crops. We're, we're returning things to the soil, returning things to nature. Now I'm back into like proper mosaic. It's such a weird world, Jen. All right. And I always have to go like closer to the edge because I want to like have as much of the ocean visible as possible. I know. Call me weird. One of my many isms. Yeah, we got the flints. And I'm going to start digging up the berry bushes because we are going to want all the berry bushes as fast as possible. Right, let's put those over there. Uh, I'm going to leave that right there. Let's go ahead and get a pickaxe. Start mining up extra gold. Pierogies are not vegan. Pierogies have egg in them, so pierogies are off the menu. That's okay, though, because, again, if I beeline the... Goodness, I am getting hungry already. Um, if I beeline dragon fruit pies, then that will basically fill the role of pierogies anyways. Um, and they're actually, dragon fruit pies are actually really good stat-wise. They're just generally frowned upon because guarding itself is extremely inefficient in Reign of Giants. But when you're a vegan, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, trail mix is a good one. So I'm going to need to get myself probably a couple of crock pots set up throughout the world. Um, and I'll probably want to start gathering some charcoal here real soon. I normally prefer to burn down twiggy trees. Ugh. I'm going to get in trouble with hunger real fast here, aren't I? Hmm. There is probably not going to be 
a lot of food up in this here mosaic. I'm going to double back. No, don't do that yet. Because we're going to be running out of food here real fast. I only have resources to make one trail mix. Oh, did anyone double check? <clears throat> I might need to pull up the recipe of trail mix because that's usually not something that I make very often. Oh, wait a minute, there's a bunch of ice up there. All right. Change of plans. Nope, not that. Oh, no, that ice is too small. That's not going to be very useful. And I'm just going to burn these. Oh, there's some seeds up there, some more berries. Ah! Oh, I got it. Wow. I saved the flower from a fiery death. I'm I'm needing some crockpot foods here real fast. Yeah, I don't want to mine those. Not yet. Too stressed out yet on my food situation. Um, maybe that's a good question there. Because durian counts as a monster food. So like that butterfly wing right there, even though it has perished, I am not allowed to consume that because that counts as a meat. All right, where was my science machine? Here, up there. Green caps. Thank you, I'll take that. Oh, my first balloon victim. Are they even gonna hit it? I thought it would like pop when they got near it. But apparently that's not quite how they work. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're hungry. Uh, is that guy going to chase me like for a long while? I don't remember what they do. Maybe I can ditch him onto the tall birds. All right, there's a science machine. Let's go ahead and make a quick rock pot. Go ahead and make a quick campfire. I'm just going to eat that real fast. Oh, he got the thing. Rockpot is down. Took some of these up. All right, so I got to look something up. So honey poultices, yeah. Well, no, no, actually, I think honey poultices would be allowed. I'm not consuming it. And if I otherwise find honey that's just on the ground, hang on, I'm going to pause it for one second. I just can't remember all the different variations you can do of um, trail mix. So I know that needs the, the birch nut and the berry, and you can use at least one stick, but I can't remember the rest. I'm going to double check that real fast. I will be consulting the wiki on a regular basis here today, folks. Um, yeah, it needs to have two berries. Or I could do two nuts, and then just one stick is all that's allowed. Or does it need to have a second berry anyway? Yeah, I think it has to have the two berries. Because you need to have... Oh, a berry and a fruit. So that's why you have to have the two berries. Okay, I can never remember on that one. Okay, so let me get this back up. Oh, we got our first spammer of the day. Look at that. 23 minutes in. So yeah, my, my decision on, on animal products is that, you know, I can make the best use of things that are available so long as I am not facilitating the death of it directly, um, then that should be allowed. All right, let's get some trail mix made. So I can only make one of those right now. But I do have some extra birch nut seeds. We can eat that. How much do those give back? That's not too bad. We get nine from those. Um, and it's kind of too bad that I can't use the butterflies because that would have been nice, because then I could have made uh, butter muffins also. But such is life when you're a vegan pacifist West. Yep, no honey. Honey's not allowed. That goes into the animal product category. Not going to be doing. Do you still find it annoying that you can't use that trick in uh, Reign of Giants? Uh, a little bit. All right, we're going to make use of the nighttime here. That one little uh, 
trail mix sure didn't go very far. Where was that tree that I was chopping down earlier? My alchemy engine prototyped. Might want to go ahead and prototype uh, some other stuff. Yeah, so I've been debating on the handbat. The thing about the handbat, though, is that since I'm a pacifist, I don't know why I'd make such a specialized weapon. Um, I will be allowed to break, like, hound mounds and... Um... Spider dance, so a handbat would actually be useful for that. Oh, yeast is not vegan either? Yeah, I mean, there's also different levels of veganism as well. I mean, there's some people that, uh, you know, vegan that wouldn't wear um, leather, for example. But I'm going to use football helmets. Football helmets? Nope, don't have stuff for that yet. Uh, I need more trees. <clears throat> A little bit in the dark here. Yeah, that'll give me enough to prototype science machine. All right, let's go ahead and pre-prototype lightning rod. I like to do that. I should also pre-prototype. No, don't want to do that yet because I want to get the alchemy in instead. All right, we need uh, four of those. Just had barely enough. Some doodads, boards, and I'm probably gonna need to go up into this mosaic here. Get a couple of these seeds. Seeds are not really that good. Mm. That over there. That can go over there. Oh, he is a hungry boy. <laughs> This vegan start. I am not allowed to kill stuff. Nope, we're a pacifist. It's a pacifist west. I'm gonna go up into that desert. If I can get a bunch of cactus and then just use those as food, I think that's probably a good bet at this point. Munching on seeds as needed. Although, cactus raw, not so good. I don't want to be making a bunch of extra campfires. Wes hungry. Here we go. Cactus. I'm really hoping for a very lush desert with lots and lots of cactus. Some people actually do avoid it. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Nope, nope. Can't use eggs. Can't use eggs as filler. Even though there's other alternatives that could be used. If the dish itself... Whoops. If the dish itself was made with meat, I am not allowed to eat it. No, no doing a side... <laughs> Have you guys seen that Seinfeld episode? Uh, where George ended up putting lobster in a breakfast that he made as revenge against someone else for something that happened. I'm not going to go into the details because it's borderline NSFW um, as Seinfeld was prone to be. Ugh, don't want to eat too much of any of my uh, birch nut seeds. I haven't seen really a lot of berries yet so far. I might cook up a bunch of the cactus here in just a minute, just to give myself as much of a food buffer as I can at once. But anyways, yeah, I put lobster into a... It was lobster or crab in a dish he made. Ooh, I might get, like, good bun... or, um, blueprints from it. That could be cool. That's actually a faster way to harvest resources with the tumbleweeds. Compared to the time you spend doing the animation to pick stuff up. And yes, I do apologize, but we're gonna be we're gonna be borderline starving here for a fair bit of this run, I think. And it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Now, let's eat one more of these. Get a nice pile of cactus. So if Deer Claw's stalling during the winter, the only way to get his eye is letting others kill him for me, right? Yep, that is exactly right. Oh, look at that! The Tumbleweeds have provided berries! It's like the gods of Don't Starve are smiling upon us. That's very nice. The one berry doesn't make a trail mix. But yeah, so I'm thinking Swamp for Deer Clops might be necessary. Otherwise, I would... Wow, another one of these little orphan packs. Otherwise, I'd have to make how many hundreds of balloons to kill deer clubs? <laughs> Which would be hilarious. I think that would be a lot of fun. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the cactus. 
We're gonna go ahead and play with fire a little bit on the health because we'll get a little bit back on this. Eat. Eat and get full, dear Wes. Alright, we're just gonna eat all those. Alright, let's grab these. Look at that, we got gears? Goodness. I need to find one of those pig villages that has like just a ton of the berry bushes. That'd be nice. Good spot for tumbleweeds over here though, my goodness. Stock up on- Oh, there we go! We've got our first uh, bee stinger. That's exciting. Now we just need a black feather and we can make a sleep dart. Yeah, I decided to sleep darts so though should be allowed. And I don't need the evil flowers. Don't need reeds. Inventory is already full. Yeah, one trip through the cactus and we got our hunger back up. That's pretty nice. Wow, Wes though, he is a hungry boy. Do you know how old Wes is? I'm not sure if that's ever been disclosed. I'm guessing he's an adult, not a child like some of the other characters. <clears throat> Spider web. Bro. A seed out of that one. Let's open a few more hounds too. I think there's another rope in there. Alright, that was a pretty good haul. Alright, I am going to... Oh, why did... Butterfly wings. Alright, we just have to leave the butterfly wings. Uh, I'm gonna leave the houndstooth for now. Um, sewing kits, those are obviously loud. Because if I go to all the trouble of... Monitoring the progress of a deer clop through a forest or swamp... Only to make an umbrella, only to have the umbrella deteriorate due to not having a sewing kit, then that would just be sad. Very, very sad. Alright, I got some more grassy areas up here. Get myself... Ooh. That? <laughs> I think that's the teleportado set piece right there. It's got the rook and the other clockworks. And we got a cat coon that's uh, getting his ass handed to him. Circle back around this way. Yeah, there's the circle thing. Wooden circle thing. Alright, so Clockworks, that is one that we've decided they don't have... They're not living, strictly speaking, in Reign of Giants, so I am allowed to kill them. Alright. Oh, the sound of those guys. They're fun. Zoom that map in here. I want to make sure that I'm seeing any berry bushes that might be in the peripherals. There's a berry bush. Gotta get more trail mixes made. You get pretty low health here just from picking cactus. Goodness. Yeah, Catcoon versus Bishop. My bet's on the Bishop for that one. Hands down. Go back up around this way. We're exploring by minimap. Part of the reason that I like having the minimap. Just... You get a lot more information. That's why it is kind of borderline cheating if you want to be... a purist, as some people I know are. Oh. Maybe kept an eye on that. <laughs> Am I stressing you guys out yet? How's everybody's stress levels watching me play this... this mode? Yeah, I do want to map out the rest of the desert. I need to know exactly how much cactus I have to work with. <laughs> I'm using mods. Yep, I believe in using mods. I believe in playing the game the way you enjoy it. Not a purist. Alright, already got that one up there. Not a ton more desert to work with. And then we've got these weird mini mosaics. That is so strange. Yeah, this is an unusual world gen so far. All right, I'm going to circle back around this way. Oh, poor cat coon. Yeah, I can make cat caps. 
by uh, find the cattails. Yeah, let's go around this way. Oh, and he's already that hungry again already. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying that a whole bunch this stream. How is he so hungry again already? All right, let's grab these. Indeed, Rui. Mods are the reason that PC gaming is so good. I love mods in their community. And for a lot of games, too, it just it expands the game so much. Like, you know, mods in RimWorld. You just, you can change the game completely with some good mods. And the modding community is so robust for all sorts of games. <clears throat> I think you're missing out if you don't have mods for a lot of things. <laughs> Five out of six right now. Who does a stress level out of six? That's just weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I like basic. Oh, there's my first tree guard. Hi, tree guard. Oh, I want the log. All right, so this is actually a good thing to have. My own personal pet tree guard. And we're going to keep him around. We're going to let him follow us as long as we possibly can. Let's not lure him directly into the clockworks. Uh, I'm gonna go back and double check. I, I just wanna get that area explored. Normally you don't wanna do a lot of exploring, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to wait the entire map exploration before starting to set down a base, because I'm gonna need to get gardens and other stuff as soon as I can. <clears throat> yep, he's gonna be my bodyguard. So that's actually been part of my thought for a while is that tree guards, I'm going to count them as living things. Once the tree comes alive, it's alive. It drops meat, therefore a living creature. I cannot kill it. Um, but having some tree guards around could come in handy for things like Berger, because we know how Berger does against tree guards. All right, so that's it for the uh, stuff up there. I do have enough stuff to make one trail mix. We're going to head back towards that. With the poison birch nut trees, as long as I leave those alone and they revert back, then I'll be able to chop those down once they're no longer active, maybe? I'm not sure on that. They eventually turn completely back to normal, don't they? Yeah, anything that drops meat is going to be, by definition, considered alive. Oh, yes, more cactus. Uh, let's see, those... Tied me over just a little bit. And then we're going to cook up a whole bunch of cactus and live on that for a while. Really a little sad about how few berries I've found. Oh, he ate the seed. Mean crow. <clears throat> and if I remember right, I think the tree guards, they don't drop aggro at any point in time. That guy should follow me to the ends of the earth. So I'll be like hanging out in base, reading chat, all of a sudden the tree guard will stealthily creep up on me and smack me dead in two hits. <laughs> That's my prediction. Alright, did I get that one up there? I did. Alright, now where is Brock Pot? It's straight down that way. I'm not going to worry about exploring that patch. Let's head back up to the Brock Pot. Uh, those. No! No, don't steal it! Ha! <laughs> oh, we got a gear sound, too. That makes me happy. Alright, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Berries! Want the berries. Did I find some other berry bushes that I forgot to dig up? Let's go ahead and get this patch here. I see a seed. I grab the seed. It's kind of weird not even having a spear, but if I'm not using it to defend myself, don't need it. I can use that as a filler for something. All right, tall bird, don't get mad. No, I said don't get mad. Coming? I think he's coming. Something. All right, trail mix it is. Two berries, one twig. Make a fire, cook up the cacti. Cactuses. All 
All right, here we go. Nope, we do not want to fight no tall birds. Not today. All right, let's go ahead. Save the trail mix for a little bit later. Uh, let's see here. Click those. Go ahead and make, um, I think I'll just make an umbrella. Wait, no, I need, need silk for the umbrella. Let's go ahead and drop those. Free up a little bit of inventory space. I'll just remember the stuff here. I'm going to leave this stuff here. It's because I might need it later for something. And I just don't think there's anything else I can make crockpot wise yet. Is there? I'm not thinking of anything. You know, I'm just going to eat that now. I need the healing anyways. Uh, I think I can make a ice box. Oh, no, I need alchemy engine for that too. Um, well, I guess we carry on. Carry on, my wayward son. Let's go... I don't know. Go back to outlining, I guess. Do a flyby of the tall bird. Up this way. We can get wet. Early rain on our fall start here. Maybe we'll see a tall bird lay an egg. Still cracks me up when I saw it that one time. Which stream was that, anyways? Was that with Wanda? I think that was with Wanda. Alright, I'm gonna be smart this time. Make it back up to Oh, good, the rain stopped. Alright, and I am watching for berries. Yeah, tree guards don't automatically aggro on things. They they automatically aggro on anything that chops a tree in their vicinity or breaks a tree. So like Bearger breaking a tree that will make a uh, tree guard mad nearby. Same with your clops. <clears throat> That's why they always attack the pigs. Like if you're not actively chopping the trees then the tree guard attacks the pigs, but not you. Oh, blue mushrooms. That is money right there. Whoa. I almost got sucker punched by that guy. I'm staying over here for just a bit. Berries. More swamp. Interesting. Uh, nope. I thought I saw a berry over there, but not quite. All right, this is an area that I do want to scour for berry bushes. Almost ran past that reading chat. That would have been sad. Touchstone. Um, and I don't have any stone to make a hammer. All right, we'll come back for that later. I'm not terribly worried about having uh, pig skins right now. Some more birch nut seeds while we're here. Yeah, Year of the Cat Coom is coming up. That should be this week. They're actually doing a new Twitch drop campaign starting, I think, on Thursday. Um, I don't know if that's going to start the Year of the Cat Coon or not right then. Um, the main drop is going to be a conch shell torch will be the skin. Sadly, I don't have access to those because they don't have Twitch drops on YouTube. Something about being associated with Twitch or something like that. <clears throat> Makes me sad. Hopefully I get something along those lines at some point for the YouTubers. Yeah, I have no idea what they're going to do for the Year of the Cat Coon, but it sounds like fun to me. Alright. Um... It's going to bug me if I leave that little spot right there. So, we'll get that spot. Go back to exploring this here mosaic. More berry bushes. I might do a quick lap around swamp um mushroom circles are somewhat common oh there's the pig king mushroom circles are somewhat common out there and a blue mushroom circle would be just like amazing to find tentacle spikes i'm allowed to use those not that i'll be fighting with them anyways Ooh, gotta 
suspicious dirt pile. Don't feel the need to explore that at this point, though. I'm going to go ahead and grab this here carrot. Maybe I'll do every other carrot. Oh, more blue mushrooms. Awesome. I might be basing in the deciduous forest. Close to the swamp. It's close to the desert because the desert was just right up over there. We'd have pig laborers without having to destroy their homes. I think that's a little bit more socially responsible. Oh, there's some stone. I have more logs than I really need right now. Grab some of this stuff. Um, you don't get the snake skin from digging up the snake bush, though, I don't believe. I think it just makes the snakes come out. And then I have to have to fight the snakes or have some other means of them getting deaded in order to get the snake skin. But yeah, that, that'd be tricky. Managing snakes in Shipwrecked would be a bit of a chore. Um, we don't have them linked yet, but this is... Yeah, there's no mushroom planters. Yeah. That is one of the rough aspects of Reign of Giants for this particular challenge. Alright, let's go ahead and get that made. Oh, and that's a set piece right there. Evil flowers. Fairy bush. I think I should be allowed to, uh... Yeah, we got a lot of mushrooms around here. So much blue and green mushrooms. It's Glomer! Oops, wrong button. Oh, that's right, there's no... Wait. Is there normally a pan flute in Reign of Giants? I suddenly can't remember if there is or not. And if there was, would the cat coon have stole it? If so, man, mean. That's sad if that's the truth. That's what happened. Because a pan flute would have come in handy. That is for sure. I can't remember if it normally does. 80% chance to have the pan flute? Interesting. All right, I'm going to contemplate my map here for a moment. Yeah, we've got Swamp out there, and maybe Swamp could connect to other stuff. Swamp is often a dead end in Reign of Giants. It's a lot of pig houses real close together. Um, I've got my crock butt up there. I'm going to circle back around that way. And then batch up a uh, trail mix with whatever berries I have when I get up there. Definitely gonna need to test out the wormholes. Having a fast travel exit to get stuff away from base when an attack is imminent will be necessary. I, I don't know if they do or not. If the catcoons will steal a pan flute. I am really not sure. Didn't spawn every time in Reign of Giants. Yeah, and I just couldn't remember if it did or didn't or what its rate of spawn might be. Alright. Uh, back to more mosaic. Yeah, let's go back up around this way. I might go ahead and drop that fire pit there. That crock pot. We're just gonna need to be going back to it fairly regularly, I think. Keep our spirits up. Give ourselves some bandwidth for blowing balloons. And actually, a good combination of green and blue mushrooms would be pretty nice. Eat the blue mushrooms for the food, and then the green mushrooms to restore. Sandy, excuse me, I got some hiccups. All right, we're circling back around this way a bit. Might need to go into a cave, tour the swamp, get monster meat, evolve a pig. I think that should be allowed. T to some extent, I'm going to treat Wes as though he's kind of an ignorant survivor. That true to Wes form, that this is like kind of a, a role playing session in a way. So he he'll be trying to do things to be nice. 
and it doesn't necessarily work out well for others is kind of my theory. So like I can feed monster meat to a pig because pigs eat meat, right? It's just their natural diet. They're they're omnivores. Um, and if I happen to give the pig too much monster meat and it accidentally turns into a were pig, well, then we just have to make do with the best of the situation, which probably involves uh, letting him eat a bunch of stuff to make manure for me. I think that's allowed. That's fair. It's reasonable. All right, this torch is going to run out and I don't have space to make a backup at the moment. Circle around wide, back over to my crock pot, and I can make three birch nets, or trail nets. How's oh, that for perfect timing? Yeah! Alright, trail nuts, trail mix, trail nuts? I'm calling it here. Um, let's go ahead and just eat those. Those. Cook those. Yeah, turning pigs is loud. First, then I've got to make sure that I've got a way to not have the were pig chasing me to the ends of the earth. Um, although, if you convert a were pig, how long does he stay in were form? Um, because you know, a normal were pig at night will turn back into a regular pig at daytime. I'm not sure, because I always just kill any were pigs that I evolved myself. Interesting question, to which I do not yet have an answer, but I'm sure we'll figure out at some point. Look at this! We got trail mixes now! Makes me happy! Put that over there. Um... I'll just... those for now, I suppose? No, I'm just gonna eat them. Alright, got that, got that. All right. Um, I don't want to put my base base quite right here. How about those tall birds, though? That could be useful for hounds. We have the desert up there. Cactus regrows every four days, I believe. I did miss some berry bushes out that way. I kind of want to go do a jaunt through the swamp really quick. Well, that requires doubling back all the way across there. So I think I'll save the swamp for later. Um, what day is it? Day six? Hmm. I think I'm just going to go explore. We'll do some mapping. I really want to get a base made by day 10. That will get at least a couple of berry harvests in. Although getting those all fertilized is going to be tricky. Not sure how I'm going to manage that. Yeah, no, I'm going to need a lot of manure for even just making the gardens. And then you can also um, just mass fertilize the crops to make them, you know, grow pretty much immediately. They grow super fast. Free stone. Get another. Actually, I'll wait a little bit to do that. I'm going to get another fire pit pre-crafted. Not sure where I'm going to base yet. This is definitely a little bit of a slower start due to the uh, food requirements and limitations. Hey there, Fat Man X! Or Fat Man Max? Sorry, I said that wrong. Fat Man Max. That's what it is. <laughs> ah, names in the internet age. Always hard to know for sure exactly what's intended. Berry bush. All the berry bushes are belong to me. And I can't leave that patch there. Has to be explored. Can't leave holes in the map behind me. I didn't mean to do that. Eat my berry. Meant to switch to the axe. It just looks really derpy running around with a shovel like that. It's almost like, you know, the reverse grip on a sword or something, only it's a shovel. Alright, here we go. This will be my charcoal. Yep, there's some twiggy trees up there, or the saplings, but I'm gonna let those burn. Alright, did burn. Alright, this is for future crockpot. Go ahead and get these over here. 
That should burn. Yep, it did. Oops. If I had a dollar for every time I ran away from a tree, because I don't want to catch fire myself, I would have a couple of dollars. Can we kill Bunnymen somehow? Because we do get those two carrots every time. So I think for one of the previous discussions is that if Bunnymen were to die and they were befriended Bunnymen, then the only use of those carrots is to convert them into seeds to replant them. If a bunny man dies from other causes of death, um, except for they always drop meat with it too. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. That, that might be a topic for a poll when and if we cross that bridge. <laughs> Indeed, air quotes, if it were to die. Yes, I'm very careful with my terminology here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I almost feel like it's kind of ironic because bunnies being themselves rabid vegetarians and yet they drop meat when they die. Bunny men are made of meat and I would be inclined to think that that would therefore make the carrots tainted by the meat. I don't know. I mean, are we just like digging in the weeds here at that point? Hey there, be humble. Welcome to the stream. So far, we've been on the doorstep of hunger a couple of times. I actually have some trail mix now, though. Health got down a little bit. Sanity got down quite a bit. All right, these are nicer pastures. Oh, more blue mushrooms. Ooh, so here's another question, though. What about moggles? Am I allowed to make moggles? Since technically you don't fill the mole worm when you make the moggles, can I make a moggles? Oh, I could get a garland. I totally should get a garland. All right, I'm going to start picking flowers. Since I don't need the flowers for butterflies, why not? And I think it'd be very styling with this garland on. Oh, do we have Savannah? Oh, please let there be lots and lots of beefalo. I might use beefalo for hound defense, honestly. Um, it would take a while to get enough hounds whoops, to be able to make or have any of the beefalo die to accidentally get a beefalo horn. Um, but that might be a good option. I'll be relocating a bunch of resources anyways. As long as I don't let the Moggles completely deteriorate. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I forget, is the recipe for Moggles is it just one mole worm? I can never remember on that one. There's a lot of recipes that I kind of have a general sense of what it is, but don't necessarily remember exactly what it is. Um, and I suppose that if you deconstruct, you know, use a deconstruction staff on a pair of Moggles, that it would actually give you back the mole worm, the live mole worm. Ooh, would it be alive or dead? That I don't know. Oh, look at that. Level 2 spider nest already. Alright, so what about... What about using traps for spiders? What is our thought on that topic? Um, we could do it on the theory that he is providing them a nice little home for them to stay in. And that he's not intending for them to die. You don't actually... There we go. You don't actually murder the spiders like you do in, sing, or in a DST. Nope, not allowed to eat honey. We're treating that as an edible animal product. Uh, torch. I am allowed to shave beef, though. That's fully allowed. Yeah, I'm going to need to go into a sinkhole and get... Just a boatload of uh, light bulbs, convert those into manure with a wear pig. That's going to be a necessary task. Oh, we got lots of beefalo. Do you have more of a herd, buddy? We got some beefalo. Feel pretty good about that. Oh, and that was a dead end up there. I like uniformity for my coastline explorations. Call me weird. All right, Be Humble has one rule that I must follow. What is it?
about a dollar for every time my torch runs out and then I have to <gasps> fire dart. That's off limits. That is an aggressive weapon that may not be used. Too aggressive. Oh, trail mix is just so bad for hunger. All right, go back to get the coastline. Yeah, we are on default settings. We just changed it to a false start. That was it. Did Be Humble post his request yet? Don't want to miss it. I'm waiting in anticipation. Yeah, it, it, it is a little bit violent, I suppose. Um, let's see, if you're in the caves and the mole worms fall from the ceiling, do they fall down in their stun state? Where you can pick them up. I know they do from Cavens and Hamlet. Can't remember if in Reign of Giants and Caves they do. What if I call the fire dots the pacifier and use them to pacify? <laughs> they do a little bit of a dance, some some mobs do once they're hit with the blow darts, the fire darts. No, I think I think that one's too too aggressive. So, so he's a vegan. He's he did not kill the pig. The pig was was died from natural circumstances as part of its natural habitat, natural ecosystem. I'm not sure what the phrases I'm looking for there. And so, in those circumstances, I am allowed to make the best use of natural resources that are available. So that pigskin is allowed. Uh, pigskin from uh, smashed pig heads. I'm allowed to use those. <clears throat> Got to protect my brain case. And let's see, I was working on picking flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna start eating these carrots. I actually successfully pick it up. Oh, I'm feeling good about our berry bushes. Oh, we got a mole worm eating minerals over there. Good job, buddy. You're just doing your due diligence. <laughs> His face paint is made from animal products. We don't know that. It, it could have been just, you know, he smudged some of the berry juice on his face. Oh. Flowers. The flowers. How many flowers is it for Garon? 12? Yeah, 12. I'm really hoping that there's a big killer bee field for certain reasons. Don't know if we'll actually see what. Oh, we found the berry patch mother load, though. That's happy. Might just eat some of these raw. Or not raw, I'll cook them. Gotta maximize the hunger. You get like three points extra hunger, I think, from cooked ones. Honey Tiger Pig! Is the goal just to survive or plan to achieve anything more? We want to do as much as we possibly can, so I'm gonna try to. To make it down to the ancient ruins and make fun toys down there. That'll be a bit of a challenge. We can't... Rock lobsters. What? Not sure to what extent I should be allowed to use rock lobsters. They're pretty OP in single player down in the caves and ruins. They'll, they'll plow their way through everything, including the ancient guardian. All right, spider forest. You guys, go home. Go home. Oh, I want that berry bush. Get it? I got it! Got the berries. Oh, there's the seeds. Alright, can't fight spiders. Um, hang on, let me get away from these guys. Why am I not eating honey? You don't kill the bees, just wondering what your take on it. Um, I'm gonna view that as just an animal food product. So honey, eggs, anything that is produced by an animal, I think we're going to consider uh, off limits for the vegan diet in this gameplay. Um, plus, honey would just make it way too trivial. You know, set up some early bee boxes and then the food issue is completely solved. It just it solves the the food requirements a little bit too easily. Ooh, I bet that's Maxwell's door up there or a totally normal tree. One of the two. Yeah, there's Maxwell's Maxwell's door. 
We don't want to go there. <laughs> we could try to do adventure mode. Uh, Glomer Goop. That's an interesting one. I, I don't think I'll let myself eat it because it does big healing and uh, drops your sanity if you're wanting to go crazy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just cook up the berries. And we'll just eat those as it. Yeah, I think, so, I mean, it depends. So with, like, vegan and vegetarianism, there's different levels of it. You've got the, the, the pescatarians, there's, you know, vegetarians that will still eat eggs. You know, there's a lot of personal preference involved with all of those concepts. You know, I'm going to go ahead and prototype another crockpot. For this playthrough, I'm being pretty strict, though, on the no eating animal stuff. I will use animal stuff for other purposes, just not for food. Gotta, gotta make it a good challenge. But again, like I said at the very beginning, in no way is this a commentary on any of the different variations of vegetarianism or veganism or, or anything like that. We're just doing it for the challenge aspect and to have fun, so. <clears throat> yeah, some vegetarians do, not all. It varies. And, and whether, you know, or not a vegetarian that eats eggs from a non-strictly vegetarian chicken diet, I don't know. We're not going to get that deep into those weeds. All right, can I get one more? Oh, we have hounds. Um, we have two minutes before the hounds arrive. We do have a lot of spiders around here. I think we'll just use the spiders for the hounds. Oh yeah, don't worry about that for now, Sarah. If you want to go ahead and write something up, feel free. I'm not going to read it during the stream, obviously, but... Yeah, there's, there's lots of different takes on those topics. Hmm... Many spiders... Really just wanted to get that one more flower. Oh, there it is. Wow, I thought that guy would have seen me. All right, hang on, head down. To... Uh, torch. See if I can have my torch not go off to a different hotkey and then I lose track of where it is and then smacked around by Charlie. That'd be sad. All right, I'm gonna be ready with my uh, replacement torch. Oh, we can even use the pigs. Pigs will be out and there were not any spiders real close by to those guys. Yeah, we'll use the pigs for helping with the hounds. Four pigs. Berries. Fortnite. See that? I was on it. I was ready to go with that one. So yeah, when you're a poor helpless mime about to be attacked by vicious doggos, what can you do otherwise other than just run around like crazy? So that's what we're going to be doing here. Note that I'm not hiring the pigs to defend me. I'm just going to be running away from the dogs. Where'd my balloons go? Over there. There. Balloon. No, pig! Don't die! All right, so yeah, I, do they have to, like, actually target the balloons? Yeah, he's still going after me. Oh, he got it down. Oh, there he did! He bit it! <laughs> All right, I have evaded the hound. And now I will not stay in the area. I'm not here to promote or facilitate violence any more than is necessary. 
my own personal survival. Ooh, I kind of want to grab that silk. I want to add clockworks there. I thought I heard a clockworks. All right. First hounds have been disposed of. Ooh, <laughs> we got a bush hat. <laughs> I kind of want the bush hat because that's amazing. Bird trap blueprint. Uh, hang on, let's drop some things. That's a lot of stuff right there. The rot, how much is it? Yeah, three rot, that's that's some berries right there. Um, I've got too much stuff. I don't need the pickaxe right now. Let's leave the pickaxe. Berry bush right there, that berry bush. Thank you, spider. Very kind to share. All right, we're gonna move on. Yeah, the bush hat is actually, I didn't even really think about that before. Um, you know, I'm gonna leave the pine cones. I want the bush hat. That actually is, is really good to find. So if I could find like an area and just get a bunch of um, like tree guards and then just bush hat by the tree guards Then the hounds would eventually attack the tree guards and I just hide in the bush hat and Since it's West in single-player other characters. They do their different spoken emote things when the hounds are coming um, And they jump out of the ground when you're wearing the bush hat, but with West since he doesn't talk I think he would just stay down. But I don't know that he does any like visual emotes either at least not in single player. I'm feeling pretty good about this berry patch situation. Um, I'll probably. Oh! Oh, look at that! There's so many pig guards, though. Oh man! And that's where a pan flute would come in handy. I want those berries. Oh my goodness. No punch. No punchy. Got bees up there. Yeah, we'll get the two full stacks. Got the box thing with its guardian gnome. We've got a spear that I'm not going to bother grabbing. I'll make a spear at some point. Yeah, exactly. Wes is the best for hiding from things. Special talent he has. Oh, and I'm getting hungry again. Already. Let's eat some carrots. Carrots have the benefit of they don't give you any additional food points. Alright, I'm just going to pick the berries now. I think 20 berries is more than sufficient for my start purposes. Alright, we're going to do as much mapping as we can. And then hopefully by around day 10, we're going to start putting a base down. Looks more like infinite light. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do you mean? The you still get attacked by Charlie if you're hiding in a bush hat without a light. Leave. If you're holding a torch though, uh, or a lantern, then the light still shines. Berries, berries, carrots. So for gobblers, I think my best bet there is actually just to pick the berries during dusk or night, and then you don't have gobblers come out. Because obviously I can't kill the gobblers. Although if they're fixated on a berry and it changes to dusk, I think they still go back and hide in the bushes. Oh, the, the pig guard scent piece. Yes, yes, yes. That is an infinite light source. But getting to the point where I could make use of it would be challenging. As a Wes. I can't kill them. I pan flute them or leap dart them. They wouldn't be out of commission for that long. Yeah, but how would I trap the pigs though in this scenario? Because I can't kill them. And I can't intentionally like hire other pigs to fight them or set off a civil war. Yeah, I think doing a pig civil war, that would be a no-no. That requires using an attack to initiate things. Although those guys, maybe not. Ugh, all the free carrots. I am not going to complain. 
Oh, oh, look at that. Deflated balloon. And that does... Wow, they're like right... Are they normally right next to each other? I haven't played a Reign of Giants world that's linked to Shipwrecked and Hamlet um, since I've been doing exclusive Reign of Giants content for so long. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. Round over there. Sleep them, then fence them. Yeah, maybe. Lure a bunch of tree guards over to him. That could work. And then you put a fence around the torch. I can't remember how the, exactly the mechanics of those things work. Does the, do you end up getting a pig stuck inside the fence and the pigs don't attack the fence? Is that the theory of it? What you got, be humble? Did you post a request thing earlier? I might have missed it if you did. You said you had one request. Torch. Almost missed that. <laughs> Would a pound took care of the pig guards? Yeah. Later on, a big enough hound wave could probably take out that many pig guards. Um, and then if there are a few stragglers around, maybe use sleep methods. Make wall around the torch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking it was. Yeah, that's a possibility. It sounds like a lot of effort, so I'm not sure that I want to do that necessarily. All right, hang on a second. I missed B Humble's thing earlier. Oh, so you have a rule that you can allow that you can run to other mobs only for help when something aggressive attacks you. You can't lure something like a dragonfly to kill beefalo. You can only kill non-aggressive stuff on purpose by dogs. I think that's probably fair. Um, so, like, Barriger, I can use Barriger to clear a bunch of trees in a forest. And if Barriger happens to spawn some tree guards that then kill Barriger, totally allowed. I can use the Barriger coat. Make a hibernation vest. Oh, that sounds nice. Help negate some of the hunger of the Hungry Boy Wes. Um, so I can do that with Barriger. I can do that with Deerclops. Um, although getting them to aggro on me... I can use Ice Staffs. So if I want to make something aggro on me, I can use an Ice Staff to initiate combat. In that sense. Um, but in general... Make sure I'm scrolled down. Yep. In general, though, I'm not going to be hitting anything for damage. That's not allowed. And yeah, if something's just running around being passive. Then I don't know that I would necessarily want to mess with that. Dragonfly, Dragonfly gets aggro if you get too close to it. Um, what I'll probably end up doing with the Dragonfly, if I'm even staying on the surface for summertime, is let it go to sleep with the ashes and then just run away and despawn it because that works pretty well. A little bit more grass. Yeah, we, we do have a couple of loopholes that we're allowed to take advantage of. That is allowed. I'm going to need to go back to that swamp here, though, because I'm going to need a birdcage pretty fast. All right, day nine. We've got most of our map explored, I think. Feeling pretty good about my hunger levels of late. Nice. Seed stack is almost full, so we can start munching on those as needed. Hey, Becky, welcome to the stream. Just finished work. You and Wes both. <laughs> Wes has been starving a couple of times. It's been a while, though. The first, first couple of days were a little bit more dicey. Last couple of days I've been going through more lush regions with lots of carrots and berries. All right. Other than the swamp, that is the outline. Um, I'm thinking kind of this general vicinity might be good. We have one sinkhole there. We have the tall birds. We do have a wormhole. I need to see where that wormhole goes. 
We're going to want lots of pangles in the winter, that's for sure. Got the birch nut forest, pigs, swamp. A little bit of a run, though. For, for later game hound attacks. So I might want to have base be more closer to the beefalo. I think that the beefalo are probably a better bet for general hound defense, especially with the bush hat. Lillian has a question for everyone. Let's see it. Yep, the ice is very nice. That is for sure. All right, hang on one second. I'm going to close the poll. All right, so yep, minor hat is allowed. We'll end that poll. All right, next poll. All right. Oh, oops, I did that wrong. Great poll. Last question. Too long. All right, that barely fit. All right, that's my new poll. Is Wes allowed to use traps on spiders so long as he doesn't pick up the trap with the live spider in it? Picking up the trap with the live spider in it kills the spider in Reign of Giants. But if I just leave the trap on the ground, is that allowed? That's that's parsing things pretty fine. That That is a, a very fine line of skirting the edges of causing the death of something, but maybe he believes he's baking a little terrarium for the spiders and they should live happy little lives inside there, not causing violence with pigs or other stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. He's not killing it. He's not hoping to cause its death. It's 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 uh, benevolently motivated. How about that? <laughs> We're going to cause or start all sorts of philosophical debates about stuff like that. Yeah, cast your votes. This will be. Oh, aren't you? Thank you so much. I feel bad. I haven't had time to hop on any of your live streams. Everybody check out Arichu. She Twitch uh, live streams on Twitch. She has a bunch of adorable cats. Uh, super cool person. Uh, so check out Arichu on Twitch. Um, can you post a link? You know, I'm going to post a link for your Twitch. Hang on, let me pull that up real quick. Hopefully it doesn't blare random Twitch noise. Um, oh, that's all. We're having a little gameplay break here for a moment. To do is it's oh, fine. that was all right. I'm posting leak. All right, there it is. Uh, yeah, so check out Not Ari Chew. She streams on Twitch, does all sorts of different games, lots of different stuff. Cool person, fun stuff. Um, and I got to catch up on my chat here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just... So part of my thought of that is that I want a way to be able to bust down spider nests for Silk. And, you know, if I want to break down a level 3 spider nest, I'm going to have to trap 9 spiders. And that would, that would take 9 traps to have all the spiders trapped. That's That's pretty expensive. That's... Pretty high cost to get the silk. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, if I had all the spiders out at night and I run up and just ninja smack it without getting aggro from things, then that would work too. But then I'll probably end up getting a spider queen at some point. Um, but I just I'm just trying to think of creative ways to have access to silk here. And that's that's pretty expensive. All right, so let's see here. Uh that's a lot of chat. Let's see here. Yeah, gunpowder, that's not allowed. Schrodinger spider. I love it, Bonnie. It's totally Schrodinger spiders. As long as they don't pick it up, it's both alive or not alive under the death trap. Or alive or dead under the trap. Yep, I like that. 
yeah so that was uh vater viscera that that's kind of my argument the west is he's kind of ignorant he doesn't understand how things work but he's doing it from his heart is is pure let's let's say it that way <laughs> uh let's see here be humble says that's okay. You can also pick up rabbits. Yeah, I can use rabbits um, for making a Presta Hattitator. That's kind of the only time that I would purposely trap rabbits, I think. But if I ever were to accidentally trap rabbits, otherwise I have to set them free. Um, ooh, frogs. That's going to be another similar question. If I get like a frog rain and I've got frogs running around all over my base, and I use traps to try to relocate them and then it accidentally kills them, we'll cross that bridge if and when it comes. Ilian asks, when will I make an episode on the Wagstaff series? As, a, as in the next episode on the Wagstaff series? Uh, that'll be the next week or two, probably. Um, oh, I do have um, a Terraria guide that'll be coming out tomorrow. Um, it's rendered ready to go. I just need to do like a proof view check of it to make sure it's ready. Uh, that'll post tomorrow morning. It's on preparing for hard mode. Got a lot of good info in there. That's a good one if you're newer to Terraria and want some ideas on to be, how to be really ready for hard mode. All right, we're getting back in the game. My screen locked back in the place. Where am I? Anyway? Oh, that's right. I just finished mapping. I do want to beeline over to the swamp and see what's out there. Never saw a killer bee field. I was really hoping for that because I was going to lure deer clops into the killer bee field. Let him go gangbusters on the killer bees and hopefully get a whole bunch of bundling wrap blueprints. But that might not be in the cards. But let's go ahead and run over to the swamp. Probably drop a bunch of stuff en route because I'm going to wear armor for being in the swamp. Ooh, this is a tight pull. We've we've imposed a moral dilemma upon people with the spider question. And I and I think that mm, I'll, I'll do a separate pull on frogs to see if that's allowed for for attempting to relocate frogs. And then sadly, they end up dying. Put the trap monsters in a bundle so they don't rot. Um, not in single player. So in DST with the Weber update, they changed it. Oh, hey, I can go make some more trail mix. Let's do that. Uh, in DST, they changed it so that any character that picks up a trap. Drop a bunch of stuff here. Uh, is able to pick up the spiders and have them in their inventory. Oh, I got three stacks of berry bushes. I only had two. That with me. Uh, but in single player, whenever you pick up the trap, it immediately kills whatever's in the trap except for rabbits. Rabbits are the only one that you pick up in a trap live. How about I plant a uh, spider? Spider eggs. I, I think that would probably be allowed. Uh, planting the bunny hutches next to the spiders in the caves. I'm I'm hoping that they'll resolve their differences and be friends. And and it's not Wes's fault if they just remain mortal enemies. But that would be one way to actually get a lot of uh, those. <laughs> I don't think I've noticed any of his emotes so far this run. That's fun. Thank you for your emotes, Wes. You're you're delightful. Too bad you can't force the emotes in uh, single player. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and make a spear. Maybe I'll bust down a big spider den that I come across out there. It's so weird having a machete in here. Uh, spear. All right, we're making up some trail mix. We're going into the swamp with. Oh, full moon night. We do have two nights of full moon. I'll try to catch Glomer on the way back. Because this is full moon night number one. Uh, seeds don't give you any additional food for cooking them. It just gives you the hung or the, the health. That's right. Let's just do one more. At some point, I'm going to need to start uh, saving those birch nut seeds. Oh, yeah, I don't know how that happened with the Discord. 
Um, somebody pointed that out. I don't, I don't remember if that was you, Be Humble, or somebody else. Nope, not allowed to eat honey. Um, yeah, so my Discord status said I was still streaming Wanda. It automatically picked up that status. I didn't manually set it to it, but then it didn't automatically turn off. So that was kind of strange. Not sure why it did that. All right, he's he's using this spear not as a weapon. He's using it as a walking stick. That's that's my theory. Although I guess I could pick up Glomer and then just leave him on the. Mm. Uh, that's pretty dangerous terrain over there. Actually, no, we should be able to just grab him, leave his uh, thing in the backpack. Yeah, honey is not considered vegan in many vegan circles. That's that's not like. You know, again, there's different degrees of veganism, depending on who you talk to. Um, but we're, we're going to do no honey, largely because honey would just make it too easy. Oops, I overshot him. Some of these mushrooms. Got blue mushrooms around here. I love the cat coons. <laughs> they nailed the sound effects on those. All right, AJ's got a question for everybody. What is your question, AJ? Hope you don't mind if I'm just calling you AJ. Nope, fireflies aren't dead. They, they don't have a spoilage meter, but you can place them back out and they resume doing what they were doing before as though there was no change. So we're, we're allowed to catch uh, fireflies to make miner hats or even just for relocating them. That is allowed. It has been determined. I'm guessing that the prior poles don't continue to show up. Oh, blue cap. Glomer. Oh, Glomer's great. Alright, we're going to leave the backpack here. Oh, wait. We're going to leave the Glomer here. All right. I think he'll be safe there. He'll be fine. All right. And we need to get a bunch of reeds and otherwise see what's going on in this here swamp. So spider glands, I would say those are allowed. Again, we're using an animal product, not as food, but as its normal best use. Want that silk. Monster meat can be used to convert into eggs to give to the pig king. It can also be used to convert uh, pigs into were pigs. Again, we're skirting the rules on a lot of things. But I think it's kind of necessary for survival. Yeah, so in DST, bundling wrap comes from the queen bee. But in single player, don't starve, there is no bee queen, queen bee, same difference. Um, so instead, it's a low, like, 2% drop. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and eat that. It's a... It's a low drop from regular bees. Maybe it's 10%? I don't remember. <laughs> Vegan wolf gang. Vegan wolf gang would actually be pretty easy. Um, in DST, at least. Get them potatoes. Eat the potatoes and the potato seeds. That's all you need for food the whole game. I'm gonna rig out going. Yeah, and I knew there was a tentacle right there. That was dangerous. Living on the edge, as I typically do. And yes, I know I hug the shores, but that's just because I like to have the buffer zone in the ocean. Call me weird. Oh yeah, don't do not do a pacifist wolf gang. That would be interesting playstyle choice. Although he does have the harvesting perks now. Kind of nice. Very satisfying when you hit a boulder or a tree and it chops in one hit. <coughs> uh, yeah, I think you can get it from Tumbleweeds. The bundling wrap blueprint. 
<gasps> we have more desert? Ooh. Well, that's kind of nice. Those. I have more cactus. Yeah. I think I will. Yeah, a belt of hunger hibernation vest would be very nice. Getting the belt of hunger is going to be a little bit trickier because it can't kill the uh, slurpers. Hibernation vest. Pretty good chance that'll happen, but that'll be here too. Not sure how far we'll get in just this one stream. <laughs> Did you see that? I just got a green gem. I don't have room to keep it. Um. Wow. Gord's not over there. Eat the trail mix. <laughs> and the chat explodes with green gem. Right? Yeah, I'm keeping that green gem. Hell yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to show what mods that I actually have active. It's my standard mods that I play for single player. So, There's no, nothing that increased the odds for uh, green gems. Yeah, why bother? Or how do you even get to the... Wait, wait, wait. There is no reason to go to the ruins. Well, yeah, there is because I can't make anything with the green gem unless I go to the ruins. Um, Yeah, that was that was complete random luck. Volt goats! Yay, volt goats! Mm, not sure if I'll have much use for them. Could use them for hound defense. They're not as good. Maybe I'll visit them at the frog rain. That could be good. That'd be hilarious to get a weather pain. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so hammering pig houses and bunny hutches, that is allowed. I put that in my official rules list, um, but it's only allowed if I'm doing it for the express purpose of relocating the houses, um, particularly moving like pigs from spider forests so they don't just keep getting ganked by the spiders all the time. So he's just helping them move to a safer location to, to be a good caretaker of the land, so, to watch over the pigs and give them a, a better life out of the forest. Not his fault it takes two houses to relocate one. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, green gem is for construction staff and deconstruction or deconstruction staff and construction amulet. Is there anything else that it's used for? I don't think so. But it's used for maximizing resources, duplicating um site, stuff like that. Pretty handy. I'm pretty stoked about the second desert, though. First desert was a little bit small and lackluster. Really wanted to have access to cactus because that's going to be a good food source throughout the year, especially in the summertime. That is true with the green gem. If we make the construction amulet or the deconstruction staff, we could deconstruct the pig houses to get all of the resources back. That is a very good point. Should we make that the rule? I don't know that I want to go all the way down to an ancient pseudoscience station before I can get pig lumberers. Although I could just use... You know what? All right. I think that's pull worthy. That's going to be a pull. Um, all right. So, yeah. My, uh, I, I, was, I was debating making an official rule about the spider traps, but having the caveat of not picking up the trap with the live spider, as long as we have Schrodinger's spider... Then, then that's allowed. All right, so that's going to be official. I can use spider traps on spiders, as long as I don't pick it up. And it's not letting me make a new pull yet. I think it has to realize that the old one's closed first. Hopefully there's not a limit on that. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it does show the results of the pull there.
Uh, I've got to phrase it right so it's not too long. And I got to rephrase. Ah, I just hit the wrong button. Put up some weird console thing. Rephrase. Too long. All right. New poll. Welcome back, Becky. Catch you later, be humble. Vegan wicker bottom pacifist shipwreck. Katie, you are an evil, evil person for suggesting that. <laughs> that that actually might be might be possible. Wicker bottom is really good for starting and shipwrecked, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, first desert was a little deserted. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, absolutely I would allow the using of a deconstruction staff for pig houses, but now I'm tweaking the, the official rule about breaking pig houses with a hammer. Should I only be allowed to use the deconstruction staff? Is that how I phrased it? I thought that's how I did. Yeah, only be allowed to break pig and bunny houses with a deconstruction staff. All right, so we'll leave that one up for a few minutes. Give people a chance to ruminate on not that topic. Grab some more cactus, eat seeds as we get them. At some point, I'd like to just start picking up meat and letting it turn to rot to use for fertilizer purposes. Oh, and there's the hound mounds. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and run this gauntlet over here. These guys tend to lose interest in you pretty fast. Let's leave a balloon as a decoy. <laughs> Oh, there's a potato thing! We found the potato things up his garden with a guardian bird. Hi, bird. Alright. Moving on. Normally I would have expected the the circle thing set piece to be out here. Um was also definitely hoping to get the uh killer bee fields out this way, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Seriously though, green gem. Yeah, that's one of those ones where that, that makes it a little bit more challenging to only be able to break those houses with the amulet, or the staff. Oh, it's really hard resisting the urge not to kill the mole worms. I just, I enjoy killing mole worms. Fun. Am I going to use the teleportado? Probably not. I'll probably assemble it at some point just for fun. But I just, I just know what, don't know what benefit there would be to world hopping. Oh, and there's more gold out here, too. A lot of gold. A lot of tall birds. Really quite a lot more land out here than I thought there would be. Killer bees. Killer bees, come on. Let there be killer bees. Always makes me sad in a world when there's no killer bee fields. So much... Honeycomb for bundling wraps. Oh, no killer bees. All right, I'm just getting the edge of this for fun. Day 11, we got to get back to base building here pretty soon. Victor's got a question for the chat, which is your desired next crossover with DST? Yeah, I have no idea on that one. All right, yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of that unexplored for now. I haven't seen any walrus camps yet. Circle back around this way, though. Although, actually, I don't know, there's, there's usually plenty of ways to facilitate the walruses biting off more than they can chew of their own aggressive accord. How's that for phrasing? A don't starve crossover with don't starve together, right? That would be cool. Weird sounding tall bird. Very high pitched, very strange. 
All right, back up this way. Yeah, Hollow Knight is another one of those games that is on my list of things to try. But again, my my list of games I need to try is always much longer than I'll ever have time to play. I am looking forward to Lost Ark, though. That game has somehow piqued my interest. Um, the game that I played probably the most once I got into PC gaming, having grown up playing, you know, Nintendo consoles, um, was Diablo 2. I spent so much time playing that game in college, it wasn't even funny. Um, Diablo 3 was terrible, didn't like it. Don't know if I'll bother with Diablo 4. Path of Exile scratches a similar itch, but it's just really looking like Lost Ark is going to have a similar sort of gameplay feel to it, but also be, <coughs> you know, an MMORPG. So yeah, looking forward to that. All right, let's get all the reeds. Ooh, this is a tight pull. People are a little indecisive on that one. All right, so we're going to have the uh, marsh sinkhole in here. It's always in a forest area in the marsh. I need to cook up my cactus here in a minute. Don't want to go in there yet. Back to the edge of the swamp. Ooh, we have a sinkhole right there. Or a wormhole. Lots of mushrooms. Tempted to follow that, but we really don't care for a chance at getting a summer qualifant trunk. Not so useful. Like I said, if a qualifant happens to get, you know, on top of a tentacle, it's not my fault. Why bother with a miner hat when you get a lantern? Um, they serve kind of different uses, I find. Especially once you have a walking stick, I prefer to use the walking stick at all points in time when I have a walking stick, in which case I'd prefer to use the miner hat as a light source rather than the lantern. The lantern's good for dropping on the ground, of course. But yeah, I like to have both. We'll have to ask the Moggles question bit later. Although you could make the argument that Wes hitting it with a hammer does so little damage anyways that he's not really harming it, is he? Maybe? You know, I'm going to plant that one. I haven't planted very many of my birch nut seeds so far. All right, let's go grab the glomer. Mash Bros. Yep, that's a good game. Oh, that pull is still too close to call. All right, I need to pick some stuff up real quick. <laughs> Just do some green caps. Look at that. I didn't go hungry. I did it. I didn't go hungry. Didn't actually go starving. Just do that many for now. And sanity's good. That can go over there. Grab the log suit. All right, we have a map explored. Let's contemplate where to build a base. And actually, I'm going to go do a quick AFK. I'm going to let you all debate where to do a base. I'm going to go run away for just a few minutes. I'm going to leave the screen right here. Uh, well, put someone up here to keep you entertained. Um, I'm going to take a few minute break, stretch the legs, um, grab a quick bite to eat while you guys contemplate the location for a base. All right, yep, it's time for chair. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Really stay. Oh, I know what I'll do. There, <laughs> we get spider chair. Can you actually see that? Yeah, there we go. All right, we go back.
Great. Thank you, Spider. Cool. Okay. Headphones back on. I got to move some things around over here real quick. Uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and close that poll. 65 votes on it. We are only breaking houses with deconstruction staff. Let it be written. Let it be known. All right, I got to catch up on the chat here. I am just reading, 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 share, Dragonfly Desert. Yeah, there is no Dragonfly Desert. It's just all desert. Desert and near Beefalo, because you don't trust the pigs with Wes's life. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen Bob and Steve yet at all, I don't think. I'm thinking about even crazy enough to see them in just shadowy form. We had spider chair there, yep. Oh, Katie, chairs are more entertaining. <laughs> Let's see here. We got Bruno. Welcome to the stream, Bruno. Face in the sea. No, no, I don't want to do any clipping off under the water, like void walking type stuff. I view that as the next point, and I prefer not to do those sorts of things. Mac dab in the middle looks good. <laughs> Take over the channel. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's see here. Desert and beefalo. So not over here by the swamp and the pigs. I think I should probably check a couple of wormholes. I want to see where that one goes, and I want to see where that one goes. And I think that's the last bit of information to help me decide. Have I seriously not seen a single walrus camp? Probably out this way. That is the weirdest mosaic, though. I have never seen a mosaic quite like that in Giants. Pretty small deciduous forest, too. That's going to bug me right there. I'm going to have to go back for that. Face near the teleportado. If those two more holes are connected, that would be funny. Short little hop in a wormhole. He's chair. Is that an attempt at a pun? If so, it went over my head. Um. Yeah. Uh, we'll hop in the wormholes and then we'll decide from there. Uh, let's grab some green caps. I'll worry about the uh, pig skins later. You know, what? I'm going to combine those and we'll just leave that there. All right, Glomer, you're with me. Let's go. We got our Glomer buddy now. Makes me happy. All right, where is that wormhole? Yeah, sinkhole in the forest that's in the swamp. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to want to be a little bit closer to Beefalo. I think that's going to be my go-to method for hound defense for this run. I think I, I, think I want to not do like any sort of a tooth traps. I think that's a little bit too aggressive making tooth traps and too likely to result in de the death of other innocent creatures. All right, that did not go to the, oh, that's a good distance. This little trip out here to whatever this place is. Little forest forest. Um, and there's another wormhole right there. So that's 
Interesting. Let's see where this one goes. Watch it be to the other one that was by the deciduous. <laughs> Rock lobsters near my base for whatever comes. All right, so that one went over here. Neither one of those took me close to the beefalo. That got me closer to the, the pig guard set piece. Yeah, those are some more clockworky type things. Where was the teleportado? It's over here. Um. Okay, so that one went here. That one went there. I still have that one. Goes to an unknown location. I don't know that I have any other wormholes on the map yet. Let's go ahead and run back to that one. Grab some more berries along the way. Explore some more map. Welcome back, uh, Vathur Visera. Oh, hey! Stone Road! We haven't found Chester yet! Let's see if we can find a Chester. Can't believe we don't have Chester yet. That's just sad. Chester is oftentimes near a cobblestone room. All right, we're gonna detour back the other way. If we can find a Chester, we will find a Chester. Many bees. Gotta have our buddies. Is that a big lake in the middle? I think it is. Very dark. Esther, where are you? Alright, well that was an interesting little loop. I suppose there's a little bit of area up in here that it could be hiding. Oh, it's nighttime now. I just wanted more light. Uh, I didn't do that much more. Yeah, I'm really surprised we haven't seen Chester yet. Which did not last long. All right, let's see if maybe, just maybe, he's up and around here. It's a real short night though, so it's fine. You just got such a low light radius. Torch. That's a better light radius. Are you actually not here? Bomber, please don't burn yourself to death. That'd be sad. Who's cuter, Chester or Glomer? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I think that was Cobble going out that way. That one. Oh well. Wait. That was the. Yeah, that wormhole was. All right. Yeah, let's head back to this wormhole up there. I know we're losing like a lot of time here. I'm gonna be real hard pressed to even start a garden before winter time. Gardening may end up being a springtime. Oh, there he is right there. There's our Chester buddy. We has a Chester. He's going to hop on the screen because we have our happy Chester now. Yay, Chester with his eye bow. Not the original Chester. Get him out again later. <laughs> Technically, that's my daughter's. I got it to her for Christmas. It was really funny. She was like, Four, maybe? Maybe even only three when we got that. And I just wrapped up the eye bone in a little tidy box. She used to sit on my lap when I'd played Don't Starve when they were little. And so I wrapped the eye bone in the little box and I had the Chester hidden, uh, you know, back around in a different room. Wait, where am I going? I'll go this way. Uh, so then she opened up the eye bone and I asked her, Fifth, do you know what that is? And she saw that it was the eye bone. I was like, do you hear something? 
And then I ran and grabbed it and I started making the boing sign and I had it bounce out towards her. It was pretty cute. It was adorable. Good times. Good times. What about bee mines? No, I don't think I want to try to use bee mines. Catching bees would otherwise be allowed, but... Right, I'm going to drop a few things over here. Albert, you stay away from my friends. Don't need any interference from you right now. All right, drop those. Go check this wormhole, and then we got to do some base building. Toronto. And of course, with Glomer now, we'll have a little bit of sanity boost standing around. All right, I'm gonna get the map reoriented a little bit. All right, well, that's interesting. So this wormhole goes right there. That wormhole goes right there. That wormhole goes down there. So we have an interesting little kind of circular effect of the wormhole. None of them take me like straight to a place that I'd really want to go to. That one shortcuts me there. I wouldn't want to hop in two wormholes. That one, that one, that one, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not feeling the, the wormhole vibe here that much. I think I might just go base up over here somewhere. At least I have access to the roads. There's a sinkhole nearby. Get out here for beefalo. Hmm. Although I do kind of like maybe the idea of basing out. Uh, that's a little bit far from the beefalo. Right in the middle of the map, which would be here. Kind of a real stretched out map. Looks like a big, looks like a lizard. We got the lizard head up there. We got some legs. We got like a tail sticking down. Real long necked lizard. We have it this way. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was kind of thinking is that near the desert for easy cactus, this desert up here actually does have a fair bit of cactus. So that's not bad. Um, so we could just kind of run the loop of cactus up there every now and then. Is that where I started? I think that might have been where I spawned. I kind of think I kind of like the idea of building the base right where we spawned. Think of that idea. Because right there, that's that's close enough to the savanna, real close to there. We've got you know natural deciduous area for stocking up on birch nut seed, which I'll probably want to do pretty soon. Um. There's a sinkhole right there for light bulbs and, by extension, manure purposes. Based on the corner of the map, there's only one direction enemies can come from when there are little resources, so you hate to bring resources into your base. So you have to bring, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, I generally don't like basing way out in the corner, because then you just have to run so far to get anywhere in the world. I think I'm going to base right on top of where I spawned. Right there, I like that idea. We do have that wormhole somewhat close by, and that's the one that took me right here, I believe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's do just a little bit of internal exploration running around. We're going to head back up there and start making it. Yeah, pangles do come out of the sea. I just have to run by the ocean every now and then to spawn a bunch of pangles, which I'll be doing a lot of once it's winter time. I will be abusing the double thermal stone trick for sure. Two thermal stones in the backpack, get yourself superheated. 
Um, probably only have access to a winter hat initially, unless or until I accidentally chase a koala and <laughs> into a tentacle or something. Let's straight up for a bit. Any frogs? Not that we'll be getting any use out of said frogs. A little bit of grass. Day 12, a little bit of a late start. No spawn camping. Get, get my base spawn camped by something else. Always a possibility. It could happen. Get around this edge over here a little bit. Get some more grass. Oh, nervous. How are you going to feel about a game with no jerky? Can you even imagine life without jerky? No, I'm not going to use the watermelon fashion melon hat bug. I didn't, I didn't even know about that bug, to be honest. Apparently the fashion melon has a set temperature of some sort. Um, but you can't actually freeze while wearing it in the winter. But no, I don't want to do that. All right, we have our initial spawn point. All right, I'm going to log out of the game real fast just so that it resets to default orientation because I can't remember what it was. And then we'll hop right back in. Yeah, I didn't see a Tallbird Fortress, so I think that is not available. All right, right back in. That, that would have been nice. I was kind of hoping for a Tallbird Fortress or a Reed Trap. Can you get the reed traps in single player? I know you can get tall birds. You don't get reed traps very often. Reed trap would have been nice though. Still possible that there could be a reed trap because I did not explore fully out in the uh, swamp here. So there's a lot of space that could be a hiding reed trap. But yeah, this is where we're going to set up camp. All right, drop these guys over here. I just always like my camp orientation to be on default, although no, I'm going to do standard sal orientation. That's going to be... Oh, I just interrupted his bike riding. Sorry about that, Wes. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get... Oh, wait, no, I dropped a bunch of my stuff. I didn't have my... Blum, my uh, Chester at the time. All right. Chester, you come with me. We're going to go grab our stuff from over here. It's not very far away. You get a retrap every time. Yeah, that's some pretty good luck. I can't remember the last time I had a retrap in single player. We've been using a uh, mod that facilitates getting certain set pieces in. Do I not have any birch nuts? I don't. I'm going to make a physical jam because I can. Funny. All right, grab some things. Clean up our surroundings a little bit. That. Am I losing food points by doing the fistball jam? I can't remember. Seems like it probably is a net loss. Did we actually get everything picked up? No, nope, we will plant that. We're gonna leave this crock pot here. Never hurts to have an extra crock pot laying around. Yeah, with a bunch of ice, Fistful Jam will actually be really good. It'll just take a lot of ice. So I'm going to need a lot of gold for mining all of the ice. It'll be a lot better in winter, absolutely. That's that's not bad. I feel pretty good about that. I don't know what its spoil time is. It's probably got a pretty low spoil time. And that's why Dragon Fruit Pie is going to be so nice, because that's a 15 day. So it's almost as good as bacon and eggs. All right, let's get back up here. Oh, I don't have enough stone. Need more stone. All right, let's go get more stone real quick. Got some boulders up here. Hang on, let's drop a few things first. Don't think there's any more worms around here, so it's fine to drop this stuff. 
That was safe. Chester there for a minute. Just want to get enough stone to at least drop the fire pit. Already got the crock pot. And then we'll need to get a lot more stone for additional crock pots and other stuff. Probably go ahead and hop into a cave here pretty soon. Get at least a lantern sooner rather than later. All right, we're gonna do some chicken with Charlie mining. Grab the stuff before Charlie comes out and Mulworm steals it all. Didn't even hear Charlie. Pretty good there. Another one out there. I don't want to pop open the sinkhole quite yet. That's enough to get the ice box and the fire pit though. So let's go ahead and do that. Get stuff started. Hey there, bad sheep. Welcome, welcome. Nervous rarely uses merms. I, I really do want to try uh, Wirt one of these days. I need to get her unlocked, but I have enough spools to do it. All right, I'm probably going to guess. Yeah, let's get rid of these uh, flowers. Sorry, butterflies, but I'm going to go ahead and just. All right, it's base building time. Look at that. Here we go. We're going to go with a standard cell base here. I just have to like count on the sides and make sure that it is actually centered the way I want it to be. Alchemy engine, it's gonna go right up over there. The other sciencey stuff below it. Go ahead and get the crock pot. All right, I feel like it's lining up weird. Axis aligned. There. All right, we're gonna need the uh, birch nut seeds here real fast. Let's go ahead and make. I'm gonna drop my balloons for now. I feel like I just committed a sin against all West players <coughs> by dropping those. So that is geometric placement. I used to never use it for the longest time. And then this guy named Nervous Hawking convinced me to try it out. And now I always use it. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little bit of a stick in my throat. Um, Lightning rod placed. Goes straight up here. Go ahead and get a storage chest made. <laughs> Who has the name of same name as you, imposter, right? I think it was you, nervous that that convinced me to finally try it. Uh, I'm just gonna put that one right here for now. And Glomer's flower can go in there. Oh, actually, hang on. I want to get that. Big skin football helmet made. <clears throat> we'll just leave that on the. Uh, we'll just leave that on the ground so it can turn into rot. Um, and then for the advanced gardens, I'm gonna need lots of stone, lots of manure for those things. Holy cow! All right, we've got to get the berry bushes planted and start fertilizing those as soon as possible. So those. Have to use. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, too much stuff. Go in there. Those in there. This fills a jam. 
Well, I wonder if I could use... Can I use a green cap as filler in that? I want to see what happens. Because even using a bunch of red caps as filler would be nice. Alright, berry bushes are going out here. Mm. Yeah, and I'm just going to be building on the diagonal axis. Hard to see where it goes. Oh yeah, I made a ratatouille because I had the vegetable in it. Whoops. I'm going to have them be staggered. A little bit of a tighter placement. Grab that, get the food. Imagine if this all burns down at some point. How sad would that be? Wes would cry himself to sleep for nights to come. I don't have a lot of rot for fertilizer at this point. I think the next task is going to be light bulb. So we can convert those into manure, because I'm going to need a lot of manure to really get things up and running. So I'm going to need <coughs> three more berry bushes <coughs> in order to flesh that out. Alright, let's see here. Jester, what have you got in there still? Nothing terribly useful at the moment. What are those? Let's move Chester down here a ways. <coughs> ah! Make one more. Those. Imagine if I dropped that green gem on the ground and a mole worm stole it. Be a sad day. Alright, that won't stay good for very long. I probably should have waited to cook that. <coughs> Alright, let's get papyrus made. Grab gold. Make bird cage. Chase away the bird. That can go. Did I bring that bird cage that I saw? Oh, that's right. You can do examinations to. I forgot about that. <laughs> When you do the examine of things, he does different emotes. Little mime routines. <clears throat> Alright, let's just get that fire going. Catch up on some chat. <laughs> Every run you've had so far on Chester. What do you have? Nothing terribly useful. Uh, which ping noise? I know it's not my normal layout, but I'm going to be avoiding the gobblers, so that's totally why I'm doing it that way. Um, we'll save that for eating later. All right, I need to go get stone and I need to get light bulbs. I might just go run around in Savannah some more, get more manure. Because I don't know how long it'll take to find light bulbs. It's always a little bit of a unknown factor. I've had some times in the caves where it takes me, you know, a day or two to even find a good stockpile of light bulbs. I could also use practice manure with uh, wear pigs.
Gonna need to start thinking about winter as well. Go ahead and take a razor. Plan on shaving beefalo during the night time. And now that I have gold, I'll hold off on that for a bit. All right, let's go visit the beefalo. We're going to spend a day gathering manure, get at least a couple gardens started. Um, do were pigs turn flowers into manure? I don't remember if they do or not. That. <laughs> All right, Chester, you can come with. Pretty sure that that trap that I found somewhere up in there. Oh, there it is. There's two of them. You know what? I'm going to leave this backpack here. We'll go up and grab those traps and the other stuff. Everything edible works. Um, will they turn meat into manure? Or does it have to be plant-based? Seems like it was only plant-based. Hmm, I wonder if seeds would work. Using half of my seeds on that might be a good idea. Will I try adventure mode? Probably not. I just don't know if that would work with the current rules I have set up for this run. All right, let's get that little bit of an edge. Come on, pick it up. Sources. If I did adventure mode, it would probably take up quite a bit of time to do it. And I'm just not terribly optimistic about it being successful because you just you really have to make the most of everything in adventure mode. And I just don't know that the vegan pacifist would be able to pull it off. Okay, I'm just a bit of extra mapping as I'm going up and around this way. That zoom back in a bit. There's probably not going to be much mineral over this way, but oh well. I'm partly doing this just to see if I can find where the walruses are. <clears throat> Go back and hammer those some other time. Yeah, I didn't think that meat worked for manure. Berries would, but especially once I get an icebox, I'm going to want to keep my berries stockpiled. As long as possible. What's the normal spoil time on berries? It's like 10 days raw? Maybe? Lake right here. Resting. I want to go around the long way right now. That one just did. Will I go to the DLC world? I've thought about it. I really don't think I'd want to go to Hamlet. Maybe I would go to Shipwrecked. But I kind of wanted to see how far we get here in Reign of Giants, because there's a lot to do even just here that I don't think we'll even have time to do all of. But we'll just see how things go. <laughs> We're already two and a half hours in. There's a walrus. Had a feeling they were going to be up here. Ooh, we got more lumpy trees. Maybe come back and burn these later. My needs for charcoal are a bit diminished by the fact. Grab that though. We're going to let him chop trees for us. Because we're not going to be fighting the guy. I gotta be careful though, he's gonna keep running into Chester. Oh, he got a tree guard! No, why did he get a tree guard? I don't want that guy to die. I just wanted him to chop down trees. Uh, yeah, let's drop that from that. All right, well, I'll grab the trees while I'm at it. That's a good time saver. Oh, we already killed him, holy cow. Way to go, tree guard.
I'm not going to complain about trees that I don't have to chop down. All right, so we get the bird trap. <laughs> yeah, that was that was nice of him to chop down some trees for me, but bad that he died. <laughs> All right, those traps I can grab because there were no spiders in them. No Schrodinger spiders there. Oh, I should have prototyped a, a pitchfork when I was back at base. I probably forgot to. Grab some of those turfs. Alright, let's drop those in Chester. Eat that before it spoils. Alright, harvest that. Yeah, they're way flimsier. Something that I always forget in uh, DST when I go back and forth. How easily they die in Reign of Giants. How much harder they are to kill in DST. Trip off time to get back up to the beefalo. This night. So we'll just do some mapping. Really need to get that umbrella though. It's gonna be rainy towards the end of fall. <gasps> oh, it's a red mushroom circle! Rat! Still, good filler. Be another option. Although I'm not sure. Other than ratatouilles, what all I would use that for? In one second, what are the stats on ratatouille? I'd have that pulled. Twenty-five hunger. Can't use twigs though. The red caps and ice, I suppose that would be a reasonable use for it, but I think berries um, for a fistful of jam is a better dish. Yeah, fistful of jam is 37.5 hunger. Ratatouille is only 25. So Ratatouille is actually pretty. Fistful of jam has a 15 day spoil time. I didn't realize it was that high. Yeah, I like fistful of jam better. For sure. <laughs> Pay me to eat a red cap, <laughs> right? Pay me an exposure. All right, I'll do it. I'll eat one red cap. Watch, he'll be allergic to it and it'll be like instant death. Kill our West by eating red caps. <laughs> that is one way to kill uh, were pigs. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll pick those and I'll let the were pig eat them. His West doesn't know that they're poisonous. At least not until he's eaten one himself. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Those red caps are going to get turned into manure. Because it's funny. All right, where's the beefalo? Ah, where'd the torch go? <laughs> that was almost bad. I, think I had a torch there somewhere. Completely lost track of it. I think I found a bunch of beefalo up around the other side, so I'm going to circle around that way. We're going to hang out for one day, gathering manure from them. I don't know if this torch is going to last the whole night with the rain. Probably not. As far as we can with it. Find the beefalo. See if I can... Waste of fillers? Using the, the red caps for manure? I'm I'm more interested in the uh the manure right now though. I'm like spiders over here. Yeah, we got spiders. Spitters. Sputters. Something like that. Yeah, I, I think manure is definitely the best use for the, the red caps right now. 
Oh, we're getting wet. Where in the world was Beefalo? I should have marked their location earlier. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? The more fillers we use, the less Japanese people can put into anime? I don't get it. <laughs> That one went over my head. All right, we found the beef. Need more beef. I'm pretty sure there were some out this way, maybe? <coughs> Need to remember where these herds are. Yeah, there we go. Many beef. Need these for my hound defense location. That's a lot of beefalo! Wow! Should we uh, tame ourselves a pudgy beefalo? <laughs> Feed him exclusively dragon pie once we're at that point? That would be funny. Welcome, plant! Welcome to the stream! Oh, filler episode! Gotcha! Okay, that makes sense. There it is. Oh, this rain. Let it stop. Did Swanky do one? I, I'm not aware. Did he do a vegan pacifist? I, I'm not aware of anyone that's done a vegan pacifist run before. Yeah, beefalo are cute. Oh, I've been a big fan of the beefalo. Please no singing beefalo song in chat. <laughs> that was one of the funnier things that Clay ever did. Give me all the manures. So yeah, we're gonna just pick up the manure during day and dusk with these guys. Shave all the beefalo during the night time. That'll be used as fire fuel. I don't have to worry about using logs. And then uh, swing back to the red caps. I don't know that I'm gonna worry about getting a garden started. Um. I think once I start getting ice, I'll really be able to stretch out berries quite a while. And then... For winter time... I wonder... Was there... there are... I had an idea. It's a little bit devious, but I might try it. I uh, accidentally <laughs> letting the walruses fight bees might be fun. Really want to get a bundling wrap. I can. That would be nice. All right? Do we have like a loner cow right here? Is that what's going on? I thought he had some friends. Circle around up here just a bit. Yeah, we'll be using wool, that's for sure. Oh no, the, the manure is not going to be fuel for the fire. It's only the wool is going to be used as fuel for the fire. Manure is exclusively going to be used for fertilizing and making gardens. We'll probably get a couple gardens going. Although I'm pretty sure that in the winter time you can't fertilize plants, make them grow. Or can you? I can't remember. Springtime they just grow like super fast. All right, yeah, that guy is apparently a loner over there. I feel bad for him. If we ever do tame a beef low, that'll be the one that we tame. Right, shave them and then kill them. Get more. The science of don't starve in effect right there. Yeah, Wagstaff is a fun character. I've really enjoyed the Wagstaff playthrough that I've been doing. Always fun. I always enjoy it. Yeah, you can plant a seed in winter. It doesn't 
And I'm gonna need to dry off here before I get too low on sanity. Pro tip, don't shave the beef below too close to a big campfire or it will go bad on you. So of course they stand right next to the fire. All right, how come they're not pooping? Need more poops. Why did I make a spear? I'm planning to be a pacifist. It's a walking stick, not a spear. Obviously, it's just a walking stick. <laughs> no, the reason for that is because I can use it to break spider dens. Because that is an option. Because I will be needing silk, for sure. Although we have decided by viewer poll earlier that placing traps as homes for spiders is allowed. We may not pick up the traps though, so we will have Schrodinger's spider that is both alive and dead until the trap is picked up. Or until it's clearly dead. <laughs> stalking stick, stalking cane. Yeah. What's going on? Alright, let's get back up here. Hey, there's the razor. Grabbing the manure. I think there's limits on how many manure can be in a given area. I know that's how it works with like koala fence. Already did that one. And then we'll see them as their sad shaved form beefalo in the morning. One moment. Torch. Yeah, this will be a good amount of wool. Personally, I think that shaving the beefalo should make them grumpy. That'd be funny. All right. Hey there, console gamer girl. Welcome to the stream. As a Wigfrid main, you're mad. Wait, what are you mad at? I think I got all of them. All the wool up there. Bad beef below. <laughs> it looks so funny. I love the beef below. I saw a post online earlier today of some cows that are like super fluffy, fuzzy cows. It was the funniest looking thing ever. All right, and let's go back up to that mushroom circle. Although I'm feeling pretty good about my manure pile so far. <coughs> oh, we did have more up here. Oh, wow, we got a whole other herd. Yeah, these guys are pretty far up in here. We need a lot more stone. Yeah, winter time's gonna be a little bit dicey. Only there's something that can be made. I guess gratitude with one cactus would work. This I gotta get back to base, get more stuff made. Island cows are fluffy? Yeah, I'm not sure what breeds they were. I remember seeing a picture once of a cow that was like the most muscular beast of a cow I've ever seen. It was just like ripped. It was like bodybuilder cow, it was very imposing. I also saw a picture once of a bodybuilder kangaroo. That was also very imposing. Crazy kangaroos. All right, we did good. Ooh, I am low on logs. Chester, I need to, ooh, got to drop stuff off from Chester. i 
We'll save the mushrooms for later. Don't need them at the moment. I want to get the berries fertilized to hopefully get one crop on the bushes before they get too cold. All right, back up this way. When they battle in brush cows, they get or bathe in brush clouds, they get fluffy. Yeah, I think that's uh, what had happened on that one. They had been shampooed, shampooed cows. All right, let's put, no, let's not put some wool there. Grab some of that manure. Fertilize the bushes. All the berries. Be glorious. Please grow quickly, berries. What is the normal growth time on berry bushes? Is it three or four days? Something like that. I don't think it's rain dependent. Oh, look, there's Bob. That's our first sighting of a Bob. All right, let's... Uh, don't think I have storage room for that. Oh, I did. Oh, why did I eat that seed? There. Let's go ahead and use the Glomer's Goop. Uh, right there. Use the green caps for sanity. Oh, I wonder if I put those berries too close. I might need to relocate some of those from my kitchen. Didn't think about that when I was putting them down. All right, first crow. Go here. Go ahead and make a fistful of jam with that. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that for the food. A few more of those. Get a second crock pot made. See if I can fit it in. Yeah, I did that wrong. Mm. I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll just do a three crock pot arrangement. Put one up here, one down there, and have ice boxes in the middle. I think that'll be fine. It's not my normal arrangement, but it'll work. All right, we got stuff fertilized. A few extra rot. Let's leave those on the ground. That rock out. Let's put the wool in there. Gonna need much more for the winter. Yeah, need more spiders. So for spiders, I think we will go up and bust a few spider dens up here. Probably during the dusk. Real careful with it. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep the bush hat with me. There more stone up there. Probably not. I kind of want to go get the stone first. Let's do that. Get the fancy pickaxe. Niter. Those on hand. Yeah, let's get a bunch more stone. Oh, I left Chester behind. All right, let's see what Chester's got in him. Emptied out. That on the ground. Yes. 
We'll clean up later. Don't worry, I know I'm littering. Hate to litter. I forgot they had those logs in Chester. Mm, don't want to have the bird traps on the ground, though. I just want to get one more bird because I'd rather have a red bird. I'll try to go seasonal with the birds. Rather not play a vegetarian Wilson. Understandable. Um, how hard is work to play? Yeah, I don't know. I want to try her. I think she was the easiest. No idea. All right, let's go get some mining done. We're going to go up this way. Uh, I should probably grab a bunch more. Good idea. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll use just a single cactus and turn it into ratatouille with a bunch of ice if I don't have enough berries to last for fistfuls of jam. Leave that there. Look. Fireplace. Yeah, I know I should just make a torch, but this is kind of fun. <laughs> Anybody stressed out? Whee! Who needs torches? We got fireplace. <laughs> Daytime yet? Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. <laughs> oh. Was that was that bad streamer behavior on my part? Probably. Wirt is weird. She could be repetitive item gathering or just a worse Wilson. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really read that much up on her. I know that she can make the merm houses and recruit merms and make a merm king or something like that. I'm not sure what the overall effect of that is. All right, let's remember day 17 is where I'm up in this desert picking cactus because I should be able to come back day 21 to reharvest. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the cactuses are every four days, except for in spring, they're every three days. Amen, Sarah. They are commenting about how there's so many different characters to choose from that everyone can uh, choose a character to suit their playstyle. I agree 1000% on that one. I like the variety that the different characters bring. Good, bad, it's all good in my book. This changes the game. That brings value. Uh, let's see, how about we use up the other pickaxe? That's a good idea. Yeah, I think the uh, Vegan West Challenge is going to have a lot of times of doing chores, basically. Where I basically have to go and run around to gather certain things. Too bad you can't replant cactus somewhere. I think in many ways Walter is the most different character. His sanity mechanics are just so completely different than anybody else. But I guess the same argument can be made that uh, Wanda is kind of similar in the effect of her health being so completely different from everybody else. <coughs> Ooh, maybe they need to do a character that has a completely different hunger mechanic. How would that be? Oh, that's kind of what Wigfrid is. <laughs> she doesn't need food for health or sanity. She just needs to punch things. Then super stock up on the grass and twigs while we're out here. And I managed to still forget Chester. Good job. <clears throat> Got to get those boulders down there. Does K Clay even plan to add another character? Uh, I'm sure that they will. Um, I'm sure that every time they make a, a paid DLC character that they kind of cash in on that pretty well. A lot of people end up buying it. Especially with the skin packs and whatnot. Morningstar blueprint. Don't know if I'll be making Morningstar anytime soon. 
Um, I'm not aware of any current plans that are in effect. And there's just a lot of speculation right now about who the next refresh is going to be anyways. A lot of people think it'll be WX, maybe Wickerbottom, maybe Maxwell. I personally hope that they do a Wilson refresh. I think Wilson could use some more fun in BST. Alright, this will be about good for stone for now. Two full stacks should be good for a while. Oh, really? I didn't know that you can't use the DLC characters in offline mode. Not aware of that. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the cactus. Ale seeds to go home. Oh, we got Warzone. I'm half tempted to... Uh, I think I will pick some of these up just to let them turn into rot. After all, fish is a very good fertilizer. Not gonna worry about the meat. Actually, maybe I will grab the meat. Pigs. Good job, pigs. Good go. You may have that. Munch on those butterfly... Ooh. Butterfly wings turned into manure. Not that I can kill butterflies for purposes of turning them into manure. I didn't realize that they did that, though. Interesting. I don't really have room for that. Back for later. All right, and then a few more cactuses up here. And the, the little war zone, the orphaned merms and stuff. Yeah, it is a little bit unusual to have those out in the world in random places. I agree. How big does that stack go up to? Does it go past 20? Sure. <clears throat> does! Ooh, Cactus, I like you even better now. Last one. up spare grass right there. Uh oh I bet that the rook killed the bishop. <laughs> the cat coon attacked the tree guard. That is a foolish cat coon. I got hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got hungry. Uh oh Yeah, I'm a little sad we didn't get to learn more about Woody either. His short was just a little bit on the silly side, I felt. Really didn't provide anything lore-wise at all. Walter's short gave more lore into Woody than Woody's short did. Alright, let's... You know what, let's go ahead and get that last little patch over here. Ice are starting to get bigger, that's good. I have to like consciously remind myself to not cook the frog legs in order to eat them. One second. All right, um, manure, you're going to stay here. I don't want to make any noise though out in nature. So we're burning it. Yeah. All right. Got to grab a little bit of coastline up here. Oh, starting to get cold. Ooh, I really need to get the uh, touchstone pig heads. If I start getting real wet, it rains towards the end of fall. Real cold. We got one over there. Out in the swamp. A lot of times it's... No, it's way out in the other desert. Alright, let's head back up this way. Yeah, those need to get bigger. Once those are full size, I'll probably go ahead and mine those. Really kind of want to get... more birch nut seeds, too. Way for base. Got Orphan Merm over there.
warmed up a bit. Um, cactus. Uh, yeah, I think the cactus is probably best use as is. All right, we've got two more days left. I think I need to prioritize getting my winter hat going. Probably gonna have hounds real soon. Yeah, mandrake soup is another one. I'm on the fence though if I want to use mandrakes because they're kind of alive. I haven't seen any mandrakes though. Not sure any of those are even going to be available. Whatever happened to my tree guard from earlier? Apparently he did lose interest in me. Oh, do I not have enough? Watch, that'll be hot enough to spread to the berries. <laughs> How sad would that be? <laughs> I should have thought about that. I, I was pretty sure it was far enough away, but oh man. That would have been some tempting the Murphy right there if I had just burned down all of my berries. Alright, we're gonna leave those on the ground. Those will turn into fertilizer. Leaving them raw will make them fertilize faster. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I don't want ash at the moment. Uh, axe. Double. Yeah, I do need a nice staff. That is for sure. Dig up the graves up here and maybe get one that way. Berries. Look at that. We got our first harvest of berries. Alright, we're gonna go with that arrangement. Get the ice boxes down. One there. Grab that. That. Make another of the ice box. That one. There. And start putting stuff away. <laughs> oh, gobblers. All right. I wasn't thinking about gobblers, but oh well, we'll let them stay. Uh, I'm just gonna let those turn into rot also. Alright, let's do a pistol. Damn. Really looking forward to getting ice. Ice is gonna be important. Um. That in there. Alright, let me see. We're gonna need a lot more gold here real soon, too. Yay, Redbird! Alright, we will carefully put him back on the ground. He'll be a little bit grumpy for a moment, but then he should hop back up on his feet and return to nature. See? We're nice. We're we're good to, to the birds. Very kind of us. And the gobblers, they just run back into the bush and hide. Alright, working as intended. Um, I'm gonna need to take some of these cactus with me, I think. Alright, let's these pick up those. Yano, she made it! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for the emotes there. Alright, I need to go get spiders so I can make my winter hat. Probably grab the mushroom circle while I'm up there. Then I'm going to need to go back down and get the... I wonder, does a one-man band befriend the warrior pigs? Because that would be an option for, for those guys up there. 
Or at least prevent them from, like, ganking you. Alright, let's leave that there. Grab that. Might need the trap for a little bit of spider avoidance. Alright, let's go, Chester. Actually, second, let's put those in Chester so that I don't forget them when I do run off. Is it picking? Alright, I need spiders. <laughs> it looks like a dancing dude. I think it looks like some sort of a freaky lizard. You made fists of jam with eggs. Yeah, I'll probably be making the uh, floral shirt for summer. Around this way. Don't need anything for the beef low at the moment. I have a lot of this stuff in my inventory still. Every time I hear the sound of mole worm, I, I, I'm like, oh, I can go kill a mole worm. And then it's like, no, I can't. It'll be really weird when I go back to playing as a regular character. Kill some bees, get the bundling wrap. So that's the thing is that I'm not allowed to hire things for the purpose of directly inciting violence with other things. And certainly a Nardo emoji. Alright. I need more of the free carrots. Yeah, getting through to spring is going to be the hardest part. If I can get to spring, though, I think I'll be golden on that. Alright, I'm going to go double armor here. And I should be able to... As long as we get everybody out of the nest, then I might be able to sneak in. So it's about to be nighttime. I'm gonna try and ninja gank that nest up there. Wes, ninja assailant. Oh, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I'm going to regret running off here with the torch. Alright, let's pickle back. This might be a real time consuming process. I don't really want to make just like a ton of traps. Thought I heard a spider coming. No! I hit a spider! I didn't mean to! I'm sorry! I'm sorry I ran away! I, I hit a spider! I broke the nest, but then I was still holding F because I couldn't see that it broke. Oh, I'm sorry, spiders. I didn't mean to hit you. Does that require penance? I didn't kill a spider. Did we ever decide what my penance has to be for committing an act of violence? Oh, we have a Schrodinger spiders there. Alright, now we have a bunch of homeless spiders. Alright, that's enough to make my hat. I just pet him. I just gave him a little love tap. Something along those lines. Alright, mushrooms. I feel bad. I can no longer eat jam? Oh, that's too harsh. Can't... Oh, eat a red mushroom as penance. I like that. Uh, that, that deserves a pull. This is fun. All right, here it is. And if, if you vote no on this, then you have to make an alternative suggestion. And if it looks like people like the alternative suggestion, then uh, I'll have to come up with what that is.
a state. Can't starve the bees. Uh, we will wait one in-game day to close that hole. And then decide that will be the penance. I think that's a funny penance. Alright, um, I don't think there's going to be any others up here that I'm going to want to break right now. I kind of want to run up there just to see if there's any more walrus camps. And maybe I shouldn't have busted that spider nest because that was close to the walrus camps. We shall see. I wonder if that's a range of the walruses. That would be hilarious. Let the spider hit me once? That's a pretty good one, too. So far at 28 points, that's that's pretty high on the, the penance chart. Um, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't like the idea of letting the bees starve because I, I can't think of a good argument for why it would be benevolent to put bees in a chest and watch them as they starve to death. That's, that's, mm, no. Schrodinger's, you know, traps, that's one thing. Um... Because for all Wes knows, look, watch this. See, he's happy in there. He's dancing. We're dancing together. We're having a good time. See, that's that's a benevolence situation. Having bees in a chest. Mm, no, that's just having him die. All right, so I'm going to let I'm going to let it wait one day before I determine whether I have to eat a red cap as penance. Or if I have to go let a spider hit me. I think that'd be the alternative is let a spider get a free shot with no armor on. I think that would be the other thing. Actually, maybe that should be a standard rule too. Maybe that should be an alternative rule. I either eat a red cap or I let whatever monster it was that I hit hit me without any armor on. Torturing that poor soul, the spider? No, he was happy in there. Didn't you see him dancing? He's having a great time. Promise. That's my argument, and I'm sticking with it. All right, need more votes. We got 67 viewers and 34 votes on the current poll. So if you are listening, go ahead and hop in and uh, hit a vote on that current poll for my penance for hitting a spider. I'm really hoping those berries grow. The first little bit of um, the new season, they still have a chance to grow, I believe, before it gets too cold. Alright, winter hat is made. Should have saved that old pickaxe. What was I thinking? Those. Really need the ice. I don't want to start making ratatouille until I've got ice to do it. It's just, uh, just not good. I could do the red caps, but I think ice will be overall more efficient. Um, I need to make thermal stones. That is next on my list. We will make two of the thermal stones. Actually, you know what? Once I get up to 50 votes, then I'll go ahead and close that poll, and then we'll do the alternative option for Nervous's suggestion. Now, mole worms do steal thermal stones in Reign of Giants, so I do have to be cautious of that. Alright, let's warm those up. Um, I kind of want to make another chest. I don't want to go hire pigs and chop a bunch of birch nut trees. Pretty much a trail mix, that would be nice about now. 38 votes. Oh, they're starting to grow. Starting to grow. Uh, let's put the green cap in here. Let's put that. Let's 
few more of those for now. I always have the other dead that I can run to to get more. Yeah, getting the thermal stones stolen is the worst. Alright, let's go get the gold. The pig king. Hopefully I have time to make it there. For nighttime. I don't know if I will. Grab that shovel. I'll see if I can't get myself some birch nut seeds before it's nighttime. Or before it's morning. The trees get sad. Technically, honey is made by flowers, not bees. That's true. I mean, I did think about making the argument that since the bees are flying flowers, or not the bees, since the butterflies are flying flowers, they're gonna ice. That's not gonna stay good long enough. I always have trouble deciding which ones are the actual big birch nuts. Any bets on whether I get a poison birch nut? All right, we got 50 votes. I will eat a red cap when I get back to my red caps. That'll be my penance. Broke my shovel. Try saying butterflies are flying flowers. Butterflies are flying flowers. Butterflies. Yeah, the flying flowers part, that gets tough. Oh, show. Full size, isn't it? I've been pretty happy about how well I've kept my sanity up. All right, I gotta concentrate while I'm chopping in the night. Go up here, see if we can find a nice cluster. Big trees. Good enough. Drop these real quick. Ooh. Hounds are coming. I think we're going to have some... I think I'll have hounds fight tall birds. <laughs> they don't. There's a chance for fire hounds, so I don't know that I want to take those up to the pigs. Um, plus, I want to make sure I'm able to pick up any meat so I can hire some pigs. Um, now, birch nut trees, because I don't normally mess with birch nuts, they don't drop seeds in winter, right? Like even a full-grown one doesn't drop seeds. Still, all right, we're gonna end that poll. So red caps are acceptable. I think I'm gonna let that close. I'm gonna start the alternative poll. Um, so, uh, Akobitoma says that, uh, yeah, so the winter hat has 120 insulation, which is comparable to the thermal stone. What I'm going to be doing with the two thermal stones, though, is putting them both in my backpack to superheat so that then I'll have a much larger heat buffer and then use the winter hat to stay away from fire a lot longer. So that's the, uh, the theory of why I've got the thermal stones and the winter hat. Yeah, no seeds if you don't see the leaves. That's what I thought. So they are useless in the winter. Okay, so the alternative poll. Alright, here's the alternative poll. If I commit violence, then as penance, I have to let the thing I hit hit me with no armor on. <laughs> which in the case of like a deer clops or something else will hurt a little bit. Really want to make sure I don't accidentally hit an ancient guardian. That would be bad. All right, let's get the rest of these. That's not full size. I want the seeds. Oops, eat that and failed. I might get the hounds before daytime. 
only the second attack. Regardless, I should make a turn. And... Oh, I forgot the thermal stone. We go this way. Alright, let's go back up to the tall birds. Um, so this isn't a mod, actually. This is just me doing a special challenge. So I'm playing as a vegan pacifist. I'm not allowed to be violent with anything. Uh, including hounds. Seriously, these tall birds are like really high pitched. They keep sounding like a smallish tall bird to me. Oh, here's a red cap. Here's my penance for the previous. There, I hit my red cap. I've done my penance for the spiders. Haha, <laughs> we got a merm up here too. Moose Goose does 100 damage. No, I think it's only 50. Oh, they're getting real insistent now. Yeah, I can use a Miner Hat. We did decide that the Miner Hat doesn't actually harm the uh, fireflies that are used to make it. But I'm allowed to use a Miner Hat. Alright, one hound. Two hounds. First, those two are chasing me. Alright, that hound I think is distracted now by something else. Although the something else is distracted by me. Oh, there they go. Alright, who's gonna win? Two hounds or a tall bird? I think that tall bird might be in trouble. Got one of the hounds down. Good job, tall bird! Look at that! Tall bird taking down the hounds. Alright, now I gotta get this merm to leave me alone. Alright. There we go. Head back down the road. We gotta go convert some... Oh, it's still autumn? I think that day 20 is gonna be... Um... Hello, Tumbleweed Convention. I'm gonna open these and come back from later. Got some foliage there. Hoping for a good blueprint. Can you raise the tall bird? Uh, theoretically I could. I don't know that I will. Oh, that's right. I put a balloon by there before. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and get my Chester. Oh. oh, I've got one more day. I'm gonna hire some pigs. Chop down all the birch nut trees. So I, I feel much better about Utilizing the services of a tall bird when the tall bird survives with the hounds. Most of the time, I'll probably end up doing beefalo for big hound attacks. Usually the beefalo do pretty well. It's only when you get the really big hound waves, and fire hounds especially, because the uh, beefalo end up taking a lot of fire damage. Alright, Chester, get up here. Should have brought some of that fish that I had seen. Those in there. Gold. OP trinkets. Um, I think all bosses do double damage to creatures. Oh man, I missed it with the pigs. Oh well. Um, do the trees immediately lose their leaves once it goes to winter? I think they do. <laughs> Wait, what? Uncompromising mode developers, they'll get some punching butterflies. Like the bun the butterflies punch you back. That'd be fun. Hmm. 
So we're gonna wanna head back to base here pretty soon. With a combination of whatever berries I have, I should be able to do pretty good with the uh, birch nut seeds until such time as I get ice. Wargs don't? Yeah, tree guards take down pigs real fast, that's for sure. Ooh, there's tentacle spots. Grab some of that. Gotta be careful. I got here for a second, Chester. Get all the way back out here for a second, Chester. <laughs> Uh, let's eat that, that in there. Now I can actually hold those gold in there. I do like the idea of getting tentacle spots for a rain hat. Skirt up around the edge here a little bit. Ooh, that was close. Almost got spanked. Yay, tentacles. Oh, ah, we got hungry. Sorry, sorry, wasn't paying attention. Me not paying attention to hunger? That never happens. All right, we'll, we'll come back to look for tentacle spots some other time. I need to be conscious of getting wet because that will get me cold in a hurry. Alright, let's get some more birch nut seeds. My last night. Oh, they're losing their leaves already! Is that a coldness thing? No! That shouldn't have been too close. I was robbed. That shouldn't have happened. Hey there, Quackty. Uh, Wall of Flesh Beginner's Guide. That'll be um, a few guides out. I do have a guide coming out tomorrow that's going to be preparing for hard mode. And then Wall of Flesh will be sometime after that. That looks like it's a small one. This one. Ah. Bothersome. Wow, that got down fast. Health was dropping like a rock there, folks. I need to go make some of our uh, trail mix once we get back up to base. One more trail mix level. I'm really surprised we haven't had a poison birch snow yet. Alright, that's a good start. Good, it stopped raining. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I still need to do a deer clops guide since that was added and I said I'd do a deer clops guide and then we'll do wall of flesh. So hopefully before not or Yeah, hopefully before not too much longer. I think I'm not saying that phrase right. Oh, get the blue cap. We got the blue cap. Sweet. A little healing out of that. Hunger out of that. Grab all the filler. And let's just hit a few of these. You know, if the trees are going to stay out, we're going to keep chopping the trees. Um. <laughs> Never get used to the frogs eating butterflies. So yeah, in the uncompromising mode, the frogs eat butterflies and it's really cool looking. All right, let's make our way back to base. We are going to hit the coast once I get that last little bit of ground. <coughs> you know what? Grab some pigs. Pop as many of these birch nut seeds or birch nut trees as I can. Let's 
See, I'm not even evolving any of them. See, I'm a good, good employer. <clears throat> but I do want to be careful not to have them chop the ones that don't give me the seeds. Not that they will be distinguishing. More logs is also a good thing, so I'm not going to complain on that front. Gotta be careful though, because they will eat the seeds. Chester's pretty full. Big one. Yeah, Nervous is talking about the uncompromising mode. They changed it so the frogs will eat meats off the ground and chase butterflies down and eat them. Let's go this way. This guy's gonna lose interest here pretty fast. Be in my day laborers. I'm happy about my birch nut seeds. Come get this one, guys. Here you go. Really? Three of you go running over there to eat one seed off the ground? What are you, a bunch of pigs? Oh, I should put my winter hat on. All right, they're done. We're gonna run home, get warmed up, and start making some actual crock pot dishes. What a concept. Hopefully we've got berries. And, uh... Take the detour around the coastline over here. Might have to pause to cook up a few of those birch nut seeds. Don't eat red caps for emergency hunger. Huzzah! The first batch of pengals. But oh, let's get some ice right away. Or not. One moment. Averted hunger. That can go there. Did I have any extra stone? Not so much. Alright, good enough. Yep, Wes bails on his piggy friends when it gets dark. But he knows that they will be safe in the dark. They will not get harmed. <coughs> and they'll eventually just run home. So it is fine. Pigs are hungry too, look at that. Oops. Alright, that's a good start. And let's get warmed up a bit. AJ died from a red cap when you were new. Oh no! I don't think I've actually done that before. Sick moves of those guys? Or those guys. I want the seed. Alright. Let's jet back up to base. We'll come back for more ice later. I mean, even that 20 ice is a great start for right now. I suppose I could use the road. Actually, I'm not sure if that's any faster. All right, Glomer, thank you for your services. Much appreciated. Look at all of that. Yes. Happy day. Uh, where did the ice go? How fast did that cook? I don't know. I better eat one of these real quick. I actually need to cook these up. Alright, we're doing good! 
Uh, 61 Loganar asks, what is the plan with McTusk? Well, we're going to go up in that general vicinity and we're probably going to have to kind of lead them across the path of other things and see what happens. Um, because I can't fight them directly myself. Oh, that is so much better. All right, I need to do some trail mix, though, for healing purposes. All right, food is feeling pretty good right now. Not going to lie. Those are just going to leave out for rot. Speaking of rot, let's pick those up. Yeah, this definitely is uh, a very different sort of challenge in terms of saving off hunger and everything. Whoops. Did that wrong? Oh, and one friend followed me home. Who is that? Oh, I lost his name. I didn't catch the names of any of my friends. Oh, yeah, when you have got spider nests right next to walrus camps, tall birds, works great. All right, we are sufficiently healed up. Let's get a couple more fistfuls of jam for road trip purposes. Um, hmm, I'm not sure how I'm going to maybe do something to result in the death of any beefalo. I really would like to get a beefalo hat. Oh, wait, hang on. There. Yeah, I think Pistol Jam is going to be my go-to winter food. For the time being, at least. Alright, let's do some base building. I need to get some storage chests up and running. That's needed. Your thermal stones never become red. No, that's the hottest they get right there. Need a full row of my five chests for standard organizational purposes. Oh, did I run out? Aha! All the logs. Pretty happy I was able to get all those logs down there. Oh, get a cat cap! Um, there are some cattails back near the clockwork set piece. That is true. Although the cat cap is... Isn't that only 60 insulation? So, what would the benefit of a cat cap be? Hang on, I'm going to double check on that. I don't remember. Let me look up the cat cap. I almost never use that item. Cap. Uh, yeah, it's only 60 insulation. It does sanity over time. Oh, it takes four tails in single player. Cat cap. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do a cat cap. The winter hat is better insulation because it's 120. All right, let's start putting chests down. Right there. Get this ground organized and picked up. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Yeah, chat off screen. Oh yeah, with Wilson's beard, it's a bit better. Because Wilson's beard itself is... Is it 120 or a little bit less? I think it's a little less than that. But it's pretty darn good. Alright, let's clean up! Clean up, get organized. That can go there. We've got some rocks and minerals. We have a random blue feather. Uh, let's put those over there. Goes into monster products. Oh, let's keep that in the backpack. Tankle Spike, use that probably for breaking spider's nests. Don't know there's much else use for it. Charcoal. Gears. Use this as a tool chest for the time being. Convert it over to something else later. 
The wool can stay there. Red gem, gold, rest of the gold. Silk, hounds, teeth. Gold, wool. Uh, I'll just put the rope down here. How does one do a pacifist west? Very carefully. <laughs> That's what we're figuring out here. It's all an experiment. Just for fun. Basically, I don't get to fight anything. There's no combat allowed. Uh, manure is going to go over here. And that. Alright, so we don't have a ton of berries, but that'll last us a fair while. Um, I'll probably need to go back up into the desert, restock on all the cactus. Other than skirting the edge of, of starvation several times, I feel like we're doing pretty well here. Actually, yeah, we'll sleep out in the ground. Let's just here. Right, I got my opulent pickaxe. Uh, I do want to kind of just get those used up for the sake of getting them used up. Oh, we need to switch over to a uh, the bluebird now. Seed in there. Bee stinger over here. Oh, I feel so much better about this base arrangement already. All right, leave that backpack out there. You find it weird that McTusk hunts humans? Yeah, they they hunt anything. They are non-discriminatory when it comes to hunting. All right, let's get supercharged on our warmth here. I need to make a few more fistfuls of jam. We're going to need all the ice. Use the red caps as a backup. <laughs> Thank you, Glomer. You're the best. <laughs> the sound that it makes when he does that. Great. Yeah, if you want to see the full list of rules, it's on a community post um, that I made last night. And then we've uh, made a few addendums to the rules here so far. Um, I will keep one of the thermal stones with me just in case I need it as a backup heat source while out and about. Oh, there's our bluebird! Yay! Finish getting heated up. <laughs> Protect your igloo. Okay. All right, and that will keep us nice and toasty. All right, we're gonna swap out the red bird for the blue bird. Put him down very nice and gently. Let him flop around on the ground for a minute. Oh, look, he's sleeping. Examine him with the pickaxe. Thank you, Wes. That's very nice. Let's throw these in here. Other than using the birch nut seeds as filler, is there really much else you can do with them? Can't recall. And yeah, let's go. What do we want to do now? I feel like we just like accomplished so much. I think I'm going to go visit the McTusks. Getting a walking stick would be nice. Um, might also hop down to the caves here before too much longer. I think stocking up on all the ice, that, that needs to happen too. So we're going to run along this coastline a bit. Uh, maybe actually circle up around that way a bit. Do some map exploration. Theoretically, there could be McTusks in other places. Still thinking most likely there might be another one out there, or maybe up that way. If there's one up by those pigs, that would be great. 
Um, getting some pangles spawning up here would also be... We're going to go visit that area. Uh, the McTusk will map out this area, get that little spot, head up over that way. That's what we'll do. Probably going to want more fistfuls of jams, though. Mm, if I do those, it's going to make a ratatouille. Oh, well. We'll make do with what we have. Let's take some of the cactus, though. All right, cook these up. <clears throat> yeah, we have a welcoming pickle on the Discord server. He's very friendly. The uh, pickle avatar profile picture thing he has is a variation of the welcoming committee from the Hamlet live streams when we had a whole bunch of spider monkeys clustered around a cave entrance and would just do a nice welcoming uppercut punch whenever you went in and out of that cave. It was great. Yeah, why does the Ancient Herald become neutral? Actually, a lot of the mobs, if you get far enough away, they do become neutral towards you. Back up real quick. Um, let's just put those in there for now. I'm going to need another opulent pickaxe here real soon. All right, Chester, let's go. Wait, let's put that back. Don't need that. All right, we got snow. Of course, I don't necessarily want pengals right in my camp. That can be obnoxious. <laughs> That's close. All right, we'll let them head down. We'll get those later. I love pickles. We grew a ton of cucumbers in our garden last summer. Made a bunch of pickles and pickle relish. Turned out pretty good. Oh, whoops. I did that wrong. Oh, well. Use it to superheat away from base. Need to work on getting my prestahatitator up and running. Work on that soon. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, do a little bit of mapping. Nope, the pingles come out of the ocean! Any ocean body of water, they just hop out of it. Oh! Aw, oh, thank you so much, Postscriptum! Much appreciated! Your uh, personal record multiplied a lot since watching the guides. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's very much appreciated. Thank you. Very, very kind. Ooh, I wonder if the red caps are going to be grown again yet. Probably not, but maybe. All right. Uh, I'll probably grab those guys on the way back too. Yeah, those guys aren't going to be in range of the uh, McTusk area. Right, grab that one. All right, frogs are now hibernating. Per usual. Angles of the villagers. Oh, it sounds so much like the villagers in Don't Start or in a uh, uh, Minecraft. Totally agree. All right, so now I need to contemplate which way I want to lure the tusks, and we're gonna leave Chester there. Because they sometimes have a pretty long range of how far away they go, but eventually if they get too far away, they won't engage. They'll just walk back home. If I could get some pangles out here, that would be nice. It's not quite where I wanted them to go. I do have some homeless ones. All right, I don't know if they're going to be in range of that spider nest there. They just took a pot shot at a random spider, but I want to get all the way up in the nest proper. What I might need to do is... Chase the McTusk up into the nest. 
I gotta be careful though, I don't want him to aggro on me. Maybe the Pengals? Alright, he's aggroed on something there. And now I wanna get to the other side. And see if I can't get him chased up in there. Although I don't think he's gonna... Oh, they got him! Wow! No way! <laughs> I just got a Tamishanter and the Walrus Tusk from that first McTusk. See, I, I committed no violence there. My conscience is clear in that situation. Um, because clearly he was just picking fights with poor innocent creatures in the wild. Oh, he did? Oh, that's right! He punched the Pingle! I didn't realize that he would punch them like that at close range. Interesting. Alright, well, let's drop those in there. Oh, that is... That was so happy! I got the walking stick and the Tamishanter. <laughs> Green gems. <laughs> right? Let's just say that the Murphy giveth and the Murphy, Murphy taketh. It, it goes both ways. Go back and get my um, backpack again. You want the Hound's Teeth, Spider Silk, Spider Silk. Uh, I'm not going to pick up the Blow Dart. That counts as a weapon for which... I'm having a hard time thinking of any good use for it. I have a hard time getting all that ice in there too with all the spiders around. Now let's grab that. I'm gonna back up over here just a little bit. I didn't notice if the red caps. Nope, they have not regrown. Oh, so here's the example. That nest is not dancing. I can pick it up now. And the spider left me a present when he moved out. Look, he left me a spider gland as a present. See? There was no dead spiders there. There was no death. No sadness. I really should have brought some of the wool with me to use for fires away from base. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Grab those. But... Uh, why do I have that pickaxe? Oh. This up in. And let's get warmed up. <laughs> McTusk is now an MMA fighter. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of a time that I've seen them just punch something like that. Yeah, they'll use their blow darts, which they have an infinite amount of. <laughs> right? Don't Starve is like throwing me these boons here. Although, I mean, if it was really throwing me good luck, I would have found a walking stick boon right off the bat. All right, well, that was that was some good luck. Um, I do still want to explore up around that way just to see if there is any other good stuff up there. One of those back in Chester. I'm going to get the ice from these pangles during the daytime. So we'll just hang out here for a few minutes. Um, got plenty of time probably before the next hound attack. That should raise off. I got my bush hat if I need it. Gotta make sure we stay away from Chester though with the bush hat, because otherwise they'll just aggro on Chester. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, going into shipwreck to gamble for stuff, that would be an option. I just... Ugh. Shipwrecked would be... tricky. The vegan pacifist West. I guess I could live off of, uh, <laughs> cooked, uh, seaweed. Oh, wait a minute. Where did I put the... Oh. Better sanity restoration than the winter hat. Oh, and he's so style in there with his little Tamishanter beret-looking hat. Alright, let's go get some ice. 
Really, Spider? You're, you're just gonna, like, stand there and... be in the way of the ice? Oh, this is gonna be annoying. The spider's gonna keep jumping out every two seconds. Yeah, and then they're gonna aggro on me. Alright, I might just ignore those spiders. Or those ice. Now they did delayed aggro on Chester. Got all the homeless spiders still out here. Alright, we'll go up here. Grab twigs. Yes, this will be saved, Rodrigo. This will be on the main video page. All of my live streams from YouTube are saved. Um, I just don't necessarily leave them in the main video feed because it just kind of clutters it up too much. Whereas I prefer to get a lot more views on the... Um, or have more visibility on all the edited videos. This one will stay on the main feed. Um, but like the live stream series, uh, the older videos of those... Those just stay on the playlist of the related series. Kind of my methodology there. All right, well, sanity problems are saved. We just got to keep ourselves fed and make sure Deer Clops doesn't curb stomp my base during the winter time. Oh, and I forgot to bring a, pick, or a pitchfork again. I really want to come and get these turfs. I really wish you could grow marble in... Uh, Single player also. Oh, poor pig. You fought valiantly, but alas, you will perish. They go back for the meat. Om nom nom. I do like the animation when the pigs, or when the spiders eat stuff. All right, we got Maxwell's door. I don't think there's going to be other walrus tusk up here, or walrus camp. Not that I need one anymore. We are satisfied on walrus shenanigans. No further need. All right, that one little patch up there, let's go get that. <coughs> I wish DST had Kravitz. Kravitz are hilarious. They, they need to add more, like, beach-type biomes. I think that would fit in well with DST. Uh, oh well. Right, we'll grab all this extra red cap filler food. I don't want to try ganking some more spider nests, but... Let's see if that's in the cards or not. I think in summertime might be a trip to the caves rather than staying on the surface. Staying on the surface, you can't really do any base building anyway, so I'd just be treading water if I stayed on the surface. So I think I will plan on heading to the caves. All right, grass and twigs are good. Not lucking out with any more angles so far. Although, is there a limit to the number of pangle camps you can get? I think there might be. Alright, I need to get out of here and get a fire. Um... Also just burn trees down. Alright, got my thermal stones. Chester. Alright, we'll get warmed up. Are fire nettles related to nettles and hamlet? No, I don't think so. I mean, a nettle is just a gen generic term for kind of a thorny bush. <clears throat> get ourselves superheated. We'll continue out a bit further. Um, my torch is gone, so I put it somewhere else. Nope. There. I'm gonna start leaving balloons all over the place, because I can! Because my sanity just goes right back up.
those. Alright, yep. Moving on. Nice and toasty. Yeah, can Wurt eat meat? Or, or not meats, um, eggs? Or crockpot dishes made with eggs? I've never played as Wurt, so I don't really know exactly how her mechanics work. That. Let's double back this way. <laughs> Didn't I once call the, the thermal stone cheating? It's it's a little bit buggy. I think in the guide where I first talked about it, I described it as kind of a a bit of an exploit, but I'm going to allow it in this situation. If I could get a beefalo hat easily, maybe I wouldn't, but given the circumstances of this run, I'm going to do it. Makes for more fun gameplay when I'm not having to warm up every few minutes. That right, circle around this way. Could potentially run into another walrus camp. Get a backup torch for the night is long and cold. Night is dark and cold? That's a... Was that a saying from Game of Thrones? I can't remember. But yes, I definitely did say that when I was talking about the thermal stone, double thermal stone backpack trick. Good memories. You guys are like keeping me honest here. Berries we can grab. Right. Oh, that's right. We had the set piece there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Actually, no, let's go ahead and grab those. So Wes has reduced maximum health. He has decreased stats by 25% compared to most uh, characters. Is sanity max? Oh no, because most have a 200 max sanity, so he's at 150. I'm surprised they didn't put him at 125 like uh, Wigfrid and Weber. Because they're 125 max sanity, right? Yeah. Ooh, these pigs with killer, or the uh, spring killer bees might be a good combination. Why are they fighting each other? Grab some berries. They're gonna be committing violence with each other. I'm gonna grab some berries. Like seriously, why are they why are they fighting? That was so weird. If only I had some fences, right? He's like seconds from punking me here. <laughs> Why are they? Oh, there he goes. That was weird. What is going on? Yeah, so I mean, the thermal stone thing, that's definitely something that the devs could have fixed. Ooh, will those pig guards, would they attack a qualifant? I do want to try and find one, though, because that'd be handy. <clears throat> um, Because I don't have a shovel right now, and I don't want to make another one. No, I want to leave those guys. I'm going to leave those, uh, the pig guards with their berry bushes. I wasn't expecting to be able to just waltz in there and grab the um, berries like that. Kind of interesting. I've never seen pigs just spontaneously fighting each other. I wonder if they're like two tribes fighting over territory. That's what's going on. Oh, this one.
Oh, wait a minute. I lost track. Where did my, uh... Uh, I got distracted. Alright. Straight up here somewhere. I forgot that I was, like, following a koala thing. Got distracted by the ice there. Probably... Alright, we're going to have trouble finding the end of this trail. Anybody see it? See it. Crap. I don't want to make this too big, otherwise it, mm, Those should be far enough away. Famous last words, should be far enough away. Spider's not far enough away. Oh, I'm just trying to get warm. Get a little tangle with the spider. Good times. Ooh, full moon tonight. <laughs> Anybody stressed out by this? Alright, that should be good enough. I think I lost that qualifant trail. It's always hard to find those when they're in a spider forest area. Too many trees for it to get lost in. Probably already gone by now. And then, of course, once it's dusk, it's even harder to see where it is. Spider silk. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. See, I'm nice! I gave that meat to the spider there. Alright. Um, let's... Back to base. I think I need to restock on food supplies. Uh... No, because I was never near them during a full moon. But none of those guys would have converted to were pigs. Um, because the only other full moon... The previous full moon... I was up in this area, so those pigs wouldn't have ever converted from the full moon. Because if they're not loaded, they're, they don't convert, as far as I know. Hi, Moleworm! i leave you alone right there. Ah, oh, I hate it when I do that. Moved away before it. Got all the way picked. Berries. Yeah, we're doing good on food. <clears throat> Get the walking stick made. And, uh, maybe do some more mapping. Probably head down to the caves a little bit. Maybe start working on getting gardens made as well. Yeah, so they, they can convert off screen, but the way that the game processes most of the data... Oh, that's right, full moon. Um, if stuff is in the vicinity of the character, then it's considered loaded and is actively doing stuff like walking around, you know, things like that. Um, most stuff when it's unloaded... It's just in a, a state of stasis. I don't think it has any any state changes in those situations. All right. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty good on foods. I'm feeling pretty good about our stockpiles. Need to get more ice. But that kind of is pretty standard. And then I think I can do ratatouille with Ice, but even still, it's not worth it. For a second, I thought that was wet goop, because that really looked like wet goop for a second in the 
Moonlight. <laughs> I was about to be mad. Where pogs? Yeah, so off screen is different from being unloaded. So slightly off screen, loaded will convert. Far off screen, unloaded, I don't think they convert, but they might. They definitely come back to areas that were a ways away. And the pigs are outside. Even though they've been unloaded, they're outside as though they were converted. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Mm. Yeah, let's make the umbrella. I'm gonna need to get a lot more silk for um, sewing kits here at some point. I don't feel like I need that quite yet. All right, let's go ahead and, while we're hanging out, start making some gardens. Improved farm. Yay! Actually, let's harvest ice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure. That's not something that I've specifically tested very much on the overall deep mechanics of loading, unloading, all that jazz. I might need to take a quick coffee and lunch break here in a little bit. Maybe I'll do tea instead. Sounds like a good idea. Well, let's go get my shovel and start digging up some graves, see if I can't get blue gems. We need to work on getting the Prestahatitator up and running. I weave through all that. Alright, let's put the garden up here how many garden spots I'm going to want to have. Yeah. I think that's great. I do like the sound effect of the garden going in. Just a satisfying little plop. Now the tricky part though is getting them lined up because where the graphic looks like it is and where it actually ends up being is a little bit different. I think right there should do it. If it's not straight, I'm going to be obligated to break it. I, I think that's straight. Is it? Yeah, I think that's good. So I think we can go ahead and drop the seeds in it, but I don't think that they will do anything. They'll just sit there dormant. You gonna go play some uncompromising mode? Go for it. And even a fertilized... Yeah, it won't even accept the fertilizer. As expected. So we'll need to visit the beefalo again to get a ton more of that stuff. Let's just put this in there. Nice up there. Make some more fists full of jam. Oops. And let's go dig up some graves. Uh, did my shovels all break? Nope, there's a shovel. There, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, feel free. Hop on the dedicated server. Hang out, play a game while I'm doing this stuff. Right, no use for the eggs. Now just 10 sanity. Oh, I made the ghost bad, sorry. Good gem. Two red gems. Ah. Life giving amulet. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Bengals. 
Now, I'm not sure how long that ghost will chase me for. Those heated up in there. The thing about life giving amulets is in DST, you haunt them on the ground. No! Don't you hurt my glomer? I might have to kill this guy. A ghost counts as a not living thing. Mmm. All right. New pull. Oh, I never closed the last one. All right. Alternative to eating red caps allow uh, a hit mob to hit West with no armor. All right, so that'll be an acceptable alternative. <clears throat> and I got to load a new pull here. Okay. Oh, and I do have lunch incoming in about five minutes. Can Wes fight a ghost? Um, because I don't know if that ghost will otherwise go away. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm just gonna run around for a little bit. Although I am gonna need to get warm as well. See if we can get any more pingles up here. Uh, where did all my grass go? I had a full stack of grass. If you can't kill pain, you can kill it. Yeah, it's just a ghost. I don't think that guy's going to drop aggro. One thing to have a tree guard chasing me around for a long time. Another thing to have a ghost chasing me around for a long time. Let's see if he makes it back over. Yeah, here he comes. Here comes the ghost. 70% yes. The attack Chester. Of course, now it's a full moon, so there's gonna be even more. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep dancing with this guy until it's morning, just to see if he goes away from it being morning. I don't think he will. And then where did I put all my grass? Seriously? I had a ton of grass. Now I don't have a ton of grass. I'm really confused. Right in there. Like seriously, what happened to my grass? Ghosts are unalive. Yeah, I agree that they're unalive, so I, I think it makes sense to be able to fight them. I don't have grass in my inventory somewhere and I'm not seeing it, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 I used it up with all of the gardens, I think. Yeah, those use up ten... Ten each. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fight this guy. Hang on, I'm gonna grab my thermal stones. We'll go with double armor on this guy. Now we're just gonna tank him. And you can sort of kite them, but... it that way it's easier all right let's grab the thermal stones let's get in, whoops close the chest get nice and toasty teeth can come back in here hunger is hungry again oh man he's going through a lot of ice here all right Get nice and turbocharged. Um, and then I need to go get more ice. I think I'm going to go ahead and get all of the ice out there. Feeling pretty good on cactus. I really didn't go back in the caves. Is this always full moon? No, full moons in single player are always two nights in a row. Rather than just one like they are in DST. Pretty happy about this walking stick though. 
That is good news. Yeah, and then I need to restock on my grass, apparently. And put some of the figs in there. Probably work on stockpiling that stuff, too. So let's actually go ahead and make a shovel. The opulent variety. Sorry, regal variety. And did I break the other shovel? I think I did. All right. I'm going to take an AFK break here for a few minutes. I've got lunch about ready. This might be a five, ten minute ish break. Um, you guys want to be entertained by chair or do you want to be entertained by the uh, Abigail's Waltz music? What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end that ghost pull. I think that just makes a lot of sense. Ghosts are not alive. They are by definition dead. Um, yeah, let me know in chat real quick. Do you want to have a stuffy with chair entertainment while it's paused? Or should I go with the music? Logan votes for music. I will go based on whatever has the majority of the first two out of three votes. Musical chairs. Uh, I don't set up to do musical chairs and music. All right, we're going to do Abigail's Waltz with my waiting screen. I think this one does it and I'll be back in a few minutes.
timed it with the music. <laughs> All right, I am back. I just had my full lunch. My wife makes a gangbuster quesadilla, but she did it with some uh, barbacoa beef that I made the other night. So it was kind of like, you know, tag team effect. I make the beef, she makes the quesadilla, and it was very good. So I should be pretty well set for the next several hours other than the occasional bio break. And we're going to hop back in day 27, which means we have the possibility of a deer clops sometime in the next three to four days. Um, and let's see, we're probably about due for a hound pack before too much longer as well. I think I'm going to go run up and visit the beefalo. Actually, no, I was going to go get ice. That's what I was going to do. Um, right. Back in game. Get this back up. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sal's wife. Uh, basically doing pretty good. We got all this stuff going on. Kids are doing fine out there. Yeah, let's go work on getting more ice. I'm going to go get the ice all out that way. And see if we can't spawn some angles in the process. Up here. Oh, yeah, because I'm really going to be needing more grass. So... Might visit the tumbleweeds. Oh, speaking of which, the tumbleweeds. Yeah, I always forget that the uh, the gardens in single player take up so much grass. Ten grass per garden. And that's just crazy. Not like we're planting grass. Hey, tall bird. You can stay up there. Uh, let's leave that one over there. I want to leave one of the ices at the pangles out there. That I can go back to check for uh, black feathers later. Because that will be a good source of black feathers for making sleep darts. Which will work well in a variety of circumstances. Uh, where is it? Uh, that's going to be a little bit dicey. I knew I was going to get hit there. Yeah, maybe we'll leave that one there. We'll get these up here. Maybe come back when he's asleep. That'll give me a little bit more time. Or off running away. Stay away, Merm. Don't make me blow balloons at you. Yeah, tentacles hurt a lot more. Um... Are they 50 per hit and then they usually hit you twice? It seems like it's actually a little bit less than 50, but when you get hit twice, then it's real painful. All right, and these were just the ice that were part of the mosaic from the get-go, so they're fine to just harvest. Grab some rock. All right, seriously, stay there. Oh, that's right. We had some stockpiled tumbleweeds up here. Part of the reason why I did that, so that I could come and pick these up. Yeah, they're just angry. Have I ever... Excuse me. Have I ever told you guys about the tall bird game that I play with my kids sometimes? <laughs> yeah, it's great times. Although I think I've made my son cry once or twice because he gets scared easily. At least when he was younger, he would get scared really easily. Basically, I'd run around kind of bent over with my hands behind my back and I'd pretend... pretend to be a tall bird, and I'd make a loud Doo! sound, kind of imitating the tall bird, and chase them around and then hit them with my nose. <laughs> yeah, good times. They'd run and hide, I'd find them, wait for them to come out and ambush them. Good times. Yep, that's the tall bird game. It's great for younger kids that understand what tall birds are. Wow, more gears? Uh, I'm just gonna eat that one. Those. Oh, another chance of a winter qualifying. More gears. That is crazy. Mm. Leave that on the ground. Leave the dark petals. Let's just those seeds. Need room for our torch, and we're gonna go ahead and hunt a winter qualifant. We are going to satisfy the curiosity of the West. He is exploring his world. I 
first tree torching for warmth. Look at that. Trees only burn for 30 seconds in Reign of Giants, though, so you don't get quite as warm. Yep, I headbutt my kids. That's exactly right. A lot harder to find these, though, in the dark. Wow. Good catch. Probably right up this way. What was that? Oh, catcoon. Catcoon barfing, probably. My cat's... <laughs> the hissing sound. Oh, that was the tree guard again. Oh, snap. That was unexpected. <laughs> that was the, the wooden thing set piece. Uh, abort. That was close to dead range right there. Woohoohoo! Ouch. Was not thinking about where I was. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's scary. I do have some touchstones, but those touchstones are far away from civilization. If I didn't have the, uh, if they were awake, not asleep, and I didn't have the walking stick, I might not have gotten far enough away. Another hit, even with the armor on, that would have been bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be going back for that qualifant. That's, that's a bit on the dicey side. Where did my torch go? Did my torch go out or did I drop it in the backpack? I'm really confused. I swear I had a torch. Did my torch actually go out there too? 19 HP, easy, right? So I can fight Clockworks. Fighting Clockworks is allowed since we're treating them as non-living automatons. This full jam does not do much healing, so I'm gonna need to go back and make a bunch of um... <laughs> horror hounds just came out of a critter round. Yeah, yeah, horror hounds. Are you on the dedicated server, AJ? Because, uh, yeah, they, they do that. I'm going to wait till morning. I don't think that track is still going to be there, but I can't go into that clockwork area. Although if the tree guard gets close to them, the tree guard will take out the rest of that stuff. <laughs> for, for the surprise effect of horror hounds, I'll allow an all caps message. Oh, and it's right there. No, it's right there. I don't dare go in there. Can't do it. That, that is another hunt fail. No qualifants for me. That That is way too dangerous. All right, we got to get back to base, get healed up. Don't like the idea of being this low of health. Grab some grass along the way, and I was going to start digging those up, actually. Here, tumbleweed. Yeah, no traps either. I'm not... I mean, I, I debated using traps for... Wait, wait, wait sorry. Um, tooth traps. I, I debated using tooth traps for hounds, but I think I will avoid those as well. Wait, no, I wanted to dig those. And then we did have a poll earlier about using rabbit traps for spiders, and that is allowed so long as I don't pick up the trap while the spider is in it. I'm, uh, gonna not pick those either. I don't want to drop my health any lower at the moment. <laughs> that is a Varg undetected. Yeah, Varg would be bad news. Please no Vargs. That I so... Missed that one earlier. Was that when I was already tracking the Qualifant? Probably.
Ah, I was gonna pick that up. Missed it. No damage. No more damage. Yeah, so no tooth traps for hounds. I, I think tooth traps is too aggressive of a item to make. To then use them for that purpose. Now running away so that the hounds fight other mobs that they would normally fight anyways. That's allowed. Like beefalo, I can use beefalo for dealing with hounds. Because that's just, you know, that's kind of nature. The way it works in the world. Particularly this world. Albert. Oh, there's my pig laborers. They're still running home. Wow. They're slow. It'd be funny if uh, Tangles would jump out of that. Wasn't sure if that was a spoiled one or not. Exactly, it's just natural selection. I am allowing the natural world to behave as it normally would. Alright, it is trail mix time. But I could also use that honey pulse if I really wanted to. Thank you, Glomer! Very kind of you. Do, 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 do. Trail mix! Get my health back up. Eat it in favor of bear traps? Really? I wonder what the rationale for that would be. I mean, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of wildlife management issues where doing something that seems like it would be nice for the animals is actually not nice for the animals. Kind of like having wolves in an area. Wolves are an important part of a lot of ecosystems and it just helps balance out things. And if you take the wolves away, then it actually causes lots of problems. All right, we don't have to worry about grass geckos, so let's go ahead and put some grass over here. Oh, man. Uh, now, if they're withered... Oh, that's right. It plants tighter on that angle. I'll just do the staggered planting like I did with the berries. If they're withered, then they just immediately dig up as a few grass, I think. Then how will you get your Wolf Alaska Malamute hybrid? <laughs> That'd be a fun dog. Huskies are hilarious animals. Rot on those. Um, do I have enough? Is it four silk? No, it's only two for the bug net. No, let's go ahead and do that. Rope, I think I had some extra rope over here. Bug net! Really? What was that, Wes? Why is he not catching that? That was so weird, he totally would not catch that other bug. Yeah, so the fireflies, you can't murder them. You put them in the miner hat and they continue to live. That's my argument, I'm sticking with it. All right, let's make that miner hat. What else do I need that? Gold, that's great. I knew that. Oops. Keep those. Um, although the miner hat, not as super useful. Wait, what happened to the critter den? The 
critter den exploded? I missed something. Oh, powder cake to spoil? Yeah, that's that's an absurd number of days for the powder cake to spoil. Um, Chester, do you have my other one? No, there's my other one. Alright, let's get warmed up. Supercharged style. Uh, I want to go trap the rabbits and maybe dig up a bunch of grassy tuff while waiting for a potential deer clops to arrive. Although, where do we want to maybe have a deer clops go? If I take him to beefalo, the beefalo will all die probably. So I think it probably makes more sense to go the other way and have a deer clops be in the swamp. Because there's not enough other aggressive stuff out in this end of the world. So I think I need to go and hang out there. Need some more food for the road though. That's good timing. <laughs> Fruit cakes. Fruit cakes or powder cakes? Oh, the eternal fruitcake. Yeah, I am so sick of those things. Enough already. Make some more. Stuff stays good for long enough, especially in the winter time. All right, sanity's fine. The thing about deer clops, too, is that it's harder to get a bunch of tree guards with deer clops. We could give which. Do I not have a bunch of pine cones? Look at all my pine cones. I need to get some more logs before I go out. Hey there, Alina. Welcome to the stream if you're just joining in. Shovel. That's gonna get that one down. Oh, that's a good point. Feed the uh, eternal fruit cakes to the lure plant. Keep forgetting about that. Um, I need to bring Chester with. Anything in there? Not much. Don't need that yet. Not gonna use it in the winter. Alright, let's start heading up this way. I'm gonna start chopping down some of the regular trees so I can start to get... Um... Yeah, it's my two year anniversary already! It's crazy! I ended up getting off to a little bit of a false start from when I started making videos because of the pandemic and kids homeschooling and just not really having motivation at that point. But no, ever since I started doing the uh, terrarium videos, once things simmered down a little bit with the uh, pandemic, I feel like I've had a pretty good production schedule. Never as many as I'd like, but in lots of other real life responsibilities I've got to juggle along with making videos and whatnot. Um... Wanted to go ahead and make an opulent axe. Yeah. Your luxury axe. Let's get all toasty. Go. Alright. We're so heading up towards the swamp just in case we get deer clops. Things around. 
there. Where'd the X go? The axe opulent, opulent axe, luxury pickaxe. Yeah, I have never understood the naming conventions on those. That's why I can never remember which is which. Digging up grass. Although I really want to get mostly grass from the beefalo banana. This is in part to get a lot more pine cones. Um, not sure where I'm going to want to plant them since my pig horse laborers are fairly well removed. Let's start digging those up too while I'm at it. Okay, which way? Go. Got lots of swamp to explore up there too. Tall bird? Just passing through, buddy. Oh, we got the worms. We'll have a balloon over there. Yeah, regal shovel, opulent pickaxe, and luxury axe. And hissing cats. Of course, during the night, down a little bit. I do love like the howling wind effect. Just thematically, it really makes it feel like you really are in a harsh winter environment. Those are my pigs that are still running home, I think. So just like uh, Chester, when he gets unloaded, if you run too far away from him too fast. Ooh, I'm not sure what the machete's called. Um, the pigs won't make it home unless you basically escort them back to their house. All right, let's just stick with one stack of those for now. Go up and explore in the swamp for a bit, see if we can't pick up some more tentacles. Spot. See what else we can find up there. I'll wait till daytime though for the swamp. It's just a little bit friendlier. The daytime. Luxury machete? Duplicative? Oops. Oh, good. Minor pause there due to lack of porch. There, leave that there. Hack stuff in style, is that what it says? Chop down trees, chop down trees with style. Hack stuff, hack stuff with style. Break down rocks like a boss. Last longer, takes the same stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't know that I've ever actually read all of these. Shave off your dirty beatnik beard. Oh, goodness. The devs of this game are interesting sorts. Go ahead and have a campfire ready to go. Let's go ahead and torch that. Oh, it did burn the green mushroom rat. Saw that just a second too late. Oh, I flirt with Charlie all the time. We're BFFs. We get along pretty well. But that one should be safe. I remember seeing someone, I think it was probably like Edgy Rick or something, that was like dancing in and out of the fire the whole time. And it's like, yeah, you can do that. But as long as your temperature is going up at one degree per second, it doesn't matter. So there's no point in doing that. Technically speaking. Uh, that might be a safe one to burn. Didn't want to burn the reeds up there. Alright, that'll get us nice and warmed up for going into the swamp. 
And let's actually leave Chester here and we'll just take the log suit. I don't feel like I need more reeds for anything in particular, so I'm not going to worry about that. We are going to go map it out. Oh, there's another wormhole here. Did not realize. Still had another pair of wormholes. Let's see where this one goes. Really? It went from there to there? Okay. <laughs> Guess that's nice. All right, since it's daytime, we'll go explore up here. And grab some more tumbleweeds. Bob and Steve are mad they haven't got to make an appearance. Yeah! Once I start working on getting... Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get those. We'll get Bob and Steve out at some point. Alright, we'll bust these down. I'll leave at least a torch here. The times that I've died in winter have usually been because I wasn't able to even find the stuff to make a torch nearby. So it's good to leave at least a torch at these locations. Um, and then maybe... How much grass is it? Three and two. We'll leave those and let's All right, that way if we do die, then we have some way to come back to life. And not just die again. Because that's the worst. You die, you resident a touchstone, you die again. Uh, which he are you talking about? Are you talking about Chester, if Chester dies? Yeah, he just respawns like a day later. He comes back pretty quick. He does drop everything though on the ground, so you either have to wait around to then put stuff back in him if you're already running at full capacity, or come back later. Because he'll come back to wherever the eye bone is. Chester, buddy. Probably go ahead and start grabbing cactus out here here and get those. Yeah, I think there is a limit to how many pengals can spawn in Reign of Giants. I've probably already hit that cap. Bummer. Downside of running at full capacity, like I just mentioned. Nope, we have not yet seen or heard any signs of a deer clops, but that's why I'm way out here is I want to be very far away from base and close to the swamp. That way if deer clops does spawn, then we can let deer clops have some fun rampaging in the swamp and maybe die so I can get an eyeball. I can't fight deer clops, but we can certainly be in an area where deer clops will end up fighting something else, being the potent force of nature that deer clops is. <clears throat> right? Postscriptum feels guilty whenever Chester dies, even though he respawns. I feel a little bit guilty when Chester dies, too. Because he's our little hoppy buddy. You feel sad when your little buddy dies. So Deerclops spawns near the player, but then once spawned, will target structures. So that includes the um, merm houses, big houses, any place structures that the player has placed. So it's not that it spawns at the structures, it, it just spawns within, you know, a little ways off screen from the player and then proceeds to go on a rampage destroying structures. Trying to restore the world back to its original state or something like that. Force of nature and all that. Yeah, we're gonna need to warm up here. Campfire. Oh look, beef level. Pigs. Maximum warmth. So, I mean, it's usually, I think, day 30, even in uh, Reign of Giants. Yep, 
usually just leave Chester at base. Yeah, that's a understandable reason to do so. Darn torches going out on me all the time. Pick up a few of these. I guess I need sanity for being too close to deer clops. Shouldn't be a problem, but we'll see. I know, I like the sound effect of uh, Chester bouncing around all the time. Uh, Thermalstone does not contribute to freezing when cold. So that's one of the interesting mechanics. It's kind of counterintuitive. I tested it out thoroughly when I was doing both the winter and the summer guides. Um, but a cold winter stone or cold thermal stone in winter does not cool you down at all and a burning hot thermal stone in summer does not heat you up at all uh, similarly a fire a regular campfire does not warm you up in summertime you can make a blazing fire and stand next to it and it won't change your rate of temperature change all right i'm gonna go ahead and make the torch and keep exploring I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to stay quiet a little bit because I want to hear the warning sounds if we get the growls of deer claw. Spooky sound that it is. Let's see if I can not run straight into some clockworks this time. Because that was fun. Down here, grab some more of those. Raise your hand if you've died to picking cactus before. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have, actually. I've gotten real close. Not paying attention. Actually, I think I might have. Maybe as Maxwell once I died ki picking cactus. Because he's such a weakling. Although I do like playing as Maxwell. He's fun. I don't know. I think we're safe for tonight. We haven't had a deer clops yet tonight. We're probably not going to. I was ready that time. They'd all be very proud of me for that. I'm surprised that dying from a cactus wasn't one of the achievements for the uh, Achievements in Cavemen server we did. Dying to a flower was. I don't think I ever did that one though. Gotta warm up again. Not sure how I want to warm up though. Oh, there we go. Another chance for a qualifant. Let's warm up and then we'll go chase that guy down. You have died to the spiny twig thing? Yeah, I don't think I've done that. I don't normally pick those very much. No real good reason to most of the time. Let's throw some twigs in there. I'm going to save as much of my logs as I can. Those in a pinch for on-the-go warmth. Like a rose would kill a buffed wig grid, right? Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves a winter qualifying at long last. Then accidentally chase it into the swamp. Accidentally! That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I was trying to relocate it to a safer area and it just happened to step on a tentacle. That'll be the story. Only time you ever picked a thorny twig was in King of Winter. So the nice thing about thorny twigs is that they don't actually wither during the summertime, so they can be a source of twigs year round. But if you're in a place that has thorny twigs, just 
Hit the tumbleweeds. <laughs> Gotta be careful. It's probably gonna lead me straight into either pound mounds. Oh, oh, there he is! There he is! Look at the cute little guy! Hi! I love it. No, I just wanted to say hi. Oh, what are you doing? No, Mr. Koala Feet, how could you? <laughs> and we can't interfere. This is the, the course of nature. This is the world of Don't Starve as it is intended to be. Oh, he died. Dead. Dead koala fint. All right, I'm going to eat that and grab that. Not gonna touch the filthy meat because no. Um, although what else do I need to make that? Isn't it like a lot of silk for that thing? You get a deer clops on top of a big spider nest. That could be a good source of silk. No, Wombo is safe and sound, hanging out with Wagstaff. That wasn't Wombo. Oh, I didn't even bring my spear in here. Hey spiders, can you uh hook a brother up with some tentacle spike? Oh, there is a tentacle spike right there. Alright, this will be good. <laughs> Ninja attacking of the spider den. Thank you, tentacles, for your service to society. No queen. We did it. Um, not that I have room to hold it. All right, I dropped something else back there. What was it? Torch still? A torch. All right, warm up here. Contemplate. Uh, uh, I was gonna eat those to get them out of my inventory. That way I can get all the silk, maybe get my shovel back. Avoid getting ganked. I would like to have the spider stack. Go ahead and take that with. Okay, where is Esther? I gotta be careful though, because I don't want a deer cloth to spawn over by the pigs, because I don't want all their houses to get destroyed. This way. Hey there, eggs! Welcome, welcome! Always happy to have people hop in and hop out as you're able to do so, or otherwise so inclined. Rat. <laughs> oh, juggling excess. Or lack of space in inventory is such a such a chore. Alright. We'll hang out up here for a bit. Hopefully we don't get a deer clops. Campfire, nice and far away from everything else. They're snoring sounds or something else. All right, Chester. Ah, oh, look at that. We got all the silk that we need now. Pack this in there. Those back. Yeah, that's... All right, well, that was good. Get him out of the swamp in his honor. Well... Again, we're not we're not necessarily going to interfere with the natural results of what happens in the world. And, and we did decide that it is acceptable to use the resources once found on the ground. Like the qualifant trunk to make resources out of them rather than just having them go to waste. So, yep, that's that's my theory. I'm sticking to it. Oh, did I forget the axe or the shovel out there? I did. Um, I'm not sure how much longer though I can to stay out here. I am going to need to get some other food sources here before too much longer. Speaking of which, let's just swap those out. I didn't realize I had all those logs too. 
How was I getting cold standing right next to the fire? Too low? Yeah, so far the run's going good. Some parts of fall there, I was getting real low on food and resources, but currently I'm doing all right. Charcoal trees here. Um, let's see, I don't think most of the burnt trees show up on your map. They do in DST, but in single player, I don't think they do. At all. Alright, we're just gonna wait a minute here. Wearing trunks is murder! I'm not supporting an industry, though, that's like... Like, harvesting animals for their skins or anything like that. Which I think is kind of the, the ethical objection that... Um, a lot of, like, the PETA types have against those sorts of things. Um, again, I'm not making any social commentary on anything like that, but for purposes of this gameplay, I, I decided that I do want to be able to make use of things like Deerclops eyeballs and Berger furs and stuff like that. So to be consistent, I'm allowed to use things like Qualifant Trunks, even though it is a meat type of thing. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and cook these up. Alright, we'll have six of those cooked up. Maybe cook up the rest in a bit. I do kind of want to go back to get that shovel, though. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't want to bring Chester out into the swamp right now. Alright, Chester, you can stay there. I don't need the pickaxe with me, though. Alright. Go map things out a little bit. Yeah, meat is subjective, especially in the Don't Starve world. Where was that, anyways? Somewhere up over that way? Well, let's just go explore. Got more fish and frog legs on the ground. The vicious, vicious swamp. So, so far... Hounds I've just lured to other creatures and let nature take its course. <clears throat> so I used tall birds once and I don't remember what I did on the other ones. I think I had uh, pigs and merms nearby for one. My plan for the bigger hound waves as we get further into the game is to primarily use beefalo. Ooh, I kind of want to stick around here for a bit. Ninja snipe some more of these spider dens. There are a lot of tentacles around here still. Many tentacles. <clears throat> Meat and flesh. Oh, interesting. Languages are funny like that. Different ways that different languages will describe similar things. Yeah, meatballs is, is completely off the menu. Moves around. Alright, there's hounds. We're gonna just stick in the swamp for these. Warm up first. Make extra torches. Make two just in case. Bring my yeah, these guys will be here real soon. Need to get back up to the spiders with them. Oh, that's interesting. The spiders are all on that one side of the swamp out there. Like, none out here. 
Probably the one nest that I killed and that was it. Over that way, I think. <laughs> right? You hear the sound of my hounds, and you're like, oh no, a hound attack! And you're like, wait, nope, that was on the other screen. Other game being played right now. It's, uh, I think it's possible to get hounds fixated on a tentacle, but it's pretty tricky. Alright, yeah, that one got smacked. All right, we got war zone. The war zone nature of the swamp in full effect. I would say that was highly effective. Uh, don't know if I want to bother with the meat. I do kind of want the hound's teeth, though. Go ahead and drop that. Those guys are fighting tentacles. Dead Spidey. Yeah, that seemed like a pretty small hound attack wave. Ooh, stay away from them. Do want more silk, but inventory space is a bit on the low side. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a deer clops here, folks. Not feeling it. Not on day 32. All right, let's get back up to the Chester vicinity. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back up there and just do some mapping, I guess. Actually, no, I'm going to drop some stuff off with Chester. Maybe just take him with this time. Welcome back, Katie. We just had a hound attack. It was very nice. Chester, could you get over by the fire, please? Use your inventory while warming up. This is like a mini game right here. We should do like a Chester races or something. Who can push their Chester the furthest, the fastest? Be a good challenge. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff I can stack right now. That's a bummer. Uh, burn that torch out, I guess. Alright, we'll warm up a bit and then start running. What is my favorite character to play as? I don't have a favorite character to play as. I like to keep in mind about all the characters and just play them and have fun with them. Um, I do like the new Wolfgang more than the old Wolfgang, to be honest. I think he's just a little bit more dynamic of a character than he used to be. Uh, but no, I, I really like all the characters. Carrot Racetrack and DST finally gets a use outside of the Year of the Carrot, right? Oh, I wish I'd had more time to play with that. The Carrot races. Alright, let's go out and map all of that area, I guess. Go running through the... Swamp with Chester. As long as we keep moving, we're both gonna be fine. Chester might take a few hits, but he's pretty resilient. Oh, hi, Merm. We can get on the road. See, the nice thing about using the mini map is you can actually see the roads in the way. Kind of nice. Can we get some balloons? Sure, I'll make some balloons. Ready? Balloons. Little squid balloons. So far, the balloons, uh, they seem kind of hard to use. I was hoping that they would act more like a landmine, that if anything got close to it, they would just, you know, blow themselves up on the balloon. Or at least have the balloon blow up on them. But that is not the case. More ice out here. Go ahead and grab that. All right, we're moving. 
Moving and shaking, almost made it to uh, springtime here. <laughs> no, no obligatory rework debates. I'm sorry, I take it back. I didn't mean to. No, I think that's pretty well simmered down. I haven't seen too much uh, discussion regarding that topic of late. It was definitely a hot issue for a while there, but I think people have come to accept it. <laughs> right? Or not? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no debates on that. Not today. We're just having fun today. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, because I lost my shovel. I don't want to make another shovel. This would be a good area to just clean out of all this stuff. Really should go back and get that shovel. A little bit sad about no deer clops here. Moose Goose doesn't do too well in the swamp either. Oh, hi, Tallbirds. Oh, that's right, that was the Guardian Tallbird. Protecting the potato thing. Which I should probably go ahead and grab. Oh, look, I've got a seed over there. Or not a seed, a balloon over there. Alright, uh, I think we'll be fine. Running around the hound mounds a little bit. Yeah, but that still won't stop people from being butt hurt. No, leave Chester alone! Chester will be fine with a couple of hounds chasing him. Yeah, that's one thing about this game is that it takes so much time in any given world that it can really take a while to really give each of the different characters a full full experience. All right, we're mapping out. I do like getting all of the map explored before winter ends. away from this stuff though. Out to get cold. That guy's probably gonna chase Chester too. I need something to light on fire. Yeah, you run home. Oh, they're attacking the bees. Oh, cool. All right, how good's our luck gonna be? Are we gonna get a bundling wrap blueprint from that? Uh, no, because I don't know that any of the bees actually died there. Yeah, so the hounds actually seem to have a little bit of a bit of an AOE effect with their attacks. And so they will hit stuff that's just nearby. You can have that. Congratulations, Moleworm. All right, well, that's an interesting idea. Um, this might be a good place in springtime to hang out. Let hounds fight with bees. I was hoping to find a good uh, bee-type war zone. Um, tall birds would also really do some damage on beehives. I do want to figure out a way to... Ooh, that would also be good to spend some spring around there with the frogs and the bees fight each other. Got to get a bundling wrap at some point here. All right, let's warm up properly. That and eat it. Right? Daily dose of oddly suspicious links by totally normal sounding accounts. Some of the names of these accounts, they sound just so nice and friendly. <laughs> Do a Warly vegan pacifist? No thanks. That does not sound fun. With his uh, restrictions on eating too much of the same crockpot dish in a row. 
Yeah, beefalo would be good. Do I have beehives by any of the beefalo? I don't think that I do, so I'd have to lure the beefalo really far out there. Hmm. Over there could be good. Although getting them to fight each other, that's a bit far away from the beehives. I think over here with the frogs is probably the best bet. Or else do we have lots of beehives? Yeah, the hounds, that's just a little bit too far away. I don't think that'll work so good. I'm thinking the frogs, unless there is a spot. The tall bird might get close to them. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing with Warly sounds fun, to be honest. I like Warly. He's kind of fun. All right, we're warmed up a bit. Go get that last bit of exploration done. Is that going to take me to the hounds again? Yeah. Let's leave Chester there. We'll come back and get him once the hounds are off my tail. All right, and let's see if we can do that trick with the bees again. <laughs> Alright, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> oh, now I've got a bee on me too. No, stay away, bee. I lose interest pretty fast. Um, where did my camp? Oh, there it is. Nice and close by. All right, three days of winter left. Theoretically, I think I still could have a deer clops. Gotta make sure I don't let that uh, qualifant trunk spoil. Nah, we got plenty of time for that. I think I'll head back to base in the morning. And we've got most of the map explored. Maybe swing by base, make a puffy coat, stock up on some food, and then just go run around and do that stuff. Um, puffy coat, tamashanter, and super overheated with the thermal stones. I could run for like a day and a half, I think, without having to warm up. Your stream delay is minus 40, like 40 seconds? Hold on, I'm going to see what my delay is. I'm waiting for the screen to see how long it takes. Yeah, I've got just a couple of seconds. Try refreshing your browser and that might catch you up to the current, current point in time that we're at. Alright, we are sufficiently warmed up to head out. Do it. Although, where is the road? Let's try and follow the road up here. Then springtime, it is going to be all about getting dragon fruit going and getting a bundling wrap we can get a bunch of dragon fruit and get some bundling wrap that'll make cave exploration so much better <clears throat> yeah doing warly as a vegan that just yeah no thanks does not sound enjoyable by any stretch of the imagination I don't want to look around for blue caps. Speak of the devil. All right, catch you later, eggs. Thanks for hanging out. The <laughs> cat coon. <laughs> they are delightful. Look at that. I did it. I did it again. Made a torch on top of it before it went out. A birch nut seed. Grab that. Oh, my bird. Which way is home? Oh, 
Here's my black feathers. Mm, I don't care so much about the meat. Alright, can we get home before we get cold? Close enough. I think we're fine. I'm getting skills? Yeah, I'm getting better. Practice makes perfect. These habits. Perfect. Thank you, Glomer! For your goop contributions. Goop tributions? Is that what we should call that? Five, six. Seven. Do that row of ten across. All right, let's see here. I need silk. Elephant trunk. Go ahead and put potato thing down here. And puffy vest, I think, requires a little bit of beefalo wool. And we have a puppy vest! Happy day! Those over there. Let's go ahead and... A few more berries. A little bit low on ice. I was hoping to get a lot more ice than I was actually able to get, but... Keep these in there for a bit. Oh. Um, so Wes has always been meant to be kind of the hard character. He's the added challenge mode of the Don't Starve games. So I don't know that it was necessarily as, as a joke per se. I mean, they could have just made it absurdly difficult as Wes. But as it is, it's just a little bit of an added challenge. It's not too bad, I would say. Um... Get Chester emptied. And leave those in there. Not sure where I want to plant my pine cones yet. Probably should just get rid of that backpack. Don't want it taking up space. Let's get the twiggy trees planted. Up here. Not twiggy trees, saplings. What am I doing? Call them the wrong thing. Looks like getting those down a bit. Alright, I'm gonna actually go get some more ice. Those. Let's go in the fridge for all. They can. Alright, I might save that for later. It's full. Don't need that. Alright. Let's go. One ice over there. Let's go get that, and then we'll get some more ice. Yeah, no twiggy trees. I just sometimes forget and call saplings twiggy trees. They serve the same function, basically. Here. Probably go ahead and grab all this stuff, anyways. Be using the rot once it's spring to really mass farm stuff.
All right, who thinks Murphy's gonna throw a deer clops at me now that I'm back by my base? I still have a feeling he might. Murphy likes to do stuff like that. And I had a bunch there. Find a mod that makes it only winter. You don't need a mod for that. You can actually just um, during the game setup, you can set it to be winter forever. Just like you can set it to be uh, darkness forever as well. Just in the game settings. King of Winter does that as well. Great head. Uh, no loot from these guys. Interesting. Out of the timing. Don't want Charlie to come out. Right. Bit of ice. I don't think I'm going to worry about making any ice phlegmatics. I'm not planning on being up on the surface more than is absolutely necessary. I just don't like trying to protect a base in Reign of Giants. The smoldering spreads too fast. Oh, awesome, Ray. Yeah, glad those tutorials have helped. It is not an easy game to learn to play. That's for sure. Um, and I still don't have that shovel. I forgot to go get the shovel. Mm, I'll wait till spring and go gather up all that stuff. Let's go get... Wait. Face. This way. Go get a little bit more... Actually, no, I don't need to make more of the fistful of jam. Wasn't watching. Failed that time. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. No. Missed those. Alright. Warm up. Oh, wrong chest. I'm gonna keep the meats on hand just for hiring pigs purposes. Those can stay on the ground. Two days left. Go ahead and make a new shovel. Let's get turbo warmed. The axe. Here. Well, I'm going to bring Chester with. All right, we're going to go explore. And dig up stuff. I don't think there's going to be any more ice out there to harvest some about that. All right, some of these are going to just leave around here. If we get far enough away, then uh, I'll start digging up more berry bushes. I think I wanted three more. <laughs> Can of orange soda. That is a... Oh, man. Another... Another ghost. Whoops. Oh, I've got to eat a... i got to eat a red cap for that one. Sorry, I hit Chester. If I had a dollar for every time I hit Control F and accidentally hit Chester, I would have a lot of dollars. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any pendles this late. i start digging stuff up. Yeah, the potato cup, that's another joke item. I think that's from a dev live stream or something. 
probably want to have like 40 grass in base. I want three more of those. Uh, maybe do another stack of figs. Oh, look, a red cap! Two red caps for hitting Chester. Sorry, Chester. I've eaten a red cap as my penance. Alright, let's uh, actually do in the interior. Oh, we gotta get our press a hatitator going too. Maybe I'll dig up the burrow since they're gonna be relocated into the press a hatitator anyways. You've never actually hit Chester? Oh, I hit him all the time. The worst is when I am like trying to start a fight with pigs and I have befriended pigs and I accidentally hit Chester and then all the pigs start to hit Chester. Yeah, I've done that a couple of times. Or bunnies. Then that's bunnies and rock lobsters. Feel bad when that happens. That can go in Chester. I'm not likely to ever really come up in this area again once it's been mapped out, so might as well go ahead and do this. <laughs> you actually care about him? I care about Chester. I'm just a little bit careless sometimes. Get it? Care? Careless? That was like a play on words and I didn't even plan it that way. I have to visit the beef low again, get a lot more manure, fertilizing and other purposes. Uh, yeah, I do want to do one more full stack of grass. Do at least three rows of twigs. Ah, what am I doing that for? Double. I don't think that I've actually or accidentally killed Glomer before by such means. I'm not gonna worry about that. It's just pile there. Alright, so that is now. Yeah, we'll have 40 grass. That's more than enough. Go ahead and get the same amount of twigs. Flooring while we go. Is there a pig sleeping over there? I wonder if that was one of the homeless pigs. Right? You don't want to accidentally attack the houndius. Do the other Houndiuses attack you when you attack a Houndius? I don't know if I've ever actually tried that. Oikai! No! Sarah! It was an accident! It was purely an accident. I would never intentionally hurt him. What was I trying to hit anyways? Oh, it was the ghost! It was the ghost's fault. I was momentarily possessed by the aggressive spirit of the ghost, and that's what caused me to do it. Fire for a minute. Alright, let's go ahead and eat those. And that, because it's there. That one's the one of the harder ones to find if you miss it when you're first exploring. The other set pieces are all pretty recognizable. I mean, that one's not too bad because it's in the middle of the, the forest turf areas. Some of the other ones are hard to spot. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just going to pick that and eat it. Get it out of there. In Chester. Still really cold at night. 
Alright. A little bit of exploring. Wow, that looked like a really big beehive for a second. They're like, oh, it's a queen bee! Welcome back, F or, uh, AJ. Wow, land of many... Um... Brain stopped working fireflies here. Back around this way a little bit. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you strong, Chester, right? Chester's tough. He's a beefy boy. Very resilient. Aha! That was good that time. Come back here. Give Chester all my food. He's not like packing baggins where he actually does eat your food and then gets bigger. I don't know that I've ever actually made packing baggins bigger though. Probably try it on the Woodlegs live stream. Be interesting if they ever added Hutch into single player. Yeah, seriously, those beehives just look huge. All right, last day of winter, zero days left. That packums bagums. Um, there we go. Ooh, frog ponds melted. That signs of spring. All right, that's it for digging stuff up. Pop up my grass. Uh, doesn't look like there's beehives real close to the frog ponds, so I'll have to stick the other ones up to work. Second. Oh, uh, okay. This rabbit is in danger of being in the territory of the frogs, therefore I will relocate. Rabbit number one. My rabbits before the... Well, that was interesting. The frog hopped out briefly. You're surrounded by monkeys and spiders, and then you targeted Pack and Baggums? That <laughs> sounds about right. I don't know if I've ever actually killed Pack and Baggums. I've, I've gotten him killed before, but I don't know that I've actually killed him myself. So do here to get him to run to bunny bunny find one more rabbit den All right, are we done exploring Nope, still have that area up there. Let's head back to base. There should be some more rabbits up this way. Not gonna worry about that. Mmm, didn't want to worry about being cold. Let's see if it actually gets cold enough to cause freezing. Ten red caps? Oh, that is harsh. Eat ten red caps? That makes me dead. Oh, go. Oh. Mister might be too close to that guy. Of course, now he's a homeless bunny. Don't worry, we'll give you a happy new home inside of a prestahatitator. There. Now he has four bunnies. 
All right. Let's run home. We have no deer clops today. <laughs> I am not putting that one to a vote. Because the, the probability of me accidentally hitting Chester again is a little bit high. And I'm pretty sure 10 red caps would make for a very dead Wes. <laughs> I don't want to end the stream early. Alright, um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to need a silk hat. I don't have enough silk for that. Drat. Oh, I did not think ahead on that one. I'm going to need a lot more silk. Alright, time is going to be of the essence, though. We need to get our pressed a hat -a made before our bunnies get too sad. Go ahead and plant these. Chester, don't get in the way, Chester. Stay, stay back. There, it's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get those fertilized. Yeah, if you hammer the press a hatitator, you do get live rabbits back out of it. Um, getting those out. Gonna leave these on the ground for right now. That chest is full. I'm gonna need to get a lot more logs here before too much longer. Yeah, the Fistful of Jam is actually working surprisingly well for me, food-wise. That bit? No, I'll we'll just drop that on the ground for now. Alright, I need to get more spider silk. Debating how I want to go about doing it. That worked really well in the swamp when they were all... Yeah, I think that's probably my best bet, is just head back over there. Get all that silk. Um... Do they eat seeds? No. Uh, red caps. They do eat red caps! Would feeding the rabbits a red cap kill them, though? I don't know if it would. We'll, we'll put the bunnies on psychedelics, how about that? If we need to. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> Can't believe I'm about to feed rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab the miner hat. We're getting into the warm time of year. And the thermal stone will keep me warm enough. To get up to where I want to go. We're gonna work on getting the uh, spiders. Made a press a hat tater on day 110. Yeah, sometimes I make it sooner, sometimes I make it later. I gotta be careful. If I go too fast on the road, I'm gonna ditch Chester. Really the big downside in single player, having the walking stick, using roads, and then you just have to stand around and wait. So are you actually going any faster? Not really. Blue caps. Well, maybe I shouldn't be using the, uh, miner hat yet. Well. Alright, we're gonna go for the spiders up over here. I don't think I'm gonna have time to get any down tonight. Maybe I will. Alright, oh, they saw me. Did I hit that spider? 
I think I might have hit that spider. hit the tentacle um i'm not sure it, i kind of thought that it hit the spider even though i was in the process of hitting the nest i think it did switch targets on the spider on me i don't know if i feel personally responsible responsible for that though because that was like weird bait and switch effect all right we are officially spring Um, we'll have to have, if someone wants to rewind on that, to check and see. Either way, I'm gonna go... I'll red cap my penance on that one. But, I, yeah, I was... actively hitting... Like, I was just sitting there holding F, hitting the, the nest, and then it looked like he hit the spider, so I'm not sure what happened there. You just checked? I'm good? All right, well, I'm going to call that good, then. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, they don't eat seeds. All right, I'm excited. I get to do gardening. And my screen just did a big reload. Or why I did a big reload. Still want to see one of these hatch one of these days. I don't know if I've actually seen it hatch, like, on screen before. I'll just come back to see them later. Two red caps if I hit a spider twice. Maybe. I, 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 I'm going to assume that I didn't hit it. Oh wait, were you checking on the uh, hitting of the spider or something else? Oh, the berries are coming. All right, for this, I'm going to need more boards too. All right, those can go there. That can go there. Those guys are good for now. Get the silk hat. Let's wear it for a little bit because it's so styling. Oh, we got the spring music. It makes me happy. That's the best music in the game. All right, Chester, you can hang out here for a little bit. Oh, I need to get an umbrella going. Umbrella. All right, so that will keep me dry with the silica. Otherwise, football helmet will work. I don't think the Tamashanter protects you against the uh, getting wet. Um, that can go in there. All right. If we have any big trees out here, negatory. Ah, once I'm used to using the walking stick, to switch back going slow is just painful. Oh, it helps if I actually bring an axe and a shovel. Yeah, Beeplo Hat has some. Tamashanter, I don't think, does. Just a bummer. Alright, we are racing against the clock. Oh, look, we got asparagus! And because I'm linked to, uh... Hamlet, I could make asparagus soup. I think. I don't remember what the recipe is for it, but I think I could. Yeah, football helmet does. There. Alright, let's go get those bunnies into their new happy home. One, two, three, four, and then I do have to take the hat off. Then I can make rest a hatitator. Yay! Now the bunny's gonna hang out in limbo for a minute because I need to cycle the garden. I need to get more gardens. That's for sure. 
All right, my general rule with most of this stuff is eating them cooked is generally better. The one exception, though, I'm not sure. I'm going to double check um, on a few of these real fast. Is there anything you can make with the sweet potato that's better? Although it's only 12.5 either way. Oh, well, I can't make that anyway. And then there's the stuffed eggplant, I know. I can't remember that. Cooked eggplant is pretty darn good by itself. 20 healing, 25 hunger. And stuffed eggplant is not as good. You might get more hunger, like if you used a red cap with it, but you don't get any the healing. All right, noted. For future reference, we're going to eat that, because that will also get our healing topped up. Those can go in the fridge. Aloe. I don't even remember what aloe is particularly used for. Alright, I don't want to propagate any of those. I really just want dragon fruit. That is pretty much it for gardening. I'll probably end up putting a separate ice box for seeds over there at some point. Green back up. Okay. Alright, let's see here. How much manure do I still have? Any? Not enough. Alright, so we're going to need to visit the beefalo. That's going to be dicey though because they're going to be all sorts of grumpy butts. Maybe we'll... <laughs> Glomer. <laughs> He's the best. Alright, let's just do that. Um, I don't think you can do any sort of a chimney here anyways. No. 40 hunger, no filler needed. On which one? Pumpkin? Just like a cooked pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkins would be good. Um, hang on, I'm going to tab out. There we go. I'm going to check some wiki stuff. Yeah, cooked pumpkin is 37.5 hunger. The only crockpot recipe is the pumpkin cookies, which I can't make because that requires honey. We're making the jack lantern cookies. Yeah, pumpkins would actually be pretty good. I just the spoilage is so much lower though. Ten days when raw, six days when cooked. Or to have stuff that has a longer shelf life. All right, we need to go get more manure. I think I might go ahead and hop down into the caves. I think that getting a whole bunch of light bulbs would probably be overall more efficient. I need to stock up on wood, though, first. Thought I had a little bit more grass, but... Oh. All right, we'll get these planted at least. Quite the distance there from the fire. Chester, over here. Some of these planted. Yeah, I, I just need lots of manure right now. For all sorts of reasons. I'd say overall the challenge is going pretty well, though. We like this arrangement. Focus when planting. Alright, we got all of those up. What do you mean, ruins? I mean going down into the caves and ruins. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't line up quite right. 
Need to work on getting our bundling wraps, get all the gardens going, start propagating some major amounts of dragon fruit. Hey. Oh, I think I split a stack when I was <laughs> picking one up earlier because I was holding control to have the geometric placement down. Ah, I did it again! <laughs> About a dollar for every time I picked up a stack, meaning to pick up the whole stack, but I'm holding control for geometric placement, I would have a lot of dollars. Uh, I'm just going to throw the extras out here. Alright, and let's go ahead and use whatever rot I have right now on the grass. Is an eggplant a better veggie? Uh, that's a good point, actually. Versatility is always nice. Alright, hang on. I'm going to pause this and double check on something. So, pumpkin, at most 8 healing, 37.5. Whereas eggplant... Less hunger, but more healing. So it's just 25 hunger either way. Dragon fruit by itself can do 20 hunger cooked, but you're going to make a dragon fruit pie for 40 hunger. But the thing is, dragon fruit pie is 75 hunger. And you can make it with twigs. 75 hunger, 15 day shelf life, and 40 healing. That's why I want to go with dragon fruit pie. I'll be going through a lot of twigs, but generally, once you're fairly well established and not making drying racks, you're generally not running out of a lot of twigs anyways. But yeah, I'm going to go for the dragon fruits. If I get pumpkins, I might go ahead and do some of those, but that's not going to be a focus. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's really any good reason to keep. I'm going to go ahead and just cook those into some ratatouilles. Um, and then since it is springtime, I can just start doing berries without even using the ice because I'll be having so many berries coming out for uh, whatchamacallits. Vista jams. <laughs> I love the gobbler sounds. It is always amusing. Always a good time with the gobblers. Yeah, let's do one of those for now. Berries. I'm just trying to think if there's really any reason that I want to keep the ice. So I'm not sure if that's going to grow back fast enough really to work. Um, all right, now that I have cleaned things up a bit, let's go ahead and put the Presta Hattitator down. I'm going to put it up over here, because when I do set the bunnies free, I want them to be free. And let's see, for Shadow Manipulator, is it just one purple gem? Living logs is going to be tricky. Dragon fruit! We got a dragon fruit! Yay! Happy times! Now, the, the frustrating thing with farming in the old school Don't Starve is that you get the one fruit, you feed the one fruit to the bird, and you get one to three seeds Always you get one of the crop, but you don't always get an extra one of the crop. So if you harvest 10 dragon fruit, you might be able to make 
if you're lucky, maybe half of them into the different or into, you know, more dragon fruit, but not always. Hey, yes. Hey, Sal. Next run, you should do uh, DST all bosses stream as Wanda. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not super experienced with doing those sorts of boss rush things. That's kind of just never been my play style, really. Um, but yeah, that might be fun. For a special stream event sort of a thing. You know, I'm going to save some carrots. I might want to propagate those. Radishes, probably not. Cooked radish. I like radishes. I'm excited for gardening this year. We're going to grow some radishes. Bunch of other stuff. Alright, rain stopped. That means we can go zoom zoom. And I still got the miner hat. Yeah, I want to go down. And it's time to go down into the caves. At this point, I think that getting a bunch of light bulbs is going to be overall more advantageous compared to... Um, my brain is not working. Uh, hanging around with the beefalo, because the beefalo are going to be all sorts of grumpy butts. What was I going to grab here? Oh, pickaxe. Where did the pickaxe go? I dropped it on the ground over here. All right, let's go. Pulls right up over here. All right, we're going to run around maybe just one or two days in here. Hopefully we find a bunch of um, light bulbs. <laughs> There's a little dance there. <laughs> That was great. Nervous likes Kravitz. Yeah, Kravitz are great. Yeah, I know the the vegetable stinger. That's another one of those recipes that I never remember the details for. That's primarily used for sanity, though, and I'm not at all worried about sanity. All right, here we go. We're in the cave. All of the... Wow! That is a lot of Slurtle Mounds. Right there in the first area. Oh, we got Rock Lobsters right there. That's good to know. We will run to them for assistance in the event of a worm attack. Chester, did you get stuck already? Oh, you got stuck in the Slurtle Mounds. All right, come on, buddy. Wow! I have never seen that many Slurtle Mounds cluster together like that before. Nuts. Vegetable Stingers reminds me of V8 juice. I don't know if that's like a worldwide thing, the vegetable juice. Good stuff. Of course, it's raining down here. All right. We're basically at some point just going to have to pick a branch and go running out as far as we can. Follow my nose. Let's just go this way. Well, that was a dud. <laughs> yeah, that that is seriously more Slurtle Mounds in one place than I have ever seen in any game of Don't Starve. DST or single player. Dead end there. Let's see. Out a bit. I'm gonna alternate back and forth between walking. There we go. There's the light bulbs. We've got a bad plant as well. Uh, the bats I'm just gonna have to run away from. Because they will eventually start to attack, and I don't think they'll attack rock lobsters. We do have a worm over there. Another one. Will the bats and the worms fight? I think the bats went back to sleep. Gotta be careful that the worm doesn't start to bite Chester. Alright, let's get away from that guy. 
Those worms will drop aggro once you get far enough away from them. Yeah, turkey dinner, is that like a 40 second cook time? I mean, cook time is sometimes a consideration. So much easy manure with the light bulb. Not to mention blue caps. Summertime might be pretty nice with all the blue caps down here. Although you eat too many blue caps and you'll get visited by Bob and Steve. Dry it up a little bit. Mmm, turkey dinner. I'm a big fan of turkey dinners. Good stuff. Yeah, I really like V8 juice. I haven't had it in a long time. Probably higher in sodium than is actually good for me. All the light bulbs are belong to me. I already got all the... not actually causing my wetness to go down very fast. <laughs> Tomato soda. I got some friends that are real big fans of Bloody Marys. I've never been a fan of that particular cocktail myself very much though. A bit different. <laughs> Screw efficiency. Turkey dinner equals best dinner. Nope. Bacon and eggs. That's the best. It has been decided. It has been decreed. Let's get some distance with that guy. Oh, did we ever make a decision on the Moggles? I don't think we did. I think Moggles should be allowed in the same theory as... Um, the Miner Hat. The theory that it doesn't actually harm the uh, mole worm, that he stays fed and cared for. Oh, there's the bunnies! That means we've got ruins over there. Most likely. And it's so weird to be able to run straight up to the bunnies without even worrying about having any meat on my personage. That's a nice concept. Oh, green mush tree forest. Turkey juice? Uh, if you consider bone broth turkey juice. I love making bone broth. Homemade bone broth is so good for you. Tasty. Use it in soups and all sorts of other stuff. <laughs> the bunny men suck. Nah, bunny men are hilarious. Love the bunny men. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get myself a deconstruction staff, although it takes two green gems to make that. Relocate some of these guys. Get a bunny man, uh... Spider... Bat farm at some point. I'm trying to figure out where that sinkhole is. This is very efficient. Timing and exploration and whatnot. Although it's possible that these could just be a different bunny setup that's not next to the sinkhole. Wait, what's that, Imperio? I gotta be careful about reading chat when there's that worm crawling around. Making all the meat dishes on public servers where the poor, the false skin players barely know how to make meatballs just to troll them. That would be funny. I am tempted one of these live stream sessions to just hop on a bunch of random public servers and just see how people are. I think that could be fun. Do I have to like publicly disclose that I'm recording them? I uh, join a public server? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to go up that way.
open their eyes to new possibilities. Oh, yeah, we're getting cold now. Ooh, borderline. Borderline freezing. If I actually get far enough away from that guy that he leaves me alone. I think I'm good. Switch to that one briefly. Oh. Really? Then that guy comes from a different direction? Rude. Um, let's move over here. Let's avoid getting rocked on. Oh, but let's hang around though, see if we get... Oh, I got him! I got a mole worm! I did it! I got a mole worm! I'm excited, and I didn't have to block him with a hammer. There was a no violence mole worm catching there. We are in the clear. Our conscience is clean. All right, now I just need glowberries. For that, we might need to make friends with some bunnies. Um, what is the recipe for the moggles? And I'm just gonna allow the moggles. Just one glowberry. Oh, I need two more worms. Oh, it's gonna be hard to do. Well, I want to keep my mole worm along alive for that long. Although mole worms are pretty easy to keep alive. You've just got such a low chance of actually getting the mole worms that it could take a while. Two mole worms for that. Hmm. Yep, yep. Cave Chester does throw people off. That is for sure. Yeah, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna have the sinkhole up here or not. I think this might just be a bunch of bunnies. Although, ooh, rock lobsters. Oh, that is true. When you shovel them up, that doesn't harm them, so I don't have to hit them with a hammer. All right, I feel good about that. That will work. Oh, what about the worms, though? I can't hire bunnies or rock lobsters to deal with this guy. I don't think that the rock lobsters will automatically attack it. Gonna keep coming. Nah, he's gonna. Oh no, he's coming. Oh, he's going after Chester now. No, he bailed. All right, if I just stick around um, a little bit, then that guy will be around when the bunnies come back out, and that'll be fine. Ooh, I think I'm doing good on the. Up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking around for the ruins right now, and since I got that mole worm dropping from the sky, I do kind of want to uh, get myself a glowberry so I can make some moggles. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I did not, I didn't cause that. I did not incite that violence there. That mole worm's in trouble. Or not mole worm, the, uh, Depth dwellers in trouble. I gotta grab the the berry real fast though, and not grab the meat. There. Okay. Mission accomplished. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and explore the rest of this end up here, just because I I do want to see if the sinkhole is gonna be up this way. 
I'm gonna go ahead and cook a bunch of blue caps though and boost my sanity back up. Don't feel like being crazy at the moment. Yeah, bunnies, they do some damage. They are very efficient at taking stuff out. Did I bring... No, I didn't even bring the tamp. Alright, let's go a little bit fast for a minute. I like the cave music too. It's kind of fun. Alright, so that... Did that wrap around? Thank you for your growls. Very nice. I've got a feeling that that blue bunny area is not going to be for the sinkhole. It's probably a dead end that almost but doesn't quite connect over. Or maybe it does actually connect over. All right, it actually did. Was that the same? Yeah, I think that was the same. All right, let's go back up this way. Yeah, rock lobsters are great. Although before too much longer, I'm needing to head up to restock food and then focus back on the dragon fruit and other things on the surface. But getting the light bulbs was pretty important for what I'm planning on doing here. Maybe another dead end. Wait, who are you re rewarding with the spear afterward? Hired bunnies? Rock lobsters are probably pretty good for Wigfrid to bash on if you can get one alone. At least in DST, not so much in single player. Yeah, this is the wrong terrain to have the sinkhole. It has to be the spalagmite rock spider and areas. Thank you, Katie. Can't believe it. Two whole years making videos for the YouTubes. All right, let's just map this out. All right, I'm going to explore this end and then we're going to call it for the caves for now, I think. And then we'll just dig up a mole worm on the surface during the daytime. Don't let me forget to feed my little baby mole worm over there. I want that guy to die on me. Hopefully Chester doesn't get stuck. Sir, coming back around. Another little dead end wingling over here. Right, just bashing on the I still get a little bit scared though, just, you know, when I come across bunnies. There's that latent fear that, wait a minute, do I maybe have a meat in my inventory that I didn't realize? Maybe restock that. The, uh, the glow bugs inside there didn't die. They just lost fuel, lost steam until it was replenished. That's my story. Um, let's go ahead and get that area too. While we're here, blue caps. Blue caps are delicious. Yeah, my first vid was single player, don't starve. That was the plan. It wasn't DST single player, it was just don't starve single player. Alright, let's see if we get another mole worm out of this. Oh, that was a blue gem and it broke! I was still wanting to get a blue gem. Add. Not gonna worry about any of the other stuff on the ground. Wes in a cave, what will he do? Not fight anything is what he will do. At least not in this run. Get all those tasty three old light flowers. Yeah. 
Alright, don't need to top up the mole worm yet. We can wait a little while. Yeah, if the mole worm died in my inventory, the bunnies would be mad at that, because then I'd have meat in my inventory all of a sudden. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be a little dead end wingling over there. Oh, he's fine for now. Uh, what are those? These also work for the miner hat. They provide less fuel than the light bulbs, but I'm not going to be using them for much else. So if I blow enough of them up, it can cause more earthquake. And I'd have to eat a red cap. Yep, yeah, if my war mole worm dies, that'll count as violence that requires eating a red cap. I agree. Alright, probably going to be a dead end out here. I don't think that's going to connect over to another biome. Speaking of food, I'm going to need to stock up here pretty soon. Do the uh, blue cap tango. All right, I'll go ahead and feed him. I'm always worried that if I do a stack elite more than one. Feed the mole worm. There, he's happy. Get him back in the green. <laughs> you leave and now I'm down in the caves. Yeah, we ran down here to get uh, light flowers, light bulbs to get uh, manure from a were pig. And we have found boatloads of light flowers. Which is very fortunate because sometimes you don't luck out. I also managed to grab a mole worm from a cave in. So I was able to pick up a mole worm without any violence towards the mole worm. And we've decided that we are going to allow the use of moggles because, as the west down in the ruins, where I'm going to want to avoid combat at all costs, having moggles are going to be pretty necessary. Alright, so that's that whole wingling out there. Don't have... yeah, that... So normally with the way caves work out, you'll normally have a small blue area. That's a bit big. Um, small blue area that has bunny hutches, and then you have the sinkhole to the ancient ruins. It's not on this end, so it's going to be somewhere else. Um, I'm probably going to just circle around up there a little bit more, and then we're going to head back out. I need to get food. I'm going to leave all of the carrots down here in case I do need to use the carrots for any sort of assistance. I'm debating if that would be loud by any for any reason I, I should probably dry off before I go running up that way and I'm gonna need food so if I wait until night time get all of the Blue mushrooms again. Uh, you don't need a hammer. At least not to open the ruins. You need the pickaxe to open the sinkhole. Yeah, I'm gonna need food here real soon. Alright, let's get away from him. <laughs> It's tempting to go up there and light the gunpowder on fire. What's that guy doing? <gasps> Blue gem! Sweet. Yeah, I'm going to have to stay down here and get the blue caps. Those is food, I think. All right, many bats around here. Grab the guano. That. Ah, I need food. Need food badly. I think I'm just going to run home. I think I'll get home at about the same time that the blue caps would come out. I could just dig up some blue caps. That's actually probably smarter. There. 
there. That'll tide me over. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's the way I roll. If you're watching a Salandrak stream, you have to expect that I am going to skirt the lines of starvation on a regular basis. <laughs> I had a plan all along, though. I knew that there was food nearby. I was just debating for a little while which route I wanted to take to actually acquire said food. It's all good. Let's see, full moon topside. We're probably going to get a hound attack right away, which means we're going to run up to the beef flow. Means it might be a further delay for getting more food. Yeah, let's see if we can get over here real quick. Right, I guess I wasn't down there long enough. Dragon fruit. Alright, let's put some stuff away. Thank you, Glomer! Have a shanter back on for a little bit. Need to get some sanity restoration going on. Ooh, we got a pomegranate. Make the fruit medley or something with those. Aloe. Feed the bird. I do love that you can feed birds at night in single player. And again, only the one. And that, two more seeds. That in there. I actually really do need that hound attack because I need the monster meat. How much do I even have in here? Only three, not enough to wear a pig. Go ahead and cook that. Um, and let's go ahead and make our ice staff. Help our sanity a little bit. There's the hounds. Right on schedule. And we're gonna have to just run away. Alright, I want the beef below to help for the hounds. A little bit of a jog. Leave Chester there. Oh, what did Katie do? Did I miss something? I missed it. What happened there? I was busy. I was occupied. Hi, hound. Uh, I want to make sure that they all come. I don't want to lose any of them. Yeah, wasn't there a, th There's a third blue one? Right, and I think that there were some along the road over here. If not, there's going to be some up over there. Oh, they're not even grumpy. Look at that. Yeah, what, what happened there with Katie? I completely was busy not dying from hunger. And if you want to just DM me on Discord, Sarah, that's also fine as well. <laughs> Is that all of them? Alright. Alright, that was highly effective. Alright, hopefully there's not any stragglers back there that I didn't quite keep up with me.
Eat that one. Was I wearing my miner hat in broad daylight? I don't think I was. Gotta back up and catch some of the chat up here. Oh, was there like a bunch of all caps posts? Yeah, let's let's not do all caps. It's generally obnoxious. That's what was going on. Yeah, don't don't be using caps lock. It's generally considered bad form. Don't don't take it personally though. I mean, if you're doing it and you just didn't really realize, but do try to remember that for future reference. All right. Um, I need to get back to base again, but I also need to compulsively explore this over here. Got another full moon tonight. Of course, with the full moon, I could have just found a spare wear pig. Let him eat all the light bulbs. And then we're going to make, I want to have nine garden beds, I think. So I'm going to need a lot more grass still. Did I get all of the, I need to go get back to base. I'm going to be starving again in a very short amount of time. It's not one thing, it's another. All right, be quick. We're going to be wet and cold and starving real soon. Fairy. Hunger averted. Oh, I might want to propagate the watermelons. Just for making the melon sticks. Oh, that went out. I don't want to burn that. Alright, we'll get that full stoked up. I need to dry off. Let's cook those monster meat. See? I made a bunny! There's a bunny right up there. I made that bunny. Alright. See, that is like, what? Three dragon fruits now, and I haven't gotten a single... Man? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, what one word every now and then, one you know, one full message every now and then, that's fine. But when there's repeat all caps message, that's just screaming at people and generally frowned upon. Alright, top him up. And let's see here. Don't need that at the moment. Do need that, because I'm not actually drying out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the ice. Some of those real quick. Carrot. Yeah, this is a 10 hour live stream. We are going for another three-ish hours. All right, hunger is now somewhat abated. Let's reconfigure some inventory. Um, I'm gonna need to hire the pigs to really get a lot more logs still. Um, because does making the gardens take logs too? No, it doesn't. Good. All right, we'll stay away from the ghosts up there. I don't need that sort of attention right now. And let me see, because there were some homeless pigs here and there. I just don't remember where they were. That way. Here's pigs at. one. 
closest to him. We'll go visit him in the morning, let him be the pig that converts stuff, and then maybe just ice staff him and run away. If I ice staff him and run super far away, will that take care of it? No, not Bob the Shady, it's Bob from Sales. It's totally Bob from Sales. Uh, still need more silk for Tamashanter purposes. I have a shovel with me so I can dig up a mole worm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook those because I might use those for hiring different pigs at some point. Yes, I know I'm a vegan. I'm not eating this. I can still cook it. Um, no, we haven't actually had any combat with any Bobs and Steves so far. Alright, let's go find the were pig. Although, does manure stack up? A 40 or is it just 20 for manure? Oh, well, I'll have Chester either way. Alright. Bob the phone dealer in the alley. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we got Bob and Steve. They're from the sales force of Boxola Radio Company of Sydney, Ohio. Okay. This way. <laughs> Don't kill the were pig, Merm. All right. All right. We got poop factory. Well, that was a neat trick. Do it again. All right, here goes Poop Factory round two. This will take a little while. We'll just hang out, watch him eat his feast. Could have brought an axe, drop down some trees. We're going to get your sanity up a bit. So much flies, it's gross. Drink some tea while we're at it. Yeah, manure only stacks to 20. So hopefully I have room to carry all this. Chester, I want you to be not so close to him. I might have to figure out a way to this guy off my back. Might have to make use of a tall bird. Try freezing him somewhere. I wonder if I freeze him and a tall bird next to each other, if then they would be pacified. I wonder if I just like dropped one monster meat out here. Move her over to that. What he does when he's done munching on light flowers. <laughs> this this feels kind of like cheating. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and get him up in range of Albert. Oh, Talbert went after him. Oh, and he changed back! Oh, sorry, pig. I didn't know that that would happen. Alright, where's all my poop? Did I leave it? That way? I feel bad. I didn't expect that guy to change back that fast. Oh, follow the sound of the flies. Alright. Mosquitoes from Hamlet are also now in Reign of Giant. What? No, 
No mosquitoes. Don't want that. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten a pamphlet. I haven't even seen mandrakes in the ground yet. And I've explored everywhere. Um, I might have to do the console command to count up how many mandrakes there actually are in the world. So much poop! It's crazy. I'm not even going to get all of it. <laughs> it just keeps going. I won the poop lottery here, folks. Oh, I did get it all. There we go. Yay, we got it. And now I am full of poop. Much poop. Uh, just there. All right, let's go get those gardens planted. And now it is time to mass produce the dragon fruit. <laughs> so much poop, Sal, 2022, right? Did you know about Find Your Blueprint mod? No, -uh, what's that one do? Tell me about it. Right way, sort of. <laughs> I was gonna, gonna say it the uh, little bit more profanity version, but we'll keep it clean here for a while. Oh, the big fly swarms. Oh, right, right, right. Those flies, the gnat swarms. Yeah, because those are in, uh, that's, yeah, okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the poop on these. That fully fertilized all of my grass. All right, we'll start harvesting that in a bit. All right, at this point, I'm kind of done with random crops. We are going to go all in. We got two. Look at that. All right, I need to get the logs. Got any goop here for night farming. Um, I still need to find another mole worm. I have enough stone to do very much of this, hopefully. All right, here we go. Stone, is it only four? That's not bad. All right, Chester, get back over here. Hi, Bob. How's it going, Bob? Good sales today, Bob? Hope so. One that's going to want to be right out. I think that's right. Good enough. All right, we are in business. And now we're just going to make these pop out of the ground using the manure. Still such time as we can plant a whole bunch of them. Then we're going to shift gears and focus on getting some bundling wraps because that will come in handy. But so far we've gotten the double seeds once out of all this time. Hey, look at that. We got three seeds that time. Bob, you're in the way of my garden. Step off, Bob. Getting hungry again. <laughs> you love this West Vegan series. I'm having fun with this. This is just a great way to mix up the game. Definitely had a lot of close calls. I think the Bishop was probably the scariest close call so far. That was... That was... Oh, look at all the... All the rot. Stuff is going to rot here. Um, Let's go ahead and top that up. There. I can just pick it at the same time. Or not. Yeah, I, I do like the look of these farms. 
They're just really not efficient from a food perspective. But when you're a vegan, I work with what you got available. All right, and now we've increased it by one. Now we can plant five. Feed this guy. I don't think we're getting a moose goose either. Ah, such a time consuming process. You want a mass producer though, this is the way to do it. Alright, let me get some better food. Oh, I shouldn't have done this in the daytime though. Just get two more. Alright, no gobblers. No gobblers. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally eat one of those. Ooh, up to nine now. That was a good one. Good harvest there. West is developing his green thumb. Look at that. All nine are now planted. Then we need to get bundling wraps. I'm not reading much of the chat right now. I'm too busy. Busy farming. I got a job to do here. Yeah, farming in single player is awful. You have the same RNG for getting the crops that you want, but then you also have RNG for actually getting enough seeds to be able to repropagate them. It's just bad. So now, after going through how many stacks of manure, how many rounds of planting, I will finally have some that I can use for actually eating. Alright, so I always feed five of the nine to see how many I get. Yeah, and we do be getting rain. Alright, so I didn't even get enough, so now of those nine, I have three that I can use for actually making dragon fruit pie. Oh, and we got one extra. Look at that. The gods have smiled upon us. For a brief second there, I thought that I heard a frog rain. And I was going to be sad. Alright, we'll do another round of this. All that manure. Making the gardens. Oh, excuse me for that. I've got probably friends. One second, I need to turn off my... Thank you, doorbell ringer. How is DST's farming mechanism different from single player? DST is vastly superior. You can produce way more food for way less effort in DST. Plus you get the little baby fruit fly. It, by default, as long as you're you know, growing good crops, you'll get more seeds. Like, guaranteed more seeds, whereas in single player, it's completely RNG. So the only way to regrow these dragon fruit is I have to feed probably at least half of the dragon fruit back to my bird, and then hope that the bird gives me enough extra seeds. It always gives me at least one, but not always more. And a good thing this bird is a glutton. Alright, so let's feed two more, because that is the best I can hope for. Oh, one more. Alright, now I have five dragon fruits that I can actually use. You 
<laughs> really nervous. Group what you saw is the only update that the community is like, wow, that's really good. All right, and we'll save that there. And I am going to make my first of what will be many dragon fruit pies. This dragon fruit is on the menu. All right, and then I need to get that other mole worm. Go do that while those are cooking. Oh, look, it stopped raining. Pretty sure there should be some this way. Was it the reap what you sow that nerfed the bunnyman? I can't remember how the timing of that worked. That's a bunny. Alright, usually there's lots of mole worms up in here. Oh look, green caps. Mind if I do. Probably run out to the um, desert and get a bunch more of my cactus. Get my sanity boosted all back up. I do need to get more. Um, my brain is working slower at the moment. Um, spider silk still. Have my sewing kit. Hammer shanter starting to get low. All right, there's a mole worm. Oh, I've got to wait until morning to get him out. I brought some meat. Oh, I've got two meat. I'll use that for. All right, Sandy's going back up. Yeah, single player farming is completely different from DST farming. That's for sure. The bunny man was a direct nerf. Absolutely agree on that. It was probably necessary because the bunny man drops were definitely imbalanced. I kind of think that honey is actually a bit OP also. Oh, I didn't really need that. I'll just eat these. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I'll just stay here till morning and then I'll get the uh, mole worm. We'll go back, craft the moggles. Um, and then I really need to do some uh, tree harvesting with my pig force. I really want to get that deconstruction stuff so I can move some pigs closer to my base. Morning. Hear him. Hear the mole worm. And he shall be my pet. We'll call him Pet Mole Worm. I'm excited about the dragon fruit, though. Happy times. At radio. All right, here we go. What? That's not right. Was he not fully like in his burrow? Try it again. Really? Are you serious? We have Ninja Mole Worm there, everybody. What is that guy doing? Let's try a different one. We have Defective Mole Worm. I'm not happy about that Mole Worm. That was not nice. And we're rewarded with sounds of spring. All right, one more try. It doesn't... Oh, in DST, they're stunned when you dig it up. All right, can I bonk a mole worm on the head with a hammer? It's not for purposes of violence. It's not for purposes of killing. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to pull question that.
<laughs> I, I adjusted the question. <laughs> Does that hurt if I bonk you with a hammer? Depends on the hammer and depends on the person doing the bonk. All right, I need to go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. We're going to let Chair entertain you, and I'll be back, and we'll see what the votes of that poll is. I'll be right back. And, and it's the chair. And it's time for... Calico Chester! Calico Chester today. <laughs> Does that show up? It looks creepy. You see his tongue sticking out. <laughs> Alright, we're back. All right. Doesn't really show up that good from a distance, does he? Show up that good up close either. All right. <laughs> chair's working overtime in the stream. Yeah, chair's got to do some work here too. All right, let's see how many votes do we have on that. We have a vote of yes. We're at uh, 38 viewers, 39 votes. So I'm going to go ahead and call that as a yes. I may bonk the mole worm on the head if he immediately gets fed some gold. All right, we're going to call that good. Oh, that's right. It's Pickle Man's brother. Happy birthday to Pickle Man's brother. Chair must be paid with cookie cake. <laughs> actually, my uh, my daughter really wanted to make cookies today. And I'm not sure if that's actually happening or not. They had some prerequisites they had to do before they could make cookies. And hopefully they end up making snickerdoodles, because that is one of my personal favorites. All right, move a few things around over here. Oh, I need to, yeah. This chair is a trooper. If you ever have a chance to get a secret lab chair, I'm highly impressed with them. And I'm not paid to say that. <laughs> I should look, I should reach out to them and see about getting a uh, discount. Actually, no, I don't want to search that out. All right, let's try one more of these guys. Although I, I don't want to make another hammer. I've already made a couple of hammers. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll just make a hammer. <laughs> I don't want to run back and forth. I'm gonna get this mole worm out of my inventory. All right, so that and that. Um, although I said that I have to immediately feed it a gold, so no, I have to have a gold first. So I did just make that hammer for no good reason. That's right, base it this way. Do a flyby with the tall bird. Hi, tall bird. Run up here. I'm going to be a little bit sad if we don't get any giants here today. Because, yeah, I don't think we're going to get a Moose Goose. Moose Goose usually shows up real early. 
All right, I'm going to let those grow just natural pace at this point. All right, those can go up there. Bring that. I'm just going to that up there. Hmm. We can head to summer already. That in there. I want to plant a bunch of birch nut trees. Probably not. Oh, that's full. Is that in the fire? No. That in there. There. Alright, yeah, I have the extra hammers. Yeah, let's just go get the mole worm. I'll come back, I'll grab some meat, and then I'm gonna go hire pigs to uh harvest stuff. <laughs> do you do animal jam? What? No, I did not disable giants. It was default settings. When I created the world, the only thing that I changed was um, make it a false start. That was it. Alright, here we go. Why? Why is control left not working? What just happened? I was trying to press control F and then I just picked up the mole worm. What is going on here? I am so confused right now. I I I don't understand what just happened there. It's like like the game knew that deep down in his heart, West did not want to to even with his decreased damage and the and the low damage output of the hammer, the game knew that West did not want to hurt the mole worm. <laughs> Seriously, what just happened there? How is that even possible? Dragon fruit. Oh, did you see that? We went from 13 up to 88. So tasty. All right, watch this will be spoiled by now. Uh, and then what else do I need for this thing? Oh, two electrical doodads. That's right. All right let's put that over there. You know what? I'm going to give that guy a gold anyways, because I am nice like that. See, I share. I'm nice. I share. All right, we need an electrical doodad, so we need two of those in the cut stone. And then two doodads. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I still don't understand what was going on there. And we have a pair of models! Yay! Alright, we're gonna pick those. Yeah, I didn't use the hammer! I, I don't understand. I was fully prepared to use the hammer and I tried to. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a different... Oh, says Sarah, the person who, when we had the seal, she's like, It's adorable! Kill it! <laughs> when, when it comes to bloodlust, Sarah, you're not one to talk. Oh, it's all good. We love it. It's fun. Let's go and do five of those. Look at all those seeds. We got our bunny that popped out of the Presta Hattitator. Look at that! And we actually got... Got nine out of five. Not bad. The mole worm saw the hammer and was like, Hell no! <laughs> you don't have enough gold for that, right? <laughs> Any recollection of the event in question? No, of course not. None whatsoever. Alright, we're gonna do that for just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and get dried off. Um, dragon fruit in there. And we'll go ahead and cook just one for now. And then we need to go get more logs. I want to get another row of chests built here before too much longer. Actually, I need to harvest the grass. And then we need to work on getting bundling wrap. If we're going to go down in the caves, having bundling wrap will be extremely helpful. At least the ruins. Uh, we still have a little less than three hours of the stream. Uh, 
what's my quick math say as far as how far we're gonna get? Because it's eight minutes per day. Yeah, we should be able to get into summer. I don't know if we'll finish a full year. But I would like to at least try to make it down into the ancient ruins. Yeah, I would like to get down in there. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to... For, because spring is so short, I'm really gonna want to have the pigs hired right at the break of dawn. <laughs> you get scanned more than having to deal with Bob. Yeah, hang out. Go If you have other ideas for suggestions, by all means. There's a channel in the Discord that I call the Think Tank, where if you have ideas for, you know, other games to play, different ways to play these games, other specific guides, stuff like that, more than welcome. All right, catch you later, Anna Banana Bread. I love that name. There is uh, some neighbors that I had once, and they had these two cute little... One was a Chihuahua, the other one was another one. I can't remember what it's called. But one was named Anna, and the other one was named Banana. So I'd always hear them yelling at Anna and Banana. Kind of funny. Pretty sure their kids named those dogs. All right, let's see here. Stop raining. Perfect. Um, and I want to go play with frogs. Although similar issue with the frogs that they need to be out during the daytime as well. All right, let's drop that and let's go see about... Oh, hey, we got a lure plant. The lure plants are allowed to be killed. They are plants, not animals, and even in DST, they don't have souls. But I'm gonna leave that guy there. He can stay. As long as they don't get one in the middle of my base. Oh, lots of mole worms up here. The land of many mole worms. All right, we are going to observe nature run its course. Might not work. Need more bees. Need more frogs. Was the bee after me? Yeah, and the frogs can go to sleep now. Yeah, getting. I need another hound wave attack. I need to come up here during hounds. I think that's probably gonna be my better bet for actually. Or frog rain. I need a frog rain. That would probably do the trick. All right, we're gonna go back to base. Spam, go spam, 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 any spam. There's no Bonnie Python skit about spam. It's a pretty good time. Pretty good time. Yeah, that guy could be the garbage disposal. Fire is still going. Yeah, does anybody else have ideas about how to really make sure that I get a good amount of chances for bundling wrap? <laughs> no spamming, no spamming. No, Pickle Man, you're fine, you're good. Alright, I am going to go ahead and grab my meat. Hire all the pigs. Oh, those are going to go bad. That's fine. Let's go ahead and plant these for a future harvest. I don't know if we'll last long enough for those to get fully grown. Green Chester. Yes, I should.
So, I mean, basically, a dragon pie ish per day. Because West does have increased hunger, right? He gets hungrier faster in addition to having a lower maximum hunger. Oh, what did Imperio do? Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Catching a bunch of bees and relocating them? Uh, that seems seems a bit dodgy. I mean, being in the vicinity while bees and frogs start to fight each other is one thing. But releasing the bees intentionally so that they'll fight, that's... Mm, yeah, I think that's a bit no. Ooh, not a good harvest. Wow. Nine dragon fruit, and I get to keep one. Bad RNG, and that's why farming is terrible in single player. Right there. I probably should be uh, saving the dragon fruit for summer, though, because I'm going to want the longer shelf life. I should be eating the berries right now, really. Yeah, always risk getting the per crazy birch nut trees. Hey there, food wow. Well, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, we're having a good time. We're doing vegan pacifist west challenge. I probably should have put more time and effort into that thumbnail, but I thought it was funny, and so I just ran with it. <laughs> Bloody looking scary lettering that's pseudo don't starve style. Right, I'll need to get that one bush refertilized, make a couple of fistfuls of jam real quick, then head over to hire the pigs in the morning. Berries. I think these hook pretty fast, don't they? Mm, I'm just gonna get one of those for now. Yeah, they're fast. A little mime action there for it. I need to grab Chester. Up those. That. And let's just go. Alright, come on, Chester, keep up. Yeah, if you're new uh, to the live streams, uh, check out the Discord channel. We've got a dedicated server for Terraria and for Don't Starve Together right now. It's running a pretty harsh... Oh. I want this to go to the... Do we remember where this wormhole went to? I think it went up out that way. Oh, hi, Talbird. Sanity up. Let's drop Chester for a bit. Must run. Run faster. Must run faster. Alright, it's gonna be some war zone. Hounds are about to do their thing in the vicinity of bees. And this will be fun. Although the bees, they do enough damage. I'm not sure how well the hounds are actually gonna do. All right, here we go. May the RNG bless us with. <laughs> wow, they already downed that one. Oh, I took a hit. It's all good. All right, kill those bees first, guys. Come on, kill the bees. Don't hit a different hive yet. 
Let there be good drop rates of bundling wrap blueprints. Gotta extend the life of my hounds. Oh, good, a blue gem. That's necessary. Um, let's eat that. I need to pick up that blue gem. There's enough mole worms in the area. Yeah, we never got a deer clops or a moose goose, unfortunately. <laughs> they triggered another hive. So yeah, hound versus bee. The hounds often do okay-ish. But once there's a lot of bees, they take down the hounds pretty well. Alright. No dice there. No bundling wrap. Today. Oh, really? They're all mad at me now? Alright, let's see if we can find a frog for me to be mad at. <laughs> now the frogs, they do a little bit better against the bees than the uh, hounds do almost. We'll still have a variety of dead animals here. Yeah, that might be it. Well, let's grab... I wanted to have the monster meat with me. So I can use that for hiring pigs. Alright, so we'll hire pigs in the morning. That was fun. That was uh, surprisingly effective. Get one more try, maybe I'll get the bundling wrap recipe. Am I allowed to harvest honey for bees? So honey is an excellent food resource, but we I decided that that would be against the vegan principles of of the vegan pacifist West. So he's not going to eat any animal products. And that includes honey. But normally honey's great. Honey is absolutely a great food source. All right, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Right, I got to do something about my inventory here, though. All right, let's get that fertilized. That back away. That's good that I got another blue gem, though, because I might want to do a chilled amulet with that. And I was going to plant those. Let's make sure Chester's empty for... Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, we can get that red gem out. I kind of want to give the winter hat to a pig. I think I will. Oh, wait. Yeah, we will. I should stop wearing my, uh... uh stop wearing my Tam Enchanter when my sanity is full. Yeah, that was a good, good little action segment there. And I'm going the wrong way. Back this way. I need to chop at least one tree myself. How well do pigs do against uh, poison birch nut trees? I just generally don't use poison birch nut trees much. Are you referring to the honey there, Nervous? That even Wigford agrees that honey is good filler? Very good filler. Works just fine in a lot of recipes. Alright, let's just play. Actually, I can chop down one of these trees. I don't have enough logs for a uh, fire, even. I was fully expecting to. Oh, I did! <laughs> I was about to say that I was fully expecting to get a poison birch nut tree on the first one that I chop, and there it is! That was fun. All right, let's, I think I'll just, mm, yeah, I'll probably just plant a bunch of trees up here. Uh, 
Ah, uh, that'll be fine. All right. The grid up for planting. Umbrella up for staying dry. I get some living logs here even. All right, Chester, are you going to get in the way or are you going to be good? Thank you for your little mime action there, Wes. Very nice. Always fun to see. Oh, yeah, I did have uh, some more burnt trees out here. I thought so. All right, don't need the... Oh, I should have done a... Crap, I should have done a uh, lightning rod out here. I forgot about that. All right, fingers crossed we don't get lightninged on anything that I don't want to get lightninged. I do, I do have an eye staff. So if I'm really quick, then maybe we'll be okay. Oh, frog rain. Oh, man. I didn't want to frog rain on my pigs. All right. Go back to find more bees. Uh, let's see. I think that I will take the wormhole because that one either goes here or up there. I can't remember which one. But either one is preferable to having frogs in my base. I had a feeling that one went up there. So let's just hop in the other one that it goes to the other spot. And maybe put my miner hat back off. All right, so this will be good. I think I'll actually take them up over here. Because then we could have frogs fighting with um, the pig guard, warrior pigs. All right, let there be chaos. Pretty sure I just heard a gobbler. Yeah, there's a gobbler over there. That's fine. He can stay. Uh, do the bees come out when it rains? Yeah, they should. Oh, they killed the gobbler! Look at that! All right, here it goes. Mass hysteria. Chaos. <laughs> this is ridiculous. A lot of frogs. Now, the frogs don't have the AoE attack the way that uh, hounds do, so they won't break the nests at all. I'm not going to be real surprised if this does not result in a blueprint. These frogs are doing some damage. Really? All those frogs, no blueprints. I need more bees. Right. Another fight over here going on. Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of meat that I can't use. I mean, yeah, I could turn it into eggs and give it to the Pig King for gold if I wanted to, but I don't really need much more gold right now. Oh, this is sad. Where's my blueprint? And this is just Wes observing nature. He's not causing any violence here. He's not a participant. Wow! None! None whatever!
I'm sad. I was really... I mean, that worked real well as far as, you know, activities that result in the death of many... I'm sure what those guys were doing. All right, might have to come back up here some other time. Because the frogs will stick around, that's for sure. But unless they replenish their numbers, they'll get taken out. But oh, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> it worked. We got the blueprint. We're going to be making bundling wraps. Um, and I am allowed to bust a beehive. I think that's allowed. I just can't fight the bees themselves. Alright, can't fight the bees. Can bake, break the hive. I thought that would have been broken already. Oh, that's right. Uh, decreased damage courtesy of Wes. Oh no, I hit a bee! Oh, red cap. No, we'll we'll take the hit. We'll take two hits. Alright, there. I have fulfilled my penance for accidentally hitting a bee. Alright, let's get sanity up. Actually, I want to get a second honeycomb. Ooh, that was almost dead right there. I should really put armor when hitting beehives. Those guys replenished fast. Is this one? Get away from my beehive, frog. Sometimes I forget that I have a walking stick and can go fast. Yep, I hit a bee. I, I let him hit me as penance. I hit another bee. Man. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to get the honeycomb. I don't want to take another hit right now, though, because I'm a little bit, a little bit shaky. And I don't have my dragon fruits with me. <laughs> More blueprints. All right, I will get myself some red caps uh, when it's daytime. I'll do my penance with red caps for next one. But yeah, two bees or not two bees. All right, one moment. I got a text message. <gasps> one moment. One moment. I got warm snickerdoodles. I need my snickerdoodles. Gotta eat snickerdoodles when they're fresh and warm. <laughs> How dare you and I call myself a pacifist. You know, I'm gonna call that one of the control limitations. There's such a limited amount of reaction time for something like that. One moment. Mm. Oh, oh, that is fluffy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna pause for a moment and just enjoy a little bit of snickerdoodle here. And it's how finally find his true love that isn't his wife. In the name of Snickerdoodles? Maybe. I remember the first time I remember having Snickerdoodles was for my grandma. And then I drove home with my dad. I made a bag of Snickerdoodles and I probably ate the whole bag. So good. So a Snickerdoodle, I don't know if it'll show up very well. It's a, like a sugar cookie that's a light and fluffy sugar cookie that has cinnamon and sugar on the outside. And they're really yummy. Uh, what is a mukbang channel? I'm not familiar with that term. Alright, let me see. I'm... Oh, now they're hitting Chester. No, leave Chester alone, guys. Alright, I need to dry out. I'm gonna gather up a bunch of 
Really? He is still after Chester? Ah! Alright, I need to put that B in timeout. I'm allowed to use ice staves. That is a non-violent means of controlling aggro. Go and grab some frog legs, get some more stingers. Oh, I forgot to make a lantern. I want the honey. I have no use for honey. Although I could make honey poultices. I'll allow that use. I'm just not going to eat any of it. It's not the ice staff, it's the pacifier, right? Alright, clean up a little bit of the surroundings. Alright, well I feel like that was highly effective. Worked as I had hoped it would for purposes of getting bundling wrap blueprint. And that really was the only walrus camp. Yeah, I have been amazed at how many times I've made a dedicated server world and only had a single walrus camp. Usually I have like four in DST and even in single player use. All right, let's get back to base. Get some bundling wraps and honey poultices going. <laughs> I don't have to need that many red caps. I only hit the one, didn't I? And using the ice staff, that doesn't count. That does not count as violence. We're just putting someone in timeout. Give them a chill pill. <laughs> chill pill ice staff. <laughs> That's a good one. Grab a couple of those. Need to get healed up. Hatched up little Wes here. Yeah, you gotta be careful with bees. You get hit by too many of them at once and you're gonna have a bad day. All right, there is my lure plant. Hopefully Chester doesn't run straight through the lure plant. And one of these days, I swear I am actually going to get the uh, pigs employed. Uh, let's see here. And turn those into eggs. Hopefully I don't accidentally eat one. I'm gonna eat a snickerdoodle while I do that. Blah! I think sometimes the ground around him gets full. And then you can't make him eat anymore. All right, I'll take those to Pig King in a bit. Get the reeds. Oops. All right, let's go and just use this honey bolt. Actually, you know what? I've got the dragon fruits. So let's just those. Hmm. Something for sanity. I don't remember what it was. Probably learn how to make the honey poultice. Oh, I've got ropes in there too. Right, I've got too much junk in my inventory. All right, no more frog grain, please. Good on frog grains for the time being. Oh, this is exciting. Now I can like super batch up all this stuff. Put a ton of fistful of jams into a bundling wrap. All right, so I need to make the wax paper. Then we can make the bundling wrap. Oh, it's exciting. Survivability long term away from home just went up substantially. And I feel good. 
Yep, tra trail mix is in Don't Starve Alone. I don't have any uh, birch nut seeds at the moment, so I can't really make that right now, right now. Um, time for an ice pop. Because it's funny. Alright, I need to get my umbrella back out. I need to get more silk while I'm at it. Where are these going? Eat that, even though it makes me cold. That. Alright, time to do some cooking. I'm gonna eat some more snickerdoodle. No. No, you mean one. one. I still need to find a red cap. I don't have any right now. Can you believe Hutch is superior? 30 minute timeout? What? Catch you later, Katie. Thanks for hanging out. Should probably get more, uh... What am I thinking of? I'm... Uh, go get a bunch more iris in the swamp. That's what I do. More reeds. Alright, got eight. Need one more. Yeah, we're gonna have so much dragon fruit. Then we're gonna head underground. Set. Probably good to really stockpile on... What would be my best vegetarian sanity food other than just green caps and maybe blue caps? Melon sickles, if I propagated a bunch of those, would work. Right, let's go ahead and make a honey poultice just so I know how to make those. Save that honey. I can't do cookies. Cookies require honey. So they are off the menu. Alright, one extra of those seeds. That over here. I'm gonna give that to a pig. Let's keep that on hand. All these up. It's just so weird that you can use three twigs to make the dragon fruit pie. It's got a little bit of a longer cook time, I believe. Oh, thank you, Lepus. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited for what the next year is gonna do. I'm gonna be uh, doing some other types of content. That's why I really want to wrap up the beginner's guide series for like Reign of Giants. The Terraria one, that's gonna take quite a lot longer because there's just so many more topics to cover. Yeah, I don't think salsa fresca is. You don't have toma roots at all, actually. You won't have the salsa fresca. Um, but I'm gonna do some more uh, Don't Starve Together related content. You know, some of the, you know, not necessarily guides specifically, but just kind of more conceptual type things. Um, I really wanna do a RimWorld beginner's guide. I don't know if it'll be like a full-blown series or just like a one-off guide. Let's see how that does. But yeah, I'm curious to see how things go over the next year. Uh, did I have any more light bulbs? I already have those brought one. Right, let's go ahead and goop that on. Those cooked. We still have some time in spring. I'll wait one more day to get the, uh... Whoa, that's not the way to do it. I didn't do that one of the other ones, did I? I would feel real dumb if I had done that. That would not be working as intended. Harvest these. Yeah, banana pops are good down in the caves. I don't think I'll have enough ice, though, to really do that. Because you do need to have the ice.
Nope, as long as you guys stick around. So, I mean, it's kind of funny. There's, um, you know, certain names, as I see them more and more, I start to recognize them more and the more. And, of course, people that are active in the Discord, and that's one really way to, you know, kind of get to know each other and all that. No! Get away. No! Stay away from my berries. No, 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 no. Oh, he's fast. They are fast on the uptake of those berries. All right, that's fine. I got most of them. I'm happy. Now we can have some gobblers wandering around, giving us their gobbler noises. All right, let's batch cook a bunch more of the berries. But yeah, I mean, as long as you're still sticking around, I'll still remember you. When people drop out of sight, then, you know, maybe I won't necessarily remember. Or if it's just a one comment here and there, I may not remember. And grab rot. Place that. Oh, I haven't shown up in chat yet. Oh, thank you, Connor. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It's a little warm and fuzzy inside. Maybe that was the cookies, but no, it's not. It's not just the cookies. <laughs> thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, especially for live streams, actually, the, the super chats and stuff like that really does help to make it more worthwhile for me as the content creator. Um, with edited videos, you know, the, the YouTube ad revenue is is pretty good depending on the video if it's getting a lot of views. But for uh, live streams, unless you've got like a lot of uh, of views, you just you don't get as much revenue from live streams. So the super chats and stuff like that really does help to promote live streams on YouTube. And I guess that Twitch has the bits and stuff like that. There are also subs um, on Twitch. YouTube has the channel memberships that I was working on getting set up. But then the icons that I got made through Fiverr. Really cool looking icons, but scaled down to the resolution they show up in. They just didn't look good at all. So I've got to get those fixed up to be able to use them. But yeah, I'll get channel memberships set up at some point, And then that will unlock a lot of uh, custom emotes that we can use during live streams. Oh, and if people have uh, suggestions for emotes and stuff like that... Um... A five-hour super chat? I don't even know what that means. A five-hour super chat? Whoa! Aw, oh, Crafty Chan, thank you! Well, that one's a super sticker, I think, where it's got the animated emoji thing, right? Although I think YouTube really needs to expand what they've got for their offerings for those. Alright. Go to bed, gobblers. <laughs> Look at him running from all the way up there. <laughs> Popping up into his thing there. Thank you guys, though, so much. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> Connor, you've been outdone. Hey, if you guys want to get a friendly competition going, I'm okay with that. But again, it's one of those things, too, that, you know, if you're not in a position where you're able to do super chats, don't feel bad. I understand that there's lots of people coming from all different parts of the world, different circumstances, young people, old people. If you're able to, great. If you're not able to, perfectly fine. I, you know, it's it's all good. All right, let's go ahead and some of these. Take three of those with. Those are, yeah, I've got time to go ahead and propagate a round of these if they're all going to pop up. Yeah, with the gardening, though, if you're going to do gardening in single player, I recommend doing at least six, if not, you know, eight or nine or even up to 12 crops. Otherwise, you just run too much of a risk of not being able to actually use any of the produce, depending on how many seeds you get from your bird. This nine setup works pretty good, though. And if you want it to be sprinkled in the summertime, you can put a ice fling matic in the middle. See, I think I had one seed still, right? Four. Let's see if we get lucky with four. Did not get lucky. Have to do at least two more. 
All right. Now we have three of the nine that we're able to use. All right, and it's time to go hire pigs. Need to get more logs. Uh, and then we also need to start working on getting ready for summer. Those. Um. Here. All right, Chester, let's go. Time to visit the pigs. Wait a minute, forgot all the meat. Doesn't work so good when you don't take the meat to hire the pigs. Oh, say June, thank you. You guys, all oh, making me all happy inside. Thanks. Oh wait a minute, Chester's got the the meat inside. There's the. Meat. All right, now let's go visit the pigs. Yeah, old farms are only available in single player Don't Starve. The only way to have the old farms in DST is if you had an old one from like an old world that's still there. Then I actually can you even still use them if you have an old farm. I've got a couple of real old worlds that I think have those. Happy to your anniversary. Thank you for your awesome content. Hello from Vancouver. I need to go up to actually I'm going to go up to Vancouver this summer. We're going on a big cruise with my parents and siblings. And that was a special sound there, Cat Coon. And I think that we go by route of Vancouver, so I actually had to go and apply for a passport the other day. My passport expired a long time ago. So yeah, we're gonna be going up to Vancouver shortly. Mm. Ah. That'd have been funny if I'd run up here in the middle of a full moon. Oh, and I forgot to do lightning rod again. For just a moment. One moment. Oh, thank you, Bella. Thank you so much. Uh, what is that? One moment. Checking some text messages. Oh, fun. Son just got invited to a birthday party. He will be excited. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bella. Very much appreciated. This has been my best stream ever for like all the super chats and stuff so that just really does help especially for these real long live streams that put a little bit of added pressure on the wife and kids i'm down here playing a game all day although i'm not gonna lie i kind of like it when i get to just play a game all day because that's what i used to do all the time like back when i was single just veg out play games eat cinnamon toast crunch three meals of the day if not five meals of a day Good times. <laughs> you will not sell your life savings to Salad Dragon, unfortunately. Perfectly understandable, Imperio. That is fine. All right, let's get some daytime. Some umbrella. Hire some pigs. All right, we got those three. We still have more. All right, and we've got Pumpkin, Dumpling, Justinian, <laughs> Barry, and Libius <laughs> all aboard the Super Trat chain. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I won't complain if you guys want to start something like that. All right, let's see. Where's a good density of trees? I think we're going to have to be non... Oh, we're going to have to deal with the frogs, too. I'm going to have to get hit for them to actually help. Maybe the frogs will lose interest as long as they run around enough. I don't want to start a war with the frogs. Because depending on how many frogs there are, that'll be bad for my pig laborers. Although they'll attack the pigs anyways. Yeah, it's war. War is on. Pigs usually do pretty good against the frogs. I suppose I could help them out a bit. Ah, they're doing all right. Aw, oh, nervous! Thank you so much! Insert Leonardo DiCaprio raising his glass from the Great Gatsby. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm gonna, like, start having, like, jaw hurts from the big smiles all the time. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Much appreciated. Alright, come on, pigs. 
We're losing time here. Chop all the trees. Preferably big trees. Gotta work on efficiency here, pigs. Chop, chop. Uh, yeah, we still have all these guys. All right, who should we give the winter hat to? We've got Barry, Pumpkin, Justinian, and... Lubius? Something like that? No, don't go fight the frogs. How many frogs are over here still? Oh, we lost a frog. Frog down. That was probably one that was there from before, from the set piece. Right, I'll just chop the trees myself. It's cool. Yeah, you guys can eat some of the frog legs. That's fine. Ah, so much frog. I was hoping for more logs, but... You couldn't find a sticker? Yeah, they, they really need to expand the sticker options that are in the game. Or in the YouTube. Absolutely. Is there a way to replace Houndius, Shootius, and DST when it is already placed? I don't believe that there is, actually. I think Nervous probably knows the answer to that question. I'm not sure. I've never tried to. But I think once it's down, that it's down. Yeah, that frog rain was actually very useful. Oh, mmm, we've got hounds. Oh, thank you, Asteria. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Uh, I was using the wrong shovel. Let's put that one there so I actually use the right shovel. Um, I feel bad. Do I stay here? Even if I use a wormhole, do I go up into the swamp? <laughs> is that what that is, the lemon? <laughs> no, is it? I have no idea what conversion rates are, so I have no idea. If it's not US dollars, I have no idea what the actual amount is. But you know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's all cool. It's all good. Yeah, I don't think the pigs will follow me up here right now. I can't remember if those guys are going to fight Chester or not, though, so let's double back a little bit. Make sure Chester is not on top of certain death. And here's the hounds. Let's get the hounds over to these guys. Oh, there's a merm or a tentacle down. Trying to get the merms and the hounds fighting, but so far, a lot of stuff just fighting me. Do you not freeze these guys? Do the frost hounds not freeze? Huh, interesting. I don't know if I've ever tried that before. Alright, I'm hoping to have them lose interest in me at some point here. Alright, I think I'm good. It's fighting with the uh, mosquito now. Alright, let's go back, grab Chester. I'm trying to remember if the frost hounds end up freezing themselves, like if you have a bunch of frost hounds and some of them die, and I don't recall. All the other hounds get frozen, I know that. Can't remember. Alright, uh, Pig King. Does he fall asleep in single player? I don't remember. Alright, we're rubbing the Pig King's belly with eggs and getting the golden shower. 
Yeah, I remember when I said that in a Wagstaff episode. <laughs> and then he like crashes out from eating all the eggs. That was good timing, Big King. Well played. Alright, I don't know where my hired pigs went. I was gonna give one the winter hat, but I'm sure where they are now. <laughs> There's a combo to be a super chatter. <laughs> if only. That'd be fun if there were. Actually, that'd probably be a pretty good idea on YouTube's part. If there were other ways to have the super chats and stuff. I don't know, maybe not. Alright, let's go ahead and plant these. Alright, I need to go find the rest of the... Um, trees that were harvested. I can't remember exactly what route we went. Was it mostly around in this area? We got... Oh no, it was that one. That was the one where they were all getting ganked by frogs. Alright, um... Yeah, I need to find the rest of my trees that were harvested. Should be up around here. I totally don't remember exactly where we were chopping them. So that's where they started fighting the frogs, I thought? Oh, thank you, Mariel! You guys are the best. There you go. There's some more logs. Came here for. <laughs> Got catcoon noises. Another mystery currency for you. Indeed it is. I don't even know. S-E-K? I don't even know what that stands for. What is that? Alright, can we do another round of pigs? Oh, let's do another round of pigs! All right, we're just gonna go with these four. We have Dumpling again, Justinian, Libus, and Barry! It's the same guys! I'm gonna go for Barry. Barry gets the hat because, although Dumpling's pretty, hang on. I think that's pull worthy. Wait, where'd it go? Disappeared. Ah, what happened there? Oh. I accidentally hit a wrong key? Bugged out on me. This? Link? Three? And... Justinian. <laughs> Pull complete. Somebody actually voted on that. Swedish Cromer crowns. Swedish crowns. Oh, cool. That's what the S E K is. The Swedish crowns. Neat. Awesome. All right, we got to do this fast because we only have the half the day with the pigs at our service. I still don't want to do those trees, so... Drop this one. I guess these two. Three or four. Fine guys, get to work. Dumpling is winning so far. He's a good little dumpling. Barry's in second place. Justinian got a vote into third. I'm gonna live stream the results on that. <laughs> for Smelly. Yeah, Smelly was of a different day. Did we have a Smelly today? I can't remember what the fifth guy was called. Did we have a pumpkin? A minute ago? The original hired pigs? Oh, I thought we got a poison there for a second, but no, it was just downgrading itself. Oh, there's the poison! Alright, sorry guys. Can't help you now. We stay far enough away. 
Will I be able to preserve my pigs? <laughs> They're so ridiculous. Oh, no! <laughs> Are they gonna fight it? I don't know if they are. Welcome back, Katie! That's ridiculous. The poison birch in that tree is definitely one of the more absurd things in the entirety of the Don't Starve universe. Will they actually fight the tree itself, though? I don't know. They do! Wow, they took it down fast! Oh man, that changes my opinion about uh, doing birch nut trees. Because they did way better against that thing than they do against um, the others. The regular uh, tree guards. Alright, so let's see here. Protect, dump <laughs> Protect dumpling at all cost. Oh, he ate it. All right, um, let's keep going. We we still have our laborers for part of the day. Got my living logs. How many living logs did I need for the uh, shadow manipulator? I don't remember. Never remember that full recipe. I got more trees over here, guys. Oh, we got big trees. Nope. It turned to night. All right. Um, let's use a light and we're going to go ahead and call it for dumpling. Dumpling wins the... Wait, which one's dumpling? Fairy, Justinian, and dumpling gets the winter hat. Yay, dumpling! Oh, I should go get my winter hat. I have the winter hat. I got that a couple years ago. It's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to the day when I'm wearing the winter hat in public and somebody recognizes it. I'm also looking forward to the day that I'm out in public or something and someone recognizes me from like live streams and stuff. And I hope to get a selfie with whoever that is. Um, let's take these guys back up by their house. Be a nice caretaker of the pig friends. Dumpling, come on, don't stop to eat a seed. Billy Dumpling. No light dark, I'm aware. All right, we're gonna make a campfire for you, you guys. We'll leave you there. I'll go get the rest of my logs. And yeah, that was great. It feels a little bit morbid to like give them a football helmet because then they're like wearing their own butts on their heads, which is just not right. So I think giving them the winter hat though, that was a good, a good gesture. And now before I head home, I really do want to get myself another batch of silk. I'm running low on spider nests in this. Probably go up to one of the far end ones. All right, let's go ahead and ditch those. Pinnacle's getting a little bit low too. All right, let's go see if I can get myself some more silk. I really want to get myself a sewing kit so I can top up my uh, hat. I don't need that. Oh, another blue gem. I missed that before. Oh, no, that's from the hounds more recently. Um, I think it does degrade on them, Sarah. I'm pretty sure the worn items like that, the degrade as being worn, do continue to degrade. But that's why things like the uh, football helmets and uh, beekeepers hats work, um, you know, for bunnies and pigmen, because then you can still use those. All right, Merm, I really don't need you causing trouble for me at the moment. All right, that one's open. Really? Tentacle Spike broke. I gotta break it. It's gonna turn into a spider queen if I don't. Oh, did I hit that mosquito? I think I did. Alright, I must do penance once again. I hit a mosquito. Stupid mosquito. 
All right, new tentacle spike. Wow, did those guys all get cleared out? I think they did. Oh, another spot. Not that I need the raincoat, though. I've done fine without it. Hey, can you get a bush hat so you can hide from your problems? That'd be a good uh, Halloween costume. I think that'd be hilarious. All right, we are good on silk. I might go ahead and plant. Ah, so many. I might go ahead and plant some more spider dens somewhere else. They do come in handy for spring and winter hound attacks. They're no good for summer hound attacks because they will burn. Um, but I might want to replant some of these back up here somewhere. They're a little bit more accessible. Maybe that worm. I don't know. Maybe not. All right, that's that's a lot more silk, though. Ooh, tentacles are not having a good day out here. I need to get home, though. And then I think it's time to start prepping for going underground. Oh, we got a spammer. It's been a while since we had a spammer. Hey, spammer, welcome to the stream. Uh, that was unfortunate. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that was, that was close. About had a run in with Charlie there. No, that's not the second spam. We've had a lot more over the course of the whole stream. All right, well, I've got an extra torch until such time as I'm able to reclaim my Chester. Then we got to get home, get some food. Do some more rounds of... All right, you guys can just eat that. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go plant these closer to base. Um, just in case I want to make more charcoal. Uh, can't stack anything else. Oh, that's not frog raining, is it? Are those just frogs? No, oh, it is frog raining! Rat! Alright, where's that wormhole again? Not what I wanted. Christy O'Neill, welcome to the live stream! So, uh, we were having a conversation earlier about me remembering some names, you know, just based on frequency of posts and regularity. Christy's one of those names that I recognize. I've seen you posting on uh, Reddit, or not Reddit, on, um, I just got hit by lightning. Oh, this is bad timing. Alright, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to hop in this one. And then we're going to let the frogs have fun with the pig guards so I can grab their berries. Because <laughs> why not? And here I am wearing my dead miner hat still. Can't eat the honey. It's off limits. Alright, I'm gonna drop that for the moment. And put that on for the moment. Go fight the frogs, guys! Seriously! Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more... Why those guys are still chasing me and not the frogs. <laughs> now we got a gobbler in the mix. Alright, you guys go away. Like, no, seriously, go away. I'm done. Alright, so now they go back for the gobblers and frogs. Uh, that was just to tide me over so I can hopefully wait long enough for the frog rain to end. Okay, that was fun. 
How, how was that for thinking on my feet, getting over to a uh, source of food there? I thought that was pretty good. All right, let's get home. Yeah, I'll just run away. I haven't noticed my spider gland mistake. What spider gland mistake? What spider gland mistake? I I used a spider gland. That was intentional. I, I think I decided that that would be allowed. It's not being eaten. I still need two red caps. Well, I'm not eating it. It's just it's a natural substance that has medicinal properties. Yeah, no, I think spider gland should be allowed. I don't really need that guano. I still can't believe that I haven't set up a uh, curves in my base yet. Yeah, no, it's he's not allowed to eat food, but he's allowed to use other stuff for other non-food purposes. That's how I decided to parse it quite some time ago. All right, we have plenty of golds. We need to do some serious inventory emptying. I'm gonna plant these out here. Uh, let's drop chip off. Uh, maybe not up by the graveyard though. Let's put them on this. Oh, look, I can get my sanity back up. Get some flowers out of the way. All right, peace. Almost going bowling for birch nuts. A <laughs> poop rub hormone is an uncomfortable mental image. Yeah, I could understand that. Alright, I'm going to eat one of those. I'm going to cook those up just for some sanity. Might as well. Use them while I can. I really probably should stockpile green caps, but we're a little bit in low supply. All right, let's get a little bit more storage made. And actually, I'm not sure how much I'm going to worry about the storage. Because we're running out of time for this here stream. We've got an hour and a half. Let's see if we can make it all the way down to an ancient pseudoscience station in the next hour and a half. Um, so we're going to prototype stuff that we'll want down there. We're going to need another crock pot. Probably an ice box down there. Although I might not need either of those because we'll do it the bundling wrap method. So yeah, don't necessarily need those. So let's go ahead and make some boards. What's happened so far? Oh, all sorts of stuff has happened. We had a couple of near deaths throughout the stream. Good times. Nothing that we weren't able to recover from. Um, actually, let's go place that down here. I'm just being a little bit cluttered with the tools on the ground. And let's one more. I do owe penance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I did smack the mosquito earlier. That was completely accidental, but it does happen on occasion. Are you serious? It's going to make noise in the chest? Not supposed to do that. Why is it doing that? Is it the guano? Oh my gosh, yeah, no, that's 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 a no-go. Yeah, guano is making fly sounds. We can't allow that. <laughs> and Mr. Ugwe said there are no accidents. What's Mr. Ugwe? Oh well. Yeah, I guess that's true too. So how many red caps am I supposed to go eat? Go take a trip over to the uh, red cap patch. Right, let's put those 
there. Feed the bird those. All right, I'll go run over to the red caps here in just a minute. Is it three then? One for the mosquito, one for... I think I hit something else at one point. Was it a spider that I hit? Did I ever do penance for the bees? Remember. I'm gonna need at least two more. Oh! Good haul of seeds right there. Thank you, bird. Now, do these still need to get refertilized at some point? I think they do. Yeah, well, I haven't actually killed anything, but I have hit a few things. <clears throat> actually, killing something, that would be fairly unforgivable. And we managed to get that mole worm without even bonking him on the head, which is pretty amazing. Still not sure how that happened. Oops. Look. Do I have a... No, I do not. Let's go ahead and get a fire pit crafted. Let's see what my shadow manipulator options are. Oh, I need a third living log. Um, I could chop down a totally normal tree. That would be allowed. Those are not considered alive. I'm not sure how much more cooking we'd be able to get done here. I really do want to get underground sooner rather than later. Oh, was that all? I think that was all. Alright, no harvesting the berries during the daytime. That just causes problems. I haven't even used that bush hat. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, we need to make the teleportado! I never grabbed the crank thing, though. Let's go up there, because I do want to get the... Um... Purple gems. Up there. Chest in backup. Look at all that. Actually, no, we're gonna put those in the bottom chest. <clears throat> yeah, if it's not considered living, I can I can attack it. So, oh wait, that's right. I want to make the uh, going kit. See, like, hound's teeth, that is considered an animal product, but I can use those to fix things. Alright, that's good. Um, I need any of those with me at the moment. All in there. Alright, I'm gonna start keeping this stuff bundled. Uh, inventory always full. And now that the gobblers are asleep, I'm gonna harvest the berries again. Do another round of the fistful of jam. I missed that question earlier. Oh, I was just asking about what is it about West that makes him so difficult. Yeah, decreased stats, increased hunger, decreased stats across the board. And then doing Wes as a vegan pacifist just makes it even more difficult. Although kind of hard to say, I mean... With things like count attacks, other than the initial ones, you probably wouldn't want to fight him as Wes anyways. So I'm not doing that part very different. I do lose out on, you know, the different meat recipes for sure. This berry patch though has done some work for me. Winter ended up being not as bad as I thought it would be. I think we made it through winter pretty good. The first fall was when I struggled the most with maintaining hunger the whole time. Um, How many shadow fuel is it for the manipulator? Seven? No, I don't. I'll need to go crazy if I want to do the shadow manipulator, but I'm debating whether I even want to bother with it. I'm going to be heading underground here pretty soon. 
Alright, there's something else I was thinking about going and getting, and now I can't remember what it was. Um, did I want to go find a totally normal tree somewhere? Did they show up on the map? Or if I saw it. This world does not have a lot of areas, does it? We had Maxwell's door. I am not seeing any totally normal. It's like the only forest. This is this is a weird world, Jen. Lunar mushroom gnomes are just way better. Oh, hang on. They seem to taste water. All right, I'm gonna do a super fast AFK. Um, we'll have a special guest with chair while I go away, but I don't know where my water bottle is, so I can forget that. All right, gotta put the backrest down so things will stand there. I'll be right back. Water time! Oh, stay there, Glomer. Alright, grab me. Good job, Glamour. Chester back up. <laughs> the water on the chair, right? Uh, wait, you're not calling Glamour sus, are you? Glamour has eyes on all of us. Indeed, the eyes of Glomer are upon us. And it's falling down weird. Okay. Alright, let's see here. I have a little bit of ground unexplored there. That's okay, I'm gonna let that go. Um living log. So yeah, I don't I don't see any other living log. Not gonna be up there. My only other source of living logs is tree guards. It's 
Do they show up on the map in single player? I can't. Seems like they do. I'm definitely not seeing any up there. I'm, I'm sal sus. <laughs> I'm sus for not exploring that little bit of a map, right? Black spot on the map is. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. Oh, I gotta go get my red caps too. Um. I need to get more light bulbs. Yeah, let's complete that first, though. I know, I heard the tummy rumble. I will just eat these. Yeah, the pistol of gem has actually worked surprisingly well for this run. Go and use up the rest of the ice. Not planning on using that for any sort of sanity purposes. <laughs> you don't think I'm Salandrak? <laughs> for evidence. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. It's fine. Alright, those should be good out there. Just are sufficiently emptied. Oh, that's right. I was going to go take those to the tall potato and get the... Um, I think the crank thing is still at that one, so I'll need to go there and red caps. I'll probably find some red caps in the forest. There's that little spot there, and then the next day, go up that way, and if I need to, I'll get the red caps up there, and then for real, we gotta work on getting underground. Because it is almost hot time. Although I may need... We'll have the uh, chilled amulet. One or two of those. I might need to go get a floral shirt too. I think that might be handy. Uh... Yeah, I'll probably want to do a floral shirt right at the beginning of summer and then head underground. So let's actually wait on the circle thing. Chester, you can just stay here for now. Alright, let's go and explore that patch that I missed. Get my red caps, do my penance. You good, vegan Wes. Thank you for rain. What I wanted. A Susslin drag. <laughs> After the narwhal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Narwhal incident. I don't know what you're talking about. We haven't had any incidents with narwhals. Clearly don't know what you're talking about. Just like I never said that Plantera is a pushover. Um... I never said that there's a Sharknado. Clearly, I never said anything like that. That just doesn't make any sense. Alright, I think it's this way. Pop up my grasses and route. Yeah, it's it's been known to happen. Maybe uh, when I start playing Lost Ark, I should name one of my characters Susslindrak instead of Salandrak. That'd be fun. Oh, look, we found a beefalo. We got Sus Beefalo in the hidden patch. Not much. All right. Head back for red caps. Please, no more frog rain. I think I'm done with frog rains. Yeah, there is never a Sharknado. Never ever a Sharknado in Shipwrecked. No reference to Sharknado. We all might have a potato? Mm, I like potatoes. That's another one we want to grow in the garden. We want to grow potatoes in our garden this year. We actually... So our, our house is situated on an odd shaped lot. We're kind of on a corner lot. So we have like the wraparound front yard. And we want to do a lot more garden, but there's also a lot of deer in the area. So if it's not behind our fence, then the deer would just eat whatever's in the garden. But we did contact the city about relocating a 
decent part of our fence and yeah we can actually move it up closer to the corner without it impeding visibility of traffic or anything so we are excited about the possibilities that brings for our garden prospects and grow potatoes and all sorts of other stuff what <laughs> the jury finds the defendant sauce <laughs> All right, where are they? There they are. All right, I have to eat three of them? Is that what we decided? That's a heavy rain. Talking voice that makes Terraria guides, right? Now have our little homeless spiders. They're so cute when they sleep with their little, little fangy fangs. They're adorable. Oops, wrong button. All right, three red caps. Is that what we decided? Here we go. One. Two, three. Ouch. It hurts. Yeah, we haven't had a single giant this whole game. And I don't want to, to wait around for Dragonfly, because Dragonfly would just be no fun to deal with. Not as the, uh... Although I could probably just freeze the Dragonfly and then run away. Yeah, it's called Reign of Giants, but unfortunately it's only a 66.66% chance, allegedly, to actually get any of the giants. Alright, we have done our penance. Once we're down in the caves, we'll be much better off. I'll probably need to have rock lobsters on hand, because if I get a worm attack down in the ruins level... Although even those, if you... I'm gonna die now because I hate those red caps and I'm gonna get killed by lightning. How would that be for a sad end? The vegan pacifist west run. Alright, did I have a little bit of extra birch nut seeds? Around a dragon fruit. I don't have any berries right now for birch nut. Oh, no, I do have some berries. And we have a birch nut. Two, one. Oh, it's not cooked. Does Glover normally sleep during dusk? Is he sleeping? Wait. Cook. And crock pot. There we go. All right, we'll keep those uh, red caps on hand for future penance if needed. The Rook of Giants. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain. Feels like I live back in Oregon again. All right, we're going to go assemble the teleportado. And I think we're just going to end up heading underground without having made a shadow manipulator. Making a nightlight is pretty handy down there because you get so much nightmare fuel. It would be pretty neat. Um, Actually, I might want to go grab some more tentacle spikes because I'm going to need those for dealing with shadow creatures down in the ruins level. This will be our first time that we're able to do combat. Oh, oh, we've got a spammer again already. Sister 19 LOL. Wow, that's that's quite the URL. Please don't click on that, anybody. No good will come of that. <laughs> you never collected this many berry bushes your entire time playing Don't Starve. Yeah, that's more berry bushes than I typically will ever bother with. That ended up being, was it three stacks that I did? I was only planning on doing two stacks, then I ended up with three. Lost track of the count of how many I had. Alright, we have one extra. I'm gonna go ahead and cook those and use that for healing. We've still got. That's not giving me the uh, easy encounter. And dare you to spoil a powder cake? Someone calculated once how much time it would actually take, how much in-game time it would take, 
and it was just an absurd amount of time. But then I think someone also, unless they somehow did it with a the mod, they actually did uh, defeat Maxwell on the Shadow Throne, which you can only hit him once. It does one damage and then it destroys the weapon. So you'd have to like use free crafting to craft enough weapons to then actually do that. And it's just like this absurd number. All right, let's go ahead and put that up. Wait, I had an extra torch on hand? Oh, I did. I didn't even realize that. Right, that's more than I need. Oh yeah, we got plenty. All right, let's go and eat one of those. And health is restored. All right, let's go get that last thing and then make the teleportado. All right, we'll wait. Warning. Water. <clears throat> Play WX78, punch Maxwell to death. Uh, yeah, because then you just have the lightning healing you all the time. That would definitely work. All right, off we go. Uh, doesn't matter if Chester keeps up right now because I'm going to go back the other way. Hi, right, Dullbird. It's passing through. Nothing to see here. Mole worms, got the catcoons. Stopped raining for once. And yeah, this is the last day of spring. Although the calendar counter here, sometimes when it says one day left, the next day will be the next season, but sometimes it uh, goes to zero days left before you actually get the next season. I could pick a bunch of nightmare flowers to go crazy. But I'm still low on the living logs. I haven't done much with chopping down trees. What was... Oh, yeah, you would get shadow creatures from going crazy. Alright. This up this way. Like a Chester now, though. Come on, buddy. Do it. No, I'm just going to grab the things from him. Might need to use the tentacle spike. I think there's still some clockworks up there. Get up over this way. Yeah, I think that if you were doing that... Oh no, fully upgraded... Um... WX maybe would be able to just heal through everything. Really? That guy saw me out there? Alright, I don't think they aggro on Chester. Alright, let's go get the bishop. All right, here we go. Combat that we can actually do because they're not alive. <laughs> and I didn't kill him. I, I didn't kill the not living thing. It was probably the rook that did that. Getting one. Oh, it's probably my backpack. Well, we got cats and frogs. There it is. Right, let's go slap that on there. There, we have assembled our teleportado. Very exciting. All right, I feel no need to even deal with those clockworks. Let's just move on. <clears throat> it is a tree guard, but I can't kill it. 
I'm not allowed to, so unless... Unless the Rook manages to take it out, I can't fight a tree guard. That would be violence. I can't do it. Oh, I hit Chester. Did it even hit the tree guard? The tree guard... Yeah. So the tree guard's mad at him now. I think the trigger is going to beat the Rook, though. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, I can't just kill the trigger. That's not allowed. You just got Weber and Reign of Giants. Good job. Yeah, that's one of those. It's usually not too hard to get him. It's just RNG with the killing spiders, whether or not. Rain again? Really? The worst. Stop with the rain. I don't know if it's going to be immediately summer or not, but I'm going to just hang out here because that's enough flowers to uh, make a floral shirt. Although I don't have enough papyrus. I need papyrus too. Bummer. All right. Well, we'll do that and then we'll run all the way up over there. I should probably get some of my... I want to just go... Let's just go get the py Pyrus right now, because I'll probably need to get my chilled thermal stones going. Definitely not going to be making a... Wait, which way is... Base. Not going to be making a nice Chester this run. I <laughs> got a jump scare when you did that when you first got Weber. Yeah, I think I've died from those spiders before. I, I I forget that it spawns the spiders when you do that sometimes, so... I think when I started making guys, I didn't have any armor or stuff. I just found it and I dropped it in the grave and then had a ton of spiders on me. Good times. Yeah, we're coming up on nine hours here, so I do want to get down into the caves for the last hour. Really? Is this guy going to follow me like the whole way? Oh my gosh. I've got a pet merm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pet merm. We gotta do something about this guy. I don't want to ice stop him, but I might have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't have enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> One hit from the tall bird. But I mean, he was chasing me. What else was I supposed to do? Blow some balloons for him? I probably could have blown some balloons for him. No, he would have stayed aggroed on me. All right, let's get dried off. Ooh, we do another round of... Uh, Berries. All right, let's eat that. Let's. <laughs> it never gets old. All right, let's harvest these real quick. One hit Glomer. You hit Glomer, Katie. No. <laughs> Yes, Sarah, that, that is true. I'm still me. I mean, I'm playing a pacifist, but I'm still me here. <laughs> We're still having fun. You know, I'm gonna... I need a garden gnome in my garden. There. I have a garden gnome in my garden. Feel good about that. Um, probably shouldn't start cooking with these until I propagate. Let's see how lucky we get with forks. I did have one in the ice box. Oh, let's get the uh, thermal stones chilled. Oh wow, that was a bad round of of seed propagation. 
Oh, there we go, we got the nine now. And it is summer! And it's raining. Alright, we're gonna head underground here momentarily. Oh, I'm gonna need another um, alchemy engine. I don't... Thinking briefly. So I'm gonna need to get a uh, lantern still, because I never did that earlier. I think I might run down there and, and get that real fast, actually. Get the light bulbs. We have a few days before it gets too hot for us on the surface here. Make one more. Whoops, that doesn't make it. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab light bulbs, refill my miner hat, and get enough for a lantern. And then we'll come back up. And then go get our floral shirt, make the chilled amulet. Oh, I should probably make a uh, endothermic fire pit too. That might be a good idea. Yeah, that's a good dog. You have to use torches to do it, but... Oh well. I'm tempted to go ahead and actually hire the rock lobsters. Although they should aggro. Do I not have a log suit anymore? I don't have a log suit. I think the lobsters... They're, they're not naturally aggressive towards... the worms, but the worms will drop aggro from me eventually and attack the rock lobsters. Or they'll just attack the rock lobsters right away. That's... that's also good. Oh, and apparently I don't need to worry about... The miner hat necessarily, or use torches because I can just use the marbles. Forgot about that. All right, we got one going defensive mode. Just the one worm? Wow. Oh no, there's another one. All right, I'm just gonna leave that one up there. All right, let's go get light bulbs. Oh, that's right. I could have used the bush hat, but. No, that worked out. That worked fine. All right, detour over here. Have an earthquake. Oh, that's right. There was a worm right there. Ah, oh, so much easier to see the shadows with moggles than it is with the infroggles with Wagstaff. Quite the significant difference. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. I just want some triple flowers. All right, fill that up. Oh, that's another one. Ooh, he did kill the, uh... Flirtle or Snurtle or whichever one that was. Go back through this way and get a few more. Because I think you only need two light bulbs for a miner hat, right? Haha, <laughs> he punched the lights out of him. That's a good one. <laughs> lights out for that guy. More triple flowers. Yeah, there's another... Whatever. I have a nice little initial stockpile for when I come back. Don't prefer to use the miner hat except for areas where I do specifically want to have the added visibility. And those guys can just have their fun. Hey, red gem, I'll grab it. I'll need to remember to bring some gold down. That way, if I do get um, 
blue gems that I can make extra chilled amulets as needed. But we gotta get some work done real fast. Get some stuff prototyped up on the surface before we head back down. I'm in limbo right now. No, that that's fine, Imperio. That was that was pretty fun earlier, but I don't expect that to be like a constant sort of a thing. <laughs> Yep, definitely a fatal mistake for the worm. Attacking rock lobsters is a fatal uh, mistake for most things. Ugh, wish I could just warp home to base Wanda right now. Alright. That back up. Not hot enough yet to overheat. Oh, full moon tonight, though. And I needed to go by route of where all the pigs are. Could be a little bit dicey. Alright, let's put that in there. Let's drop those. Don't have a lot of niter. I'm gonna need to make some more doodads. The... How many is it? Four electrical doodads? No, just two, but you need four stone. I might be low being able to do that. Yeah, I don't have enough stone. Need more stone for that. Alright, well, let's see if we can get one made. Did not pick up enough gold. Alright, so let's see, where's the pickaxe? My nearest virus and make a log suit while I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Break out. Yeah, I've been going for a while now. We're we're in the last hour now of the stream. And I want to head underground and see if I can't make my way to the uh, ancient pseudoscience station. I got a green gem like early on. I'll make sure I have a chance to use it for something. All right, let's grab those. And actually, I do want to have an ice box down. I keep dropping too much stuff. Too much stuff in inventory. I'm to figure out how I want to do here. Oh, and I'm all out of gold now too. All right, we'll come back for those in a minute. All right. Put some stuff away in Chester. I'm gonna rely on... Oh, it might get too hot today. It's not gonna be so hot that it's gonna cause wildfires, but it might get hot enough that... Oh, I already passed. Um, how many papyrus is the floral shirt? Or is it just reeds? Hang on, I gotta look that up real quick. I don't want to get it wrong. Floral. I just want to have that option. So it takes three... Oh, and spider silk? Hmm. You know, I'm not going to bother with the floral shirt. We're going to be underground. We'll have an umbrella. Maybe I'll put on a straw hat. That'll give us natural insulation down in the caves. And we'll just go down and see how long we last. Get the summer music. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use a ma shadow manipulator because I don't, I can't fight the tree guards. So the only way to get more living logs right now would be to hire the pigs to chop trees and hope to get another one. Weird. Controls weren't working for a second there. Alright, I needed... Yeah, I'll go ahead and get this other gold. So I might need more, though, for the, um, chilled amulet. Seventy-four degrees already, wow. I think it has to be up above 80 or so to actually cause stuff to burn. Okay, one, two... Three, four... One more... Grab the gear, make the ice box, which would be primarily for. Right, where to put the doodads? That was in Chester. Oh, I did have more gold. Forgot about those. Grab these real quick. How come I didn't make a separate summer base? Because I wasn't planning on staying up here in the summer. Press for time doing other things and just didn't want to be surface summer basing. Rochester. Let's put those in there. Won't be using that in caves. Don't have very much. Oh, there's the niter. Okay, we're good on niter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and still make sure that there's needs for when I come back. Mm, don't know that we'll actually make it back. I'm not going to make it through all of summer. Summer will last too long. Uh, but we'll be in the caves for the rest of the stream. Alright, so those are just going to wait in here. Go ahead and cook these last dragon fruit pies up. Grab those. That one. I did grab the other bundling wrap. Let's grab those. Grab the pig skins. Pop up my grass real quick. Although, did I have some in the chest? I'm like trying to think real fast here, so I'm not going to be reading chat here for a minute because I got to get down to the caves before it really starts getting too hot. You killed Glomer? How did you do good? How did you kill Glomer? No! Second extension on your mobile data? Are you using up all your mobile data watching the stream? Oh my goodness. Hopefully that doesn't get as pricey as it used to when I went over data a couple times, because man, that hurt. Alright, let's... Don't need those. I will need a pickaxe. Alright, let's go ahead and... Wrap those up, just to get some stuff out of my... Oops. Oh, here's... Rat. Bad timing. That's bad timing. Did not want them right now. Alright. Run up and around over here. See if we can't make it to the beefalo. Sorry, beefalo. Alright. 
Gotta get myself underground here. The next day is danger zone for... Oh, look, it's full moon. That's handy. Yeah, the next day is probably gonna be dangerous for wildfires. Run, Boris, run! Yeah, I can get tons of nightmare fuel in the ruins by staying sane. Just wait for the nightmare cycles to end. Alright, where's the cows? Where's the beef? Cows are sleeping. Oh, look, there's baby beefaloes! They have a different snore, which is cute. Alright, that's how you get rid of hounds. I'm just worried about there being some stragglers that were back behind still. Uh, wrong way. Alright, let's get down. Make it to the caves! Get to the chopper! like that. Although maybe my local lure plant will catch fire first. Won't be a problem. All right, I gotta get my chilled amulet made. I've been trying to put these into my bundling wrap for a while now. All right, let's put... save some inventory space and grab Gold from Chester again. And build amulet. Alright, we'll just make the one and we're running straight down to the caves now because it's about to get hot up here. Wish Wes had his DST skins and a dapper top hat. Yeah, that'd be fun if we had the DST skins here. Like Lure Plant got itself. Wait a minute. I needed the other. Thermal stone. Definitely want to have the two of them for cycling back and forth once we get down to ruins level. Alright, let's go! Come on, Chester! We got a boogie! About to get hot up here! Still haven't tested DST out yet? Yeah, go ahead and give it a try! Um, I wouldn't recommend joining our dedicated server right now because it's a little bit harsh if you're new to it. But uh, pretty soon, uh, I'm not sure how much longer we'll leave that one up, but we'll switch it back to a, a regular server, and that might be a good way to hang out with other people, play DST, a friendly environment. All right, we're back in the caves. That was fun. Um, probably should have brought like a ton of extra logs, but you can always get more logs down here, so that's fine. We've only got the two bundling wraps, a little bit of food right now to start with. Yeah, no, this is fine. Oh, I never made the lamp. Never made the lantern. I bet we'll be able to do fine without it. All right, we'll make do with what we got. That's that's what we're doing, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's go see if we can find the ruins. <laughs> is a little harsh, like dead. Y yeah, yeah, it, it causes a lot of deaths. I haven't had time to play on it lately, ever since the first day that we started it, but it, it it's it's a rough rough game mode, the uh, uncompromising mode. Definitely on the rough side of things. It does not go gentle. The first the first fall was fine. And then after that it just like like nose dives, plane on fire, death and dismemberment, chaos all around. Good times. I mean that all in the best way possible. I'm still debating whether I want to go ahead and, and uh, chop down a bunch of trees and get myself an alchemy engine down here. Certainly could. Could also just burn down some trees, get myself a crockpot. Although I've got enough food now stockpiled, I don't think I'm going to need a crockpot. You stay asleep, bat. Need none of your kind.
All right, so now we just get to run around and explore. No, I meant didn't make the uh, the lantern. That's what I meant. Got my lantern. That's okay. Ah, oh, more rock lobsters over here. I just heard them clink around. All right, we're exploring. Hey, rock lobsters? I I might need to use their assistance if the sinkhole down to the ancient ruins is totally surrounded by an infestation of rock spiders, the, the cave spiders. I I might not have much choice other than to use rock lobsters. I don't feel too bad using rock lobsters because they don't get hurt. Um, whereas if I hire bunnies and pigs, then yeah, some of the bunnies and pigs very well could die. But with the rock lobsters, at least I can have the confidence that they'll survive just fine. Because they regenerate so fast. And <laughs> the lamp turn, right? Even looking into my inventory to try and find where my armor is just in case something falls on me is like a little bit nerve wracking there. I don't need marble, never learned how to do it. We'll grab more of that, though. It's him. No, thank you. Running past him. Yeah, we have 40 minutes left here today, folks. For those of you that have stayed up this whole time, you all are crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at you, nervous, and... Yeah, if Sarah's still there, Hysteria, you guys are nuts. <laughs> but thank you very much. I've, I've really appreciated you guys on the dedicated server, um, in the live streams, just being a cool crowd to hang out with. You got some good people. That's awesome. All right, Light Flower Swamp. That's <laughs> not even 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, a lot of them are in Europe. We got people from all over the world. It's uh, just 520 for me. I'm in mountain time zone. Oh, oh, here we go. Although I didn't see the blue area. So this very well might not be where the sinkhole is. All right, let's take a little... Oh, I don't have the ins... Oh, wait, no, do I? It says inspect. Is it only in the... console? Did I have an inspect thing for these? But it's not... Oh, maybe it's because he can't talk. He won't tell me what's in it. <laughs> I think that's what's going on there. Um, let's go ahead and use the other one. I don't remember which is which. Try that one. Alright, let's go ahead and free bundle. Let's go ahead and just use the fistful jam right now. Back in. Alright, there. Alright, oh, there's our first. Might have Bob and Steve over there. Nightmare Fishers. Chester, you're probably gonna get yourself into trouble here somehow. Did he make it through there? No, he did not. Oh, he did! Right, it took him a while, but he. Yeah, no reading sign, bundles, etc. I didn't even think about with the uh, inspect bundle type. Right, we're going to do our best to avoid having the spiders come out. As long as we don't step on the webs, they don't come out very often. So this is looking like it's not going to have the same wall because I need to find blue mushroom. You go around this way, Chester. Once you get into trouble with the spiders. Oh, 
are we doing temperature wise? Looking pretty good. <laughs> I've done that with bundles before. Especially before I had the inspect stuff. No idea what's in this bundle. I'm going to open it up just to remind myself of what's in the bundle. Then promptly forget what's in the bundle and have to open it up again later. Alright, that's a different colored turf over there. Might go to something else. Probably just be a dead end. Caves are scary. It's so dark in here. Alright, we are now getting warm. It's time to do a little bit of a chilled amulet cooldown. While well, it does that, I drink water. So one of the reasons I like having combined status is then you can actually see when you've gotten all the benefit out of something like the chilled amulet. Because once that temperature stops ticking down, that's when I take it off. I carry on. Oh, there's Steve. We have our first Steve. I don't have any stronger weapons than my one not gonna last super long tentacle spike. I should probably get a spear for fights that don't require a high DPS output. Find the supper I can make a morning star. Get log suit. All right. Wrong weapon, I know. Combat is Wes. Huzzah! Same as Wendy, basically, just without the benefit of an Abigail. Not that Abigail would help against shadow creatures anyways. Oh, and he's about to despawn anyways. Rude. Freaky sound effects. And the guy takes a lot of hits. He dead already. Got spoiled by Wanda. Alright, there's our first shadow creature down. Very exciting. That in there. That turned off now. It makes a clanking sound when it closes. That's kind of fun. Alright, Chester, you gonna be smart? Nope, Chester wasn't smart. Oh, I'm gonna run up a dead end. They're gonna follow me. Oh, maybe not. This might go curve around. Connect over. Who we got up there? Is that a Bob or a Steve spot? Not gonna find out. Yeah, that guy took forever. Of course, I was just using a spear, so that had much to do with it. I'm going to need to go up into that blue biome over there and super stock up on blue caps. That's going to be my best sanity. Although there was also a green mush forest as well. No, I haven't found the ruined sinkhole yet. Yeah, we're good with it. All right, that's the regular spider forest. Let's put that back on. Let's see here. Yeah, there's no more areas up there that could have it. There obviously could be something out that way, but I need to find a different blue mush tree forest. We've only got about a half hour left and then I'm gonna have to boogie. We're actually hanging out with some friends tonight. That's it for that. Alright, we are going to run and not stop moving. We're going to not run across the spiders. Ah, oh, of course Chester runs across the spiders. Typical. Way to go, Chester. Yeah, 
Yeah, after 400 HP, that's how that math adds up. Which makes me really kind of want to just take rock lobsters down to the ruins with me. They're no good for the, the shadow creatures. Most of those I would just end up running away from anyways. Um, as long as you stay away from the during the nightmare phase, then you don't actually have to fight them because they all just despawn. Oh, are you talking about the shadow creatures? Thought it didn't have a gender. No, that was just a joke from previous live streams. Uh, one of the live streams, I think it was probably a Hamlet live stream a real long time ago. We were joking about how funny it would be if they made a character. Oh, uh, he's gonna have trouble. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for right here. Um, we're joking it'd be funny if there was a character or some means to actually befriend the shadow creatures. And then what sorts of names they would have once they're befriended. Because whenever you bu uh, befriend bunnies or pigs, they get names, right? Right there! There it is! We found it! Alright, let's go dissuade this guy from causing trouble. Oh, no, don't go to sleep. There you go. Kill that guy for me. Thank you, guys. Very kind of you. But yeah, we're just joking about what the names would be of the shadow creatures once they're befriended. And decided that Bob and Steve would be good shadow creature names. Did I not bring my umbrella? Oh, no, there it is. Because that's another option for keeping my... and or my uh, insulation a little bit better while running around. Because my chilled ambulance are now all sorts of warmed up. Alright, so there's the sinkhole. Um, Let's see if I can sneak in there. Just open it up and hop on down. Not right now. <laughs> nope, we got all the cave spiders out for some reason. Oh look, blue caps. Don't mind if I do. Not that I can hold it. Inventory full. Alright, we know we have some red mushrooms up here in case I have to do any penance. Hopefully I don't. Am I going to continue with Wes after the stream? I don't know. Um, because I currently have, you know, the Wanda stream and now the Shipwreck stream. I'm just not sure how I would juggle that. And I don't know that I want to have three active live stream series going at once. Um, I'll probably go ahead and keep the world. Maybe for a future stream, we'll continue it. Like a, a future, like long stream of some sort. I'm probably not going to do like a 30k subscribers stream. Um, this I decided to kind of do as an alternative to that. Because um, I know I've done one for every, you know, big 10k interval. But yeah, I'm not completely decided on some of those fine points. There. Up for quick. And morning. Earthquake slash morning will cause those cave spiders to go back to bed. So we can go ahead and pop open the sinkhole after we cool down. Yeah, I'm not getting super cool from this as much as I thought I would. Wait, I have two stacks of uh, light bulbs? As in they're split up? Oh, haha. -ha. Oh. Yes, I did. Alright, let's go see if we can open up that sinkhole. I don't know if that'll give me enough hits to do it. That's why I brought gold. Oh, there's bats all over the place. A lot of bats! Bring them up this way. Well, I'm not going to want to just stand around and wait. <laughs> Bunny men to come out. Yeah, he's going after Chester now. Alright, we'll run away. Waste a little bit more time. 
a lot of bats. Although if I did successfully string them out, I think they tend to fall asleep where they are. Those guys will just be hanging out now for a bit. If I can manage to get up sinkhole without rousing them by going around this way, might be able to get up there and over. Chester, hang on a sec. There we go. Oh, come on, get in. Urgh, not let me get in, I keep interrupting it. Little jerk jerks. Right, let's run up this way a bit. Let him go to sleep. Oh, Bunny died! For Bunny? That one to wake up. Really, dude? <laughs> that looks funny. Alright, well that's one way to hopefully get him off my tail. I don't know if this one's still going to stick around for a long time or not. Oh, tentacle spike. I will take that. Nope, no room in the chester. Oh, I just want to get down that sinkhole. That. Yeah, we're going to be going crazy here, folks. There's usually lots of blue mushrooms down here, though, but I wanted to get down. Yeah, pound flute would have been handy for that. All right, we'll catch you later, Katie. Thanks for hanging out. A water-based skin that you can swim or something? That'd be cool. Alright. Damn. Cool down a little bit. We're gonna scout around, find a place to drop my endothermic fire. I think there's a lot of fuel to be found down here. got some worms. We got some... Oh, there's Bob. Oh, Bob Sauce. Oh, there's Steve. Oh, we got Steve and Bob now. And more different Bob. All right. And this is where we run around. We don't stop running. Stop running. Ooh, statue. What color is it? Like it was blue or purple? Run, run, run! I don't really have any backup model options, do I? I might need to go back up and get, um... Rock lobsters to deal with worms. That would be preferable. Speaking of worms... Oh, did I just lose a Steve? Ah, uh, that was a warning phase. Or not warning, um, dawn phase. Oh, we don't want to deal with Shadow Split Monkeys. No, sir. That would be ill-advised. Wes versus Steve, who will win the epic marketing campaign? There's Slurpers. 
of hunger would have been nice. There are a lot of blue caps. Oh, <laughs> I tried. I, I need these guys to go away so I can start picking some blue caps. Tasty, tasty blue caps. Oh, we have two Steves. Steve and Steve. And Worm. Alright, I need to scope out real quick and see where an actual okay spot is. Set up some basic base stuff. Might leave it right there. These guys should be turning off here real soon. Wait, did it just get bigger? Hmm. Well, then I want to take the time to... Put on the backpack. I might get hit if I do that. Oh good, now we're crazy! I kind of misjudged how long that nightmare phase was gonna last. And no, there will be no reading of chat at the moment. Oh great, earthquake too. Get hit. I think Steve got hit there. This is fun. Running for fun and profit in the ruins. You can get some impressive trains of shadow creatures down here. Round them all up and then gather up all of that tasty nightmare fuel. Well, thank you, boy. Appreciate the comment there about the Terraria content. Uh, I don't want to go up into unexplored. Oh! Turn too sharp there. Don't want to actually accidentally run into a wall or anything. All right, having this uh, nightmare phrase end would be really nice right about now. Oh, almost ran into Bob! Crap. Alright, that's Dawn Phase. They will be done soon. Oh, there's another Bob. Alright, now this might be the one that I'm actually crazy. I have no idea at this point. I want to get my moggles. Some armor on. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, that's the ruins. And I kind of rushed in here pretty fast, but... Little tiny breather spell. I need to get my... Um, ice chest dropped. I think I'm going to just put it over it right by the stairs. And then I'm going to have a Bob or a Steve at some point here, I'm sure. Alright, 
Alright, that was running low. And I need to get some stuff dropped. Really? Didn't need you right now, buddy. Alright, there's my actual Steve right there. The Steve of my insanity. Oh, double Steve! I want a double Steve right now. And I have to fight him because these guys will not despawn. Got hit there. Don't need the added hurdle of a slurper. All right, so that boosted up my sanity enough that he went insubstantial. Alright, let's get back up there. Hopefully grab a few blue caps on the way. Topped up some stats. Good. Worm again. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have um, enough moggles to really get too far down here. Ooh, slurper pelts. Yeah, ruins are fun. It's a fun place to be. Alright, let's run around and get some more blue caps, I think. I'm gonna need rock lobsters down here, though, that's for sure. I mostly just want to be able to see the blue caps at the moment. My sanity patched up at least a bit. There. Caps. So much nightmare fuel, too. That red gem. Worms. Where did I even see those walls? Saw the monkeys off in the distance. I think it was up this way. Yeah. Really? Warning phase again already? Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to really get a whole lot done here in the amount of time that we have left, because with those worms, I'm just going to need to get rid of them. 
I see he's going to keep coming back over every time I'm over here. It's always satisfying when you put on, like, in Froggles or the Moggles, and it just banishes those little nightmare hands. <laughs> uh, that's gonna sanity up. Alright, and... Uh, oh, really? Bob? That... Not appreciated, Bob. Can I have another Bob here, or just the one? Hopefully just the one. Yeah, don't you go phasing out on me. Why are you trying to do that? All right, so we're pretty well patched up. I need to bust open that bundle. Want to eat one of those that topped up a bit. Let's just throw most of these Oh, actually Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put those in. Leave some emergency backups out. Those. Wrap that up. Alright, I need to go back up a level, though. I need your hat go. that here. Shadow fuel can stay here. That needs to come back. There. Really, worm? Alright, I'm gonna get out. Yeah, I should have collected cactus flower as well. I didn't want to take time to. I was running out of time to get back below the surface. All right, let's run past these guys. Where was my nearest? I think I had rock lobsters up there. So I think before hopping back down in there, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Still debating whether to what extent I'll do uh, further gameplay of this world. See a tentacle spike, I grab a tentacle spike. And yes, I know that I did see another couple of tentacle spikes, tentacle spikes out there. <clears throat> but to continue down there in the ruins, I really need to have rock lobsters to deal with the uh, cave spiders so I can get the glow berries to recharge my moggles. And uh, I just don't think we have time to really do much more here. But let's hire the rock lobsters. Maybe dip back down there. Be over here. Heard the sound of many bitter pattering little feet over there. And I did forget to grab my thermal stones. Alright. I, I had to protect my Chester. When it comes to 
Telling friends to fight a bat versus protect Chester. I'm going to relax some of my pacifist sensibilities. Can I even hire him when he's... <laughs> I did. Didn't know if that would work. But yeah, I had fun. We're going to be wrapping things up here in just a minute. Thank you very much, everybody, for the super chats and everything. That, that was very, very kind and generous of everybody. Uh, join the Discord if you haven't already. We got fun people to hang out with, do fun things, and don't starve in Terraria. Let's get a little tiny baby. All right, that's more than enough rock lobsters for my purposes. We're going to run back down to that cave level. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it before I get too hot. Yeah, Pickle Man's fun to, to hang out with. Go down a little bit. Then hop down the caves real quick. The not so fun summer season. This was like, kind of fun here at the end. Got a little bit hectic, right? I'm pretty impressed though. Wes has managed to stay. Excuse me, got some hiccups. Stave off death here despite the uh, unforgiving circumstances. I gotta be careful. I don't want my rock lobsters to get in a war with these guys. Go the right way. So I would have liked to have gotten. Let's grab one more tentacle spike. All right, there is no shortage of tentacle spikes up here. Apologies if the cacophony is too loud. <laughs> all right, they're likely too far away. All right, so this will warp all of the um, rock lobsters down with me. So they'll take care of that um, worm down here. Am I going to make a highlight? I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to debate that. Um, going back through 10 hours of footage to make a highlights video can be pretty time consuming. And I've just got other products that are a little bit higher of a priority right now. But perhaps. I'll just leave it as a perhaps. All right. All right. We got rock lobster defense force down here. Oh, Crafty, thank you again. Thank you so much. You're going above and beyond the Call of Duty there. All right, we are pretty well set. So if we ever do come back to this world, we'll be down here in the caves ready to rock and roll. Clear out some ruins. We still have food and provisions to last for a decent while. And we've got rock lobster friends to deal with some of the nastier nasties down here. Oh, I really should have stocked up on beefalo wool. That would have been nice for the fire down here. I think you can burn like the foliages and stuff, but yeah, they don't do very much. All right, let's get past the uh, haven real quick. Nobody wants to log in during an earthquake. Red gem. All right, that's going to do it. All right, uh, yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday with uh, more wood legs shipwrecked. Thursday will be more Wanda. Probably nothing on Saturday because uh, I have to do more family time. But yeah, uh, thank you very much, everybody. I got to go hang out with some friends. Uh, have a fun evening. Have a fun weekend. And we will catch you later. Signing off. Cheers.